but the f Howdy, I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Crafted. And today we're going to be watching a video about somebody watching a video about my video. So a whole bunch of people saw the video about no code and a whole bunch of people did not like that. You know, the, the, my videos normally go to like 40 to 80 people and 20 of them watch, right? Well, YouTube sent that out to like 10,000 of professional programmers and people that love coding and programming. And I mean, you just should see it. most all the comments. I mean, the, he's pointing out the comments now. Most all the comments are just bashing me and saying I'm a... I'm an idiot, or I'm lazy, or I don't, blah, 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 which is fine. I mean, I like I said, I, it, it, I get this question. I was just trying to explain the question uh, I get and my point of view. But let's watch this video. Um, this is from, you know, I hate how YouTube has this layout out. I can't find anything. Um why you shouldn't code reaction um uh dingzel so let's see i jumped in a little i've already watched some of it i commented on some of it and, and i was com gonna comment in text and then i it just it felt easier to just chat through some of these and answer his questions as he's ans asking them. be better to inside how quite useful I uh, so he says some nice things uh, yeah. about me uh, just I mean they don't do, okay that, that's he talks about up. me and kind Wrong. of introduces me JS he's streaming that in a format why I'm no code and why I think JS is wrong have you already watched the video just joined um I lurked into it but um I, I didn't watch it completely like I I read the comments and I like started watching it, and I already knew. Yep, I'm, I, I'm gonna have to react to this because this is gonna be wild, okay? Um, and again, this guy here, Outlandish Craft, he's quite known in the uh, community. He makes um some amazing stuff, right? Uh, one of uh, some of his tutorials are like actually quite useful, and are like, like like on a very high level. Which uh, you don't really see. Everything is just, uh, you know, for beginners. But um, one thing I have to say is that he can, uh, also makes tutorials for like uh, more complex stuff and stuff, uh, which I do like. But some of his opinions are questionable, questionable to say the least. Okay, so so, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look. Howdy, I'm Cyberax with Outlandishly Craft. Outlandishly Craft. we're going to be talking about why I am not doing JSON and... Already wrong. Um, he is doing JSON. He is more... He's doing more than enough JSON. Uh, he probably means JavaScript. He is doing a lot of JSON. <laughs> but... Let, let, let's just see. JS coding programming. Okay, I, uh, he said both, both Jason and JS. Okay. Jason questions and or they'll ask me to debug their code or they'll ask something like, "Hey, how does this uh, JS work?" My internet is echt am Arsch. Well, uh, I know, but actually, zero. Hey, how does this uh, JS work? My internet is echt am Arsch. Yes, this is. This is not the video, this is the actual quality. Um, because he uses uh, like high definition assets in Minecraft. That that's kind of his Come style. Come on, try to describe it. Try but to describe it. There is just something weird to it. I, I don't know. I can't even describe it. Like it's high definition assets, but it's um I should I, I should don't know. stop really just right here to explain this. I don't think of it. So I started doing bedrock dev. I I, I really loved it, right? I really enjoyed it. But I could not use Blockbench to save my life. 
I tried and tried. I failed a lot. I tried and tried. I don't have the ability to do great pixel art texting. I'm old. I'm in my 40s. I don't see the pixel art. I, I can't see that what stuff you guys see. I have videos about that as well. I, I, so I just went and paid for an asset site and I used the assets from the asset site. All of my assets are paid for. They all come from the asset site. Other than the you know, space game, we did start using some uh, AI from some of the AI sites. But um, the 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 reason why my art looks like this is because it's just me. There is no artist in my life. There is no modeler in my life. There is no... Um, it's just me. Like... This is the best I can do. I enjoy HD because I grew up in the 80s and I grew up in pixel art days. I grew up with two colors, black and white. I dreamed my whole life to have HD high quality. So I'm sorry, but I want HD high quality. Unfortunately, my favorite game engine, the easiest thing for me to develop in is Minecraft and you guys hate HD. So you know, I get it. I, I get it. You all hate it. I understand. It's just the best I can do. And to me, it feels like I'm your sister and I'm coloring in my coloring book and I love it. And it's so awesome. And I'm having such a good time. And you come over and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> that looks so bad. And I'm just like, but I was just coloring in my coloring book. I didn't even ask you. I'm just making stuff for me, man. So, if, if you're curious, that's how I feel about it. Hard to describe, actually. M m maybe you guys know a better word for that, because... Anyways. How do you do this JavaScript text? And I'll say something like, I'm not doing JavaScript. And they'll say, okay. but Cyberax, why, why, why don't you want to do JavaScript? It can do so much more. Can I turn up the volume of the video a bit? Um, yes, I can. Uh, I'm going to turn it, uh, for me, it's fine, which is why I'm just going to turn it up inside the, uh, inside here. I'm going to give you guys five more decibels. Um, so much more. Well, you know what can do a lot more than my car I drive around? A backhoe. Um, so this analogy, kind of interesting, so... I don't really know where he's going with this. Like, is he is he gonna say, like, that he, he can, like, do with his car more than... No, he, he said that with a backhoe he can do more than I could. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna listen. Let, let's see, what, what yeah. is this about? A backhoe can do a lot more than my car. But do I want to drive a backhoe around all day to go get me some Wendy's or go get me some groceries? I do not. I do not want to have to maintain a backhoe. I do not want to have to buy a backhoe. I do not want to have to learn how to run a backhoe. Now you might say, but a backhoe does so much. Yeah, exactly. So um, there are things very specific for a job, right? Uh, with a car, you can uh, get around really quickly. And with a backhoe, uh, you can... Well, do more stuff, obviously. Like, it's um, not always about if you should or shouldn't use. It's about where you use your tools. You can use both your car and a backhoe. You, you, you think that farmers uh, go home with, with, like, their tractors and backhoes and, and stuff? Like, no. Like, use the right tool for the right job. Yes, it does. It does a lot more than a shovel does. Right? However, if I'm digging the holes that I want with a shovel just fine, why would I take the time to go learn how to use a backhoe? Well, I don't really understand this analogy. Like, obviously, a backhoe is just going to be m way more efficient, way faster, way anything. Why? Why is he comparing it to a shovel? Why? why? I mean, this is... What he's basically saying is that he's refusing to learn the backhoe because his shovel works. Which is not necessarily uh, a wrong statement, right? He uh, is fine with like his um, with, with his like JSON coding and it doesn't need the JavaScript thingy. 
but there are some use cases where it can help a lot to know the backhoe. And sometimes that time, that learning might just pay out in the end. Let's see. And, and to break in, I, I don't disagree. But if you want to learn JSON, you want to learn JS, you want to learn C++, you want to learn any of them, I think that's great. I'm the first to tell people if you're starting out, I think those are good places to do. But if you struggle with those things and you don't want to be a programmer, or those you already know that those are things that aren't in your wheelhouse, shoving them on those people seems abusive to me. And there is no room in the community right now for anybody else than coders and programmers. And you can see it just read my comments um, and watch this video but um, that's kind of why I spoke up about it is because everybody the first thing everybody says is you gotta learn JS well I haven't learned JS and I'm doing just fine so that's not true stop telling people that right let's go but it does so much more but I don't I don't I don't need to do so much more. I, I'm right. I'm doing pretty good with what I got right here, just yeah. fine. So he's blowing that... all your mind holes. So if I'm doing all of this without JSON and without JS, he's doing it with JSON, just not with uh, JavaScript. Yeah, it's learning just with Bridge. So I'm doing everything you've ever seen me do with Bridge, just toggling stuff. I. So if you guys didn't know. This is Bridge 1, by, by the way, that's Bridge 2. By the way, I like Bridge 1 more, I'm, I'm just gonna say it. But Bridge 1 is basically an editor for Minecraft, right? It has some useful tools to do, like, uh, stuff. And uh, the thing that is interesting uh, about Bridge is that they're known for using this JSON tree editor. So, is he saying that he isn't using JSON because he's using the JSON tree editor? Like obviously, yeah, that's a question to me. So yes, I I am saying that if I use Wix, does that mean I'm a CSS and HTML5 programmer? If I use front page, does that mean I'm a HTML4 programmer, CSS one and two? I mean, you guys don't even know what front page is. Um, if I use I don't know. It, it, it It's... Throughout all of history, it's been... And I know this is hard, but it's been, if you use a GUI editor, you're not a coder of that code. You don't put it on your resume. You don't say that that's what you code in because you're using a GUI interface. I don't say I'm a C++ programmer or C Sharp programmer because I use Unreal Engine blueprints. That doesn't make any sense. I'm not a coder. I'm not a programmer. I'm using a visual form program to toggle things. And everything I need is in that program. See, you're still using JSON. No? How does making the tree editor use it? Like, how does making using a tree editor it make not JSON anymore? That's the thing I don't understand. Because I'm not doing any syntax. I'm not doing anything related to JSON. I am using a form. And in that form, it says you have 10 options and I select an option. And then you go down to the next thing and it says you have a list of 100 options. And I put a hundred op I put one of those 100 options in there. That's all I'm doing. I'm not doing any brackets. I'm not doing any commas. I'm not doing any semicolons. I'm not doing um, none of it. None of it's in my head. Not doing any of it. I'm literally opening up Bridge, going to the Add button, looking what's in the list. You open a file, you look in the list, it says version, you click version, and then it actually has a little thing that has a little uh, idea button, and you push it, and it pops up the right version for you even. And then it even does all of the format versioning in the file, and what syntax, or what, not syntax, what... Uh, drop-down options are in the form based on the format version. 
I don't even know all the rules for format versions. Like the concepts are always the same and that's what programming is about, concepts, right? You have the key value pairs, you have uh, arrays, you have whatever. In what way is this not JSON? Yeah, the I don't know any of those whatever he just said. I know what an array is because I've done other things. Uh, but I'm, I mean, I, look at it. It's literally just a list with numbers. And now I do know what order of operations is because that's a development concept, right? And order of operations, numbers matter in, a, in an array. A lot of people make mistakes when they're doing JSON and code. Yeah. Oh, you're doing it in code because they don't understand the array has an order of operations. This is literally just serialized. JSON with like, w w with like fancy clothes on. Now, uh, one of the things, the reasons why I don't think I'm doing JSON is because when I give these guides to JSON coders that are using VS code, they can't look at my guide and look at bridge and understand what that means. I just had it today that someone said, no, I can't use your guide. Please uh, copy and paste the code over for me so I can look at the code directly because I can't understand what bridge means. Someone that's doing JSON can't look at bridge and understand what it means. So I'm not doing JSON then. If you guys can't look at it, and this isn't just like, oh, one guy. I have 80,000 help posts over four years and 300 guides. I still get this after four years. People come to me and say, I do JSON and VS Code, and I can't understand what your bridge stuff is. Can you see? I literally get DMs about it almost weekly. If you guys can't understand what bridge is, looking at the screen, and I'm like, what do you mean? Like, just look at it. So, no, I don't believe I'm doing JSON. I, I don't know anything. I couldn't pass a JSON test. Um, I I couldn't tell you the first thing about about JSON, actually. Sorry. And I, I bet if you know, I know like, that how to shatter, edit JSON it shatters it. all of your opinions of me because you think that I have like this big brain, but I, I, I'm just problem solving, you know, the hard way. Tree editor, you would also see how... Um... You could edit JSON normally. And you can still prefer the one or another way, right? That's that doesn't matter. You still edit You would think that, but I can't. I started in um just Notepad Plus Plus the very early, I mean, like one point fourteen. Um I mean I I started in Java even and did some Java stuff, but I came over I did a like one point fourteen I think was bedrock and then which for one point fourteen point oh. Um and I tried. I mean, I tried. I talk about it in the video. I tried, man. Editing Jason. So I don't really understand where he's going with that, but let's just see. I'm a glorified toggler. And the reason why I'm doing Bedrock versus Unreal Engine 5 or Godot or any other thing is because I don't want to be a programmer. I don't want to be a coder. I don't want to do JSON. I don't want to do JS. I don't want to do C Sharp. I don't want to do C++. I don't want to do Python. I am not a coder. I'm not a programmer. I'm a game developer. I want to take all of the features mm. and all of the assets mm. and all of the stuff that's out there, and I want to put it in your game, and I want to develop that game, and it's something amazing. Okay, Hi. so okay, okay, so so hold on. He's saying that he is not a programmer, but rather a game developer, and basically saying uh, that uh, those two things are different, right? Um. He's saying basically that uh, he doesn't want to write code because all he really wants to do. If we let's stop right there. So if we took a big company, um, a big game studio, the people that are programming Unreal Engine or the Halo game engine are not the game developers and designers that are actually putting the assets in, putting where the assets go, making the assets have 
these behaviors and doing these same, these things, the programmers are traditionally the people that are programming the game engine. Now you could say some of those are engineers if they're in the, the GFX side of it or they're the database side of it or multiplayer connectivity and the network side of it, but they're doing the lower levels. So if we say there's a whole bunch of layers to this onion, they're doing the, or you could even say the TCP IP layer, um, if you know networking, they're doing zero. You know, they're doing one and two and three layer, right? Um, I wanna be doing the application layer, uh, the GUI layer. So I really want a programmer to come in and build me the tools and give me everything. And I open up a program and then I do uh, the, the development side where I pull all the assets in and I give the audio here and I give the animations here and I, I apply special effects here and I do this and I do that and I do that. Now, in any game development, often those are all smashed down and all those layers are smashed down into one person or into three or four people. And so, yeah, in some cases, you might have people that do all of those things. Absolutely. Throughout time, if time exists, there's been experts that do that. But I identified a long time ago that my strengths were the top layers and my weaknesses were the bottom layers. And I learned this in DOS because in DOS, we had to learn command syntax and commands and how commands function and where a slash can go and where a question can go and where a dash goes and where quit is and where exit. Now, you wouldn't believe this probably, but I am a Cisco coder. So I have programmed you could call me a programmer on in Cisco. Um, I have programmed routers and network switches and the millions of dollars. I have programmed firewalls and Cisco 501 PIXs, and I've done um, insane amounts of network programming and engineering on the back end that way. So I have a lot of experience in, in that side of programming and coding and engineering um over there but i don't do well over here so let's keep going do is just putting things into his game right he he, he doesn't want to care about this stuff but what i question myself is what exactly does he think he's doing right here is that not pro uh, it's not programming. I'm just literally toggling something from a list and then I open up the game and see what happens. And then I toggle it, open up the game, <clears throat> see what happens. Programming. And you might say, oh no, it's, it's, it's Jason. Jason isn't programming. Jason is uh, a data storing format. To which I have to uh, question yourself, when does something become a programming language? Like... In the case of Minecraft stuff, right, um, you have those JSON files, you have state that you can manage with JSON files, you have conditions, you have... I really like how gracious this guy is because he, he wants to include JSON and <clears throat> he wants to include visual coding and forms into being a programmer and a coder, which is just... It's I it, it gives me hope for a new world, honestly, because for the last 30 years, I've been told you are not this. You cannot get a job doing this. You cannot do this. I mean, even in even in Bedrock Marketplace, there are studios that will not hire me because I use Bridge. Because I am not a coder. I am not a programmer. Just even here. So I say over the 30 years, but literally even now, there's people that just won't even hire me if you say, oh, well, I use Bridge. What is essentially a turning complete machine with JSON. What does it not make a programming language at this point? And even with like Molang, right? Um, a bunch of stuff inside JSON is written or like you have to use Molang for. And I know for a fact he used Molang for a lot of stuff there. Now... Absolutely. Um, I, I do not think that you can get away from using Molang, but Molang is something that you can literally just Google or look up in the quick list 
at any moment. In Bridge, any of these red things, in Bridge, if I right click it, it will take me directly to the wiki for that that uh, component or whatever it is and show me what the molang would be for it. Now, I, I didn't say this in the video, I'll say it now, I guess, but I do have to have sticky notes. I have digital sticky notes on my desktop for for some molang. I, I can't remember the, the colon question mark one the very i just that one and i mean most of them i look up i have to go look them up that's the the whole secret the whole hidden secret here is that the guides are for me um i originally started making guides in text in a wiki that was private for me and it got to be overwhelming and i was doing block bench uh, help at the time I was doing just hours and hours we had so many people needing help and they kept asking the same questions and I was having problems with the same things and so I decided that I just start making video guides and try to solve both of the issues at the same time because I still even now three four years later 300 guides I have to go look at my own guides I have to go look at the files the guides are made about I still have them all and I have to go reference them every day. I, I had to reference two today. Someone asked me about um, UV an animated textures and I couldn't remember the material that supports it and I had to literally go look up the the um, the guide video to to get it. Uh, actually, in that case, I looked up my my... <laughs> I pulled up Bridge and I looked up my player file and I pulled up the actual. I, I it's so stupid, but I did. I had I pulled up Bridge and I did it myself. Um, I gave him the video so he could get the UV um, animation syntax at the the bottom to go. Sorry, I'm rambling. So here we go. So what does Molang and JSON differentiate it with normal programming, like? That's the thing I'm not under, uh, understanding. I mean, really quick, you. you I think if you're doing XML, it's just a listing thing. Are you, are you being a programmer? I, I just don't think so. It's a list. I mean, if I put a whole bunch of files in a folder and zip it, am I now like a programmer because I used a program and I put files into a folder? It just doesn't. It, it, you're not doing anything difficult. You're literally just toggling things you can't call me a coder or programmer that doesn't make any sense i think he just thinks that like the stereotypical type of programming that you have to like see and write text and stuff um is like shit and stuff but even if you have like something like scratch right we are just moving blocks uh, and whatever that, that is still considered programming so visually just moving blocks around is programming i mean come on like <sighs> Not in the sense that we're talking about. I guess if you, you, it seems like a reach to me. So why does he think that writing JSON, managing a state, managing uh, molang and stuff, what does this make it not programming? But I'm not writing any JSON. I'm just clicking a a add box. I'm selecting. I don't. I don't, I don't type anything in. Hi Pri. Hello. Ten. Uh, thanks. We'll come soon. I type family names um, in. Does that count? Let's just see him. Do not. Right, right off the bat. I love that he's fighting so hard to make me a programmer and a coder. Everybody in my life, everybody I've ever known in the entire world has been like telling me, you're not a programmer, you're not a coder. <laughs> it's so funny to see people be like, no, no, you're a pro, you're a coder. Like, wait, no, I don't think I am. <laughs> a lot of people have told me I'm not. A lot of jobs have told me I'm not good enough to do that because I'm not a programmer. I'm not a coder. <laughs> Want to sit in a closet for the rest of my life looking at a code screen, thinking about the syntax and yeah, why it's wrong, and spending my days in, in some code window? Well, I'm sorry, bud, but that's literally what you're doing here. Like, aren't you doing exactly that? You have your code window. You're looking at syntax you're looking at a way of um ordering right this is 
and th that's fair, but what he's missing is I I don't do any diag at all. I don't know about you, but anybody I know that does code directly just makes those mistakes and make those errors and puts in that, you know, misses that comma or misses that whatever and has to do that whole diag loop or it's been more a lot of time in that world and I just click the add button select something and I start the game like I mean almost none of my time's in bridge my time's in block bench and my time that's why my stuff looks so good I think that's what people are missing they're like cyber acts why why do you have so much time to make all this stuff and make guides and do all these things well one I don't have much of a life but two because I'm not doing any programming. I'm just selecting stuff and then doing what I want most of the time. Even though this is like a tree editor and stuff, you still have to know what belongs where. You know that components uh, cannot belong inside events and stuff. But honestly, but I, I didn't syntax. know any of that until uh, Bridge Bridge forces you to put that stuff in the right place. So like Bridge, it has like safety rails. So it's, I mean, it's like bowling with those, those things in the gutter that keep the ball from going in the gutter. Is that still bowling? If you have like the gutter protectors that the little kids have and they just rolls down there and then the bowling ball bounces off one side and bounces off the other side and then it hits like one pin in the end and everybody screams, yay. Is that, if you consider that bowling, then yeah, okay. I, I guess I'm a coder. I don't consider that bowling. I think bowling has to have like gutters and 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 risk and and none of those limits, right? Bridge has hordes of limits. Bridge is a very confined box that says you can do these things and you click them and and you select it and then you you know I I don't I, you know there's a pretty big difference between those two. So what makes you think that you're not writing syntax, that you're not programming here? I don't want to do it. Okay, that's cool. If you don't want to do it, then stop doing it. They've tried to make me do it for 30 fucking years, and I don't want to do it. It's not how my brain works. It's not who I am. It's not what I am. Now, if I could use a purely visual editor and just click and drag a box around like he suggested oh i would do that i mean i'm just using bridge because that's the, the the best that i've got as an option if mojang came out tomorrow with the uh, like editor that was a thousand times better than the in-game editor that they've got now and had all of the things and you could just kind of like what unreal engine's doing with um their mini engine thing if, if we could oh i'd do that in a heartbeat in a heartbeat i i think i mean you got to remember i'm only using bridge it's the only option out there there is no other visual editors or visual options i enjoy doing uh um of course there are just some people that can so sync in information better than others right those 10x developers they might exist okay there are people that can learn faster and I'm like a point one but X. Is that really a reason why you should just not learn anything? Like, how did you learn walking and stuff? That so I, I want to point this out really quick. Do you see how quick we went from... I, I've, he's already said and shown, I've learned all of this stuff. I've made all of these guides. I've done all of this effort. All these people are learning from what I learned... And look how quickly we went from, I don't want to code, I don't want to do JS, to, you don't want to learn anything? And I get that all the time from people. Well, you're lazy. Wait, what? You see all the effort and the work I'm putting in. I'm lazy because 
I did all this effort and all this work and I don't want to do this one thing that I think I'm set up for failure to do. And I'm pretty sure with the experience I've had over my life for the last 30 years that it's not a good choice for me. And I don't really think it's a good choice for Bedrock since, a, you know, a lot of kids and younger people and newer developers are coming in. And I, I felt like this was a really great entry point but now almost every person that comes in is told the very first thing when they say i want to make an add-on there's told you gotta learn js that is a lot different than it was before and yeah i i i think that that's a critical point to have however everything has become instead of those conversations it's you don't want to learn and there were people that walked before you ever could what sh should it just be crawling instead now like it's I even down to no i i don't want to how did i learn to walk we went from i've made all of this great stuff all of these amazing things to how did you learn to walk that is very common in the programming community because it honestly there's just some elitism about learned code oh you just got to learn to code it's so easy you just got to learn to code and if you don't learn to code then you must be lazy or you must just not want to learn or and none of those are good things all of those make me feel like i'm stupid when it I hate it with a... There's a different thing with, like, coding because of fun and coding because you have to. And I do get it. If you don't like it, don't code. If you if you have no and, passion, and if you I don't... And I started trying to code for fun in the 80s in TI Basic. I tried. I've tried to code Java. I bought the Java for 30-day book. I've tried Python. I got a Python certification on the wall, and I can't do one line of Python today uh wanna code don't code but like why why make up the stuff all around that you know that's the thing i'm not understanding here passion the last thing that i want to do every day is get up and look at code in a code screen i'm sorry dude. i don't that's want to do it doing. i hate it i would rather go to unreal engine and do blueprints than be forced to do code in bedrock okay so so again blueprints in Unreal Engine are also a way of coding. Blueprints are amazing, okay? What? So keep in mind now it's a way of coding. It changed from, it is JSON and all of these things are coding, are programming to a way of coding. What does, what does making blueprints in Unreal Engine not coding? Like you still have the concepts of coding, right? You still have to flow the state. So what code? What code do I put on my resume uh, when I do blueprints in Unreal Engine 5? I don't put C++. I don't put C Sharp. So what code would that be? I'm a visual UE5 editor developer. And that's what's on my website. It's the uh, whatever. It's still coding, just like Scratch is also coding. I it's don't, visual coding. I think that's, yeah, see, it's now it's, Obviously, you're not So writing. it's, see, it see, it, see how far it's we the went? Concept that... Now it's, oh, we, now it's a visual coder. It, it, we went from your, oh, you are a coder to, oh, it's, it's a type of coding. To, oh, well, now it's visual coding. Well, you could call that developing. Oh. <gasps> Like a web developer. You don't say a web programmer because web developers are normally using a GUI interface, something a programmer made. So I don't call myself a web programmer. I don't program in CSS. I don't program in HTML5 or whatever it is these days. I keep saying HTML5 and that sounds wrong because that's like old, but whatever. Um, 
I'm a web developer. I take what you want as a business. I go to Wix and I build you a website with it. I could build that in front page or a hundred of the programs. I built a thousand websites in my day. Um, I'm not a web programmer. I'm a web developer. That matter. I'm not a game programmer. I'm a game developer. The reason I'm in Bedrock is because I could do it without any code, and it wasn't a requirement of JS or learning a language or being a coder or trying to be a fake programmer and going a through all this programmer. process. It's not how my brain works. And so let me explain. Yeah, that. so and let me bring the... up fake programmer. So I grew up with people that were learning Cobalt and, I don't know, C++ and and really difficult, complex programming languages, you know. That was the day of, like, Unix and Novell and before even Windows NT. Like, I mean, we were doing crazy stuff. My first programming language was TI Basic. I used QW Basic. I mean, I've used countless programs, and all of those people would say... JSON is not programming. I'm sorry. It, JSON's not programming. I, I I don't even know how many of those people would say JS is programming, honestly. A C++ programmer, I don't think, looks at JS and is like, that's a programmer. Maybe they call you a coder. Does us have uh, different let me, let me brains. Give me the Our brains have different pathways. Our brains have different strengths, and our di brains have different abilities. And one of my weaknesses is I don't have the ability to memorize concepts. So these concepts mm -hmm. that are required. Let him speak. I have an extreme ability to problem solve. I have an extreme ability to logically reason, and I have spare blah 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 visualizations. Bar I, I obviously my see, see this is exactly what I'm trying to say. My English failures say I can't properly pronounce the phonics of this because English requires me to memorize how the phonics breaks up and what all of these R's and vowels and A's and A's and, and IOU's and all of these things. But see, my brain can't remember and hold this data. So for 30 years, especially going through possible. school, the no. teachers would tell me this stuff and it would be there for a few days and then it's gone. And then they give me a test and I'd fail the test because I cannot remember these things that's not how my brain works now i can problem solve them Great. by okay. going let's and having you read this. that to me or let's, going let's through remember a process this. a logical process to do it however programming is all about memorization of syntax learning how the concepts of each language okay. function okay and okay well doesn't he have to memorize the json structure and syntax as well yeah, no, of course. I don't. And even if it's like a... no, I don't. Bridge has it. There's none of it. It doesn't exist. It's a form. It's a drop-down menu. I don't do any of it. Don't do any of it. If you give me code in the help channel that I need to diag, I put it in Bridge because Bridge just puts it in that list and tells me what's wrong. I I cannot do it through uh, code. Uh, with a tree editor. Um. Yes, still memorize it, and well, yeah. Uh, let, let's go on to his, his like points, right? He is saying that he has problem solving cap capabilities, logical reasoning, and whatever the fuck that was, but he doesn't, ha or he he cannot learn the programming concepts and the syntax. Well, and um, store them. so syntax is not something you learn, okay? It's just something that clicks in your brain. That's you're not programming and trying to remember the syntax, okay? So define medically just clicks in your brain. <clears throat> it's something that you do over and over and you build pathways and your brain stores that and it's temporary and then long-term memory. I have either damage or how I was built doesn't store that. So I get a, a very small amount of short-term memory and then it's gone. And I have to really work really hard to remember anything. I mean, I have clients that I've worked with for 20 years 
and it's very hard for me to recall what their names are. And I, I've, I, they pay me money to help them for 20 years. And I, I call them on the phone. I can't remember their names. And I've done that since I was a kid. So that, that's not what you do. When you program, you problem solve, you problem solve. Okay. You, there are specific concepts, okay, like uh, how to do binary search and stuff, right? That, yes, you might have to look them up, but the thing about programming is, it's not like school. You can, you are allowed to look stuff up. You don't have to memorize everything. And that's a fair point, and you could use VS Code with um, auto syntax, and there's a lot of tools to help. What I found is, because I don't know it and I'm not confident about it, then I can't error correct it properly and so then i end up spending about 30 percent of my time literally just diagging uh those mistakes so if i'm trying to do something i i i even the a good one is um equal equal versus equal um when you use those two right when you use equal only and when you use equal equal that's a rule that you need to know. Well, because I'm not confident, because I can't store that information in my brain, then I, I second guess myself and I, I don't know the, the true answer. The only way I can know the true answer is to go look at something that worked. So if I spent 30% of my time doing that, I, well, I did when I started. That's why, I mean, I, I, I started and quit this multiple times before I found Bridge. I mean, it wasn't just like, oh, I found a bridge, and oh, look how good I am. I spent like eight months trying and failing and trying and failing and giving up and coming back and, and pissing off Janice with questions. Um, and then I found bridge, but I was still doing uh, code and bridge. I was doing both. And I spent a few months just constantly struggling and having problems because... I would change stuff and I'd get it wrong or I'd miss a comma or I'd miss a, a bracket or I wouldn't do this right or I wouldn't have the formatting right because keep in mind, we're not just talking about JSON formatting. We're also talking about format versions. So I started at 1.14 and we're in 1.21. How many format versions have changed in all of the bedrock files that you would need to know to be able to do that all in JSON? Bridge does all of that for me. I put in a version number and it filters out how it goes, what's allowed, what goes in the drop downs, all of it. I don't need to know any of that. Why would I want to? If I don't know how to do binary search, I'm just going to look it up. And the thing with the school, right? There is just something about like, um, passion that goes along with like, hold up, <laughs> uh, with like learning. If you like, if you are in school, right, and you don't want to learn anything, you're not going to learn anything. And I can tell you from my experience, I am also not very good at, like, um, linguistic stuff. And uh, I have my problems of speaking, both in my, uh, of speaking and reading, both in my uh, main language and English. And um, I, I still do JavaScript stuff. It's crazy, right? Um, from my experience, I can tell you that JavaScript is not about memorizing the syntax, okay? And it is true that some concepts, you just got to know, okay? But I also think that at the point where you, like, learn JSON syntax or the Minecraft JSON structure, if you are if you were able to do that, then you probably have a good chance to learn. Yeah, I, I wasn't able to do that. I failed at that. That's why I'm using Bridge. The JavaScript syntax, uh, the, the, the JavaScript concepts as well. It's... It's just logic, okay? There's no weird... Okay, there is an abstraction layer to it, but most of the time... You say that it's just logic, but I started in TI Basic. QW Basic, um, G Basic, GW Basic. I mean, all the way through XML and HTML and CSS and Python and... I mean, I could also go through like hordes of operating systems and Cisco OSs and countless, countless things I've programmed and learned and done it. You say it's just logic, 
there's a little bit of all of that floating around my brain. So when you say it's just logic, you've only been exposed to how many code platforms? Have you ever programmed a Cisco PIX, you know, or a Cisco network router, or they're all the same code. It's all just a code screen and they all have their own logic. And, and so, yeah, you're right. It's just logic. Well, but which set of logic? which set of syntax and, and which set of rules and see if I'm not confident about it then it just blurs because I still remember things from bulletin board days and dial-up commands and DOS commands from DOS you know 622 and I still remember um, I mean just you wouldn't believe the things that are in my brain that do stick but most of them are from a long time ago um but you also, I have a huge load of things I have to do at any given time. And so I need to be able to put everything in my brain that I'm not using down so that I can do other things. So I don't want to have that stuff in my brain. I don't want to store it. I want to I want to be able to just sit down at a program and click some buttons. All your writing is just logic and concepts are just different types of logics combined. Okay. So if you have a good problem solving ability and logical reasoning then um, you would be also good at getting those concepts out of you I'm not saying that you uh, have to learn the concepts right I'm saying that you can produce the concepts basically from your problem solving ability skills and whatever yeah as and, you go and, and I probably could muddle through it if that's all I did if I didn't have seven other jobs and I didn't do animations and I didn't do sound development and I didn't do um, all of these other things that take my mind into those places and I use that brain power for and I only focused on just doing this one thing I could probably muddle through it but I would still have a phenomenal error rate because I already know that I've done Python professionally I've been paid to do Python programming okay Okay, so let's see what he has to say to that. And I cannot do this. I was tested in school, and the test showed that I was unable to remember and store the auditory and visual cues that others learned best with. So in um, my first of all, I, I'm all something like Jason is way more difficult than uh than the JS. And guess what? J Jason UI has concepts as well, okay? It's uh, not like it's just random piles of text and stuff. Once you like know the concepts and stuff, Jason UI becomes a little easier. Uh, there are some quirks to it, of course. And you gotta learn those quirks. But you learn those quirks by iteration. You try doing something, you fail, and then you try again, and then maybe you fail again. But there's gonna be that point where the thing that you tried will succeed you and that's basically a concept that you have just kind of problem solved you into without like having to do much of the learning stuff right? but there's a Even... cost there's a time cost and you're right if i was 20 and i was just starting out i i probably wouldn't care but i'm not i'm 40 i, I mean i'm 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 older than 40 i'm in my 40s uh i wish i was 40 uh i don't have that that uh that time or ability or uh, ability to give you know i've already put in my learning and effort go on i've already put in my effort my cat will not stop stop it kitty um of learning all of these things in my youth i i'm i'm not there i am a hundred thousand percent happy with uh, bridge and what I can do in bedrock. I'm I'm just so tired of being told I gotta learn JS when I I just I, I I've done so much without it. Well, why why do I need to learn it again? Because you don't like that I don't want to code. What? In a language or like even in an environment like JSON UI, you still have concepts. You still learn them by doing. It's um, not different from your average programming language. Uh, yeah, he's I'd stuck say. on that I'm doing JSON. I'd say it's, I'm, it's I'm a pretty similar JSON. experience. 
or for me it was a pretty a pretty similar experience uh, with like writing my very first javascript code and like writing my very first json UI code i said i was there failing i i thought i couldn't do it right but it's not the thought that makes you succeed in things right it's the will and if you really want to do something you're gonna make it and about the school thingy right uh I think he's just describing autism here at this point. Um, I don't know if that's like uh, what he actually has and stuff, but um, of, of, yeah, that's just like common symptoms it's, of autism, right? It's kind of funny because autism wasn't even a concept when, when I was tested. I mean, I was tested in the 90s. <clears throat> no, that, that didn't even exist. But you, you don't really know what's going on around you. You don't remember anything you said, but you do remember very specific things, right? And... I no, I I know what's going on around me. I remember what I said. I I can't these concepts that people tell me in these organized languages don't stick. I have a guy in my school who has autism, and guess what? He can code. He is weird in school as he um cannot remember stuff uh, that was just said a few or like he can remember stuff. Okay, it's just that he not always listens to it, but he tries to make it up by thinking logically. And that's the thing about programming. You think logically. You don't have to have great understanding or great uh, capabilities of listening to someone. You don't learn by... I know this, this will sound very ironic, but you don't learn by watching tutorials. Okay? Like, that's one you, thing that I want to clear. Don't learn you don't by learn watching, by watching tutorials. But I teach people tutorials all the time. People, people learn stuff all the time from the tutorials. Um... You learn by actually trying. Anyways, let's go further. School, I failed. I, I failed a lot. It, it would probably not surprise you to learn that I don't have a high school diploma. I had enough credits to get one. But because of this failure point, I struggled to finish one of the required credits required to graduate. So even though I had enough credits, I didn't have the right credit. Uh, right. I mean... um. I cannot tell you what you did or didn't do in your school, okay? That's just something I don't know. But the fact that you are still here saying this while doing all the JSON stuff shows that you do have the ability to do such things, right? I'm not trying to convince you to, like, learn J JavaScript and stuff. If it's, it's your thing if you, if you want to do it or not. But the fact that you learned all this Minecraft concepts, yes, which are concepts, by the way, shows that you do have some kind of understanding on what is going on there. And hey, maybe the school wasn't um, like made for you. And to that, to which I have to say, same bro, school sucks. What are you supposed to do about it? But here we are, writing our codes, creating amazing things in game, and living our lives. 0 0.025 of a credit I was missing because of I, I couldn't pass an advanced math class. So, even though you've seen all of my work and all of the phenomenal things I do and I'm able to do through problem solving yeah. and logical reasoning, when you put me into a programming environment and require me to apply programming skills that I can't remember or memorize the syntax and the rules to, then all of a sudden I fail and my failure rate skyrocket. So before I found Bridge, and I was just doing JSON by itself, my failure rates were over 20%. Wow, 20%. No, as I said, it's completely fine to fail. You are supposed to fail. You learn from failure. And the fact that you're here, being able to write, even if it's a thing like Bridge, right, shows that you are very well capable of remembering concepts and stuff. Like, it is okay and it is good to fail. I wasn't born a super talent. I had to fail a lot. I, I straight up sat a week there. And see, but what he's he's leaning to is, well, because you kept trying, you learned and it got better. And now you don't fail as much. That's not what happened. I used bridge and that stopped the failure because I stopped doing any coding. I, I very quickly identified that my attention to detail and all of the development things they do does not extend to uh, coding screens and language. That's why I really struggle with 
English and like error correcting and you see me when I type stuff I fail and I have to I mean I do it so bad I have to edit what I put in discord chat constantly um, and so it's that same thing I just I, I just learned very quickly I, I found my failure point identified it and once I removed it and moved to bridge then all of that went away tried making the system that I had in brain which was almost kind of impossible uh, to that uh, time of scripting API, but with problem solving, with weird quirks, with weird methods, I still managed to create that system. And for anyone wondering what that system was, it was like a system where when you when you die or like when you disconnect it, it created like a copy with your items. It was before like the player before leave event. So I had to get really creative of that, and I don't I didn't like it, or like I didn't like how shitty it was, but I liked succeeding in it i straight up and i i agree with his message try just keep trying i mean i i think a lot of people are acting like oh man you you tried and you failed once because their life experiences they've been trying and doing this for a few years but i i started when i was eight i'm i'm 44 so I, you know, I, 36 years I've been trying to program and code in countless languages. And, and yeah, you're right. I might get that little glimpse of a little bit of, oh, I could get something done here, something done there. But it, it's just script kitty stuff. I'm, I'm not able to actually do it. Well, spent a week doing nothing but trying to figure out how to fail less okay in all of the things i was doing because i was constantly struggling with how to even get past the json syntax now you say well you could just use autocomplete well autocomplete is fine if you're doing json for json industries but we're doing json for bedrock which is a, a, a niche and so all of the rules and syntax and the things that don't work and do work and the mojangs and then all of that cause all of these memorizations that you need to have you need to memorize and know what all of those different rules are and all the format versions and what this and what that and all of those things do using bridge i don't need to do any of that i open auto completions so first of all json by itself right doesn't have auto completions or how you call it it's um just a way of storing data there is no rule on which key value pairs you put in json that's up to you there's something i'm just saying when you go into um vs code you have a autocomplete for bedrock dev that's all i'm referring to called json schemas which define how the json is supposed to look like and this thingy here those auto completions that you see inside your editor this is just a json schema as well in fact there is a plugin for like uh, VS sure. Code, Blockception, which is just and, that. And when did the Auto plugin come out? You know? How many people knew about it? How many people were doing Bedrock development at 1.14? Even Janice and the most of the people in uh, Blockbench were doing Java still. I was one of the very first people that was doing Bedrock and like putting out stuff in guides, man. 2019. Other completions for your JSON files. Let's go into like anything in here gravity bomb okay i can go here into components and see all the auto completions that exist here right you don't have to memorize them i would agree that if you would have to memorize those that would be quite a problem i wouldn't be able to do it and so if i would have the option wait to... a second so you what about how that's formatted so if this is a 1.19 file, 1.19.100 and experimental, the formatting's different. If it's a 1.10 file, 1.8 file, what about the resource pack files and RP entity files? Those are differently formatted in different format versions. What about that? Is that just auto, just, it's just poofing? VS Code is doing that? Or do you have to know that when I'm using a RP entity file 1.10 versus 1 1.8, I have to do this versus that. Or does it just do it for you? Either use pure JSON, 
or bridge with a tree editor and some auto completions, I obviously would choose bridge, right? But I feel like he just lacks the understanding on of how like the stuff works under the hood, which you don't really have to. But essentially, it's a schema that is applied to your JSON that validates where something has to go and where not. In that case, this plugin here, Blockceptions, which is not the greatest, admitting, uh, admittingly. And has to be updated by someone else, and uh, is just another layer of issues versus, gra granted, Bridge does, but Bridge has got it all in there, and I've got to do anything else. It just has worked for all of these years. Provides those schemas, and you don't have to know anything from nothing, right? You still have auto completions. You still have this. You still have the formats. It's gonna tell you if you mess up somewhere when you like have a key which is like not allowed. Uh, but did you see how he just did it and then it didn't give him it? Yeah, it will in some places, and it's gotten better over time. I I completely agree. And if you enjoy using it. It, so be it. But why would I want... Look on the left. Why would I want that view on the left with all of those different things and all those different th options, okay? I got all of this stuff. I've got all of these lists, right? And I've got this this view. Or I could just have bridge how it is. It's all pretty and nice and simple and easy. And I just pop it up. Granted, I'm not arguing that it's not just a cover on the top. I'm arguing it is just a cover on the top and it makes me not a programmer or a coder because I'm not doing the code. I'm using the pretty surface. That makes me a developer. Um, a key which is not allowed, okay? You don't have to memorize that. I might get the point that like the braces kind of throw one off, right? But that's just one thing that you learn by doing. You could go ahead and watch a YouTube tutorial uh, for that, right? But well, once again, he just said it. That's one thing you just learn. You just learn. See how they keep saying it. You just learn. You just learn. Because they can just learn. It's great. I love that you can just learn. I can't just learn. That's not how you learn. You learn by doing. I want you to, um, I gotta go. Really enjoy watching your stream. Keep doing good work. Thanks, man. And bye bye. Yeah, right. Uh, where was I? Yeah, right. You learn by doing stuff and not by watching stuff. Which is why I, I actually, like, kind of stopped doing tutorials, I guess. Because, um, I know, I, I had the thought before that, like, my tutorials don't help anyone except myself. Because teaching is the best way of learning, but that's a different story. Um, I see people asking me questions which should be clear at that point. And I'm not saying that being new to something is something bad, right? Being new to something is completely okay. But you need to know that if you're going to watch tutorials, right? And you're not going to get to the point where you are going to be able to write something like that out of your mind. Because you're just missing the fundamentals. So what I did... So he's arguing that you need to know these fundamentals and that you you need to know these things and you gotta do it. Back to the point. I can't learn those fundamentals very well. That's where I'm struggling with and that's why I don't anymore. I've tried, tried and tried and tried. I've been doing this for five years and people act like, oh, you just haven't tried it. No, if you just try more and it's like, but I am really happy with how things are working and look at what I'm able to do with not trying how it works for you, doing it how it works for me. But for some reason, that drives people crazy. It drives people crazy that something works for me and I'm happy with it and I'm talking about it because I think other people are out there that there's a percentage of it that would work better for them than where they're at. I think there's a majority of people that should be programmers and should be coders absolutely and if you enjoy it and it speaks to you do it it does not speak to me did with my json series i always presented a problem and showed a solution 
but I'm still not happy about it. I didn't learn JCI by watching tutorials. I didn't learn JavaScript by watching tutorials. No. I experimented. I tried stuff out. And then I watched tutorials. With which there were no guides for everything you see that I've done is pretty much stuff I've tried and failed at and learned and then made guides for. The reason why you guys have watched my guides and know of them is because no one's made guides on those concepts. So, because I don't make guides if there's already guides for them, right? So, it, it's, see the problem there? It, the argument is, you're just not trying enough, and if you just try and fail, then you'll learn it. Well, I'm trying and failing at all these other things just fine, and I have proof. I have hundreds of guides. I have hundreds of thousands of game downloads. I have really good reviews. I've proven it. And yet people are still telling me that I just didn't try hard enough. And that's why I made this video. Because I have tried hard enough. You guys need to stop telling me I'm stupid because I don't do it how you do it. And if someone else shows up in the discords and they don't do it how you do it, telling them that they have to do it how you do it, I don't think is appropriate. An already existing understanding of stuff. Because that's basically just making a check mark in my book, seeing if the things that I learned from my experience are the things that are common. That, that, that you in my in my checkbook, those check marks just disappear randomly. You have to do that. You do. So that's one thing. Open up the software. You put in the format version you want. It does all of the rest of the work. All I have to do is do this little drop down and push uh, some something from the list. Yeah, that's exactly what you do with Jason. You just perfectly describe Jason. Oh my god, uh, it's it's so crazy. I think I, 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 th I think we need to use bridge now. Holy shit! Now, nah, but um, on a real note, if you're just going for the auto completions, then I don't know. May maybe he just lack lack the knowledge of this existing. But to which I have to question: What do you think would be the Minecraft? Uh, would be in the, happening in the JavaScript world? You think there are no tools for doing stuff in the Minecraft JavaScript world? Of course there are. It's called type definitions. Pretty similar to this. You just a uh, world. World dot. And oh my god. This is all related to Minecraft somehow. This is not JavaScript. Uh, but it is JavaScript, did you but see like, how he said it? Somehow. Somehow. So somehow. Now you got to know import world. You got to know what this file goes to. You got to know those versions, right? You got to know export defaults and you got to go through all these things. You got to be able to put in, oh, is it stackable? What's the type IDs? Uh, the lore, okay, yep, that's good. On use, okay, you're going to build all this out. We have a con container item, uh, comma player. See how the difference is versus just using component and a component group and event. Component. Component group, event. Component, component group, event. That's it. Component, component group, event. And items, and blocks, and entities. That would be it. Minecraft specific. You're telling me that that's equal. Specific. It's almost like you could configure the stuff to a Minecraft, to be a Minecraft workspace. Right? It's it's weird. It's, it's, this point doesn't quite make sense to me. And I think it's just, um, you know, not knowing the stuff. I think it's just misunderstanding, maybe. I, I'd love to hear what, what he means with, like, that. Because I don't see how well, this good, I'm making isn't a video applicable about it to right just now. JSON without the tree editor or JavaScript. So let's stop right here. Look at the screen. Components, component groups, events. I could take this to any person in their first day or two of bedrock development and say components, 
component groups, components go into component groups, events, turn them on and off. You're ready to go. Go out there and do it. Can you do that with JS? You can't even do that to get JS set up. How, how long is the guide, the video guide to get JS set up for the first time? I just did that in 30 seconds. I can explain most of the entire workflow of Bedrock BPs. Three things. Component, component group, event. No JS. This is what I'm saying. I, you could say, oh, it's JSON, fine. If you want to say, oh, component, component group, events, and JSON, so be it. But that's how simple it should be. It should be that basic, that easy. You shouldn't be then, oh, you got to go, you learn JS. You got you to gotta go install that. You got to get that version. You got to get that component. You got to make sure you got that right. You got to, oh, oh, watch out for that. And then there's just a list of all these things that then you have to do and you have to, yeah, it can do more. You're right. But I think component, component group, events was the golden secret to bedrock and add-ons and teaching and educating people about this process. And then from here, they could graduate on to a game development platform like Unreal or Godot or Unity that really could use their programming and they could use other real quality things in. And instead, they're going to graduate into JS and they're going to be able to do more in Minecraft. In a sandbox where you can do almost everything we want to do with component component group events and and they're gonna they're gonna reach out and they're gonna really quickly i worry hit a whole bunch of brick walls because of the limitations and yes you can do more but it's like having a backhoe in your backyard sandbox you can only do more for a very short while before you've just overloaded the system now if they went on to godot and they went on to unreal engine 5 and they went into somewhere else they could take that and they could just expand and go and go and go. And I think that's where it belongs. I don't think it belongs in bedrock. I think component, component group, event. So if I say, hey, I need to add a component, all the components in the game are here, and I literally just go through and test I, every I showed, one right? of them and I, I see what it that's... does and if it works for me. Yeah. So trial and error. That's that what you that's how, how you program development. Now if you guess what? That's how you also learn how to script. What the fuck? Crazy concept, right? You say, oh, well, here's a backhoe, and now you need to go learn JS and do programming to continue doing what you're doing or to do anything new or to use blocks or to do items. Personally, I think that's a really, really negative thing to add into the bedrock community Why? i know a lot of people say well it's so good because it adds so much more and it does so much more but if you want so much more and you want that ability then go to java we already no no um the thing with bedrock is okay i'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna take uh, his other point first okay like uh the f it's like he's kind of implying that you cannot do trial and error with like javascript because it's so much more complicated you can definitely do that and Guess I'm what? not at all implying that. All I, I'm not. I'm. That's not the point. The point is, is that this is basic. This is easy. I can teach this to pretty much anybody, and we've proven it. We've done very well educating a generation of kids and helping hundreds of thousands of them learn this process and learn how this function works and learn state machines and and then move forward. And so many of them have gone on to other platforms and done great. I don't think it's a great place to bring in because what is happening now is when someone comes in and they st are, this is their first day, they're told, you got to learn JS. They don't even get to this. They don't get to component, component group event. They're already being told they got to do all this other stuff. I don't think that's the environment we want to start people off on day one. Also have to do that, okay? To a certain point, if you want customizability, then just go to Java. The art of bedrock development, which I always liked, is um, the fact that everything is from the game itself, okay? Like, in Java, 
to like mod something you have to decompile the game and uh, maps some symbols to names and reverse minecraft's uh, deobfuscation shit right i agree that's ass which is why i'm developing a bedrock microsoft provides all those useful tools which sometimes at least um go uh go over multiple versions right and yes there are java data packs but they are way less powerful than bedrock add-ons like if i would have to like draw somewhere right we had java mods right we, we, we would have mods then we would have add-ons and then here maybe data packs data packs right so this is the official area, right? This is official. And this is third party. For example, Forge, Fabric, whatever. Scripting API is so fun to learn also. I don't need to reopen the world just using Reload. Yeah, it's really convenient because Microsoft knows um, like what Microsoft has full control, what they can do with like their modding API, right? But anyway, to my point, this thingy here could break, it could change, it could whatever. Best example is the, remo the removal of PDB files. Uh, believe it or not, but Bedrock mods existed um, in the form of the Amethyst launcher, which is uh, a project by Fredox, I think, or Freddy, I don't know. And guess what? This mods aspect, it died out in a single update because they were relying on Mojang. Right? Because their tool relied on something that they couldn't rely on. With add-ons and data packs, you obviously still have the risk that Minecraft might discontinue a feature or something. But I feel like that it's safer to use add-ons and data packs than. And that's fine, but that's not the point. You're you're now trying to take Bedrock and make it what what I'm saying. Java already is, and if you want to have more, go do it in Java. Java has more. It's this. It's the beach. You have all the sand in the world. Take that backhoe and just, bit, you know, dig as big of a hole as you want. Make the biggest sand castle you can make. Java doesn't have those limits. It's perfect for this. Bedrock has all these limits. So while JS is, yeah, you can do more, you're still in the sandbox in the backyard. And those hard limits are still there. And that more just doesn't feel like it's worth the the effort at this point when you could have just moved that over to Java and had all of that there and made Java better. You could have taken out all of these things that are causing you problems by putting JS in Java. For example, mods. That is something that always kept me inside the mind. Yeah, add add-ons to Java and do it with JS and leave Bedrock alone. Easy. Bedrock problem. Okay. Like knowing that there is support for what you do, it's just great. We have Java where you can be a programmer and you can be a coder and you have the ability to do so much more. Why would we take Bedrock and make it as difficult and, you know, a nightmare to deal with and mod in and add-ins in and dev in as Java when we already have Java? The Ooh, why do people play Bedrock? It's because either they have shitty devices, they have friends, they just prefer the development cycle of Bedrock better than, like, all the bullshit that you have to do in Java to add, like, a single item. Like, Bedrock is not the version that you go for when you're just massively skill-issuing, okay? Like, Bedrock has a very different targeted audience, and if you want to create content and games for that target audience, who are you to say to deny those things? Like, as a developer, you obviously want to have that your creation gets as many people as possible. Why would I make my creation only available for PC players or something like that? I like the fact that people can just join my world, no matter if Xbox, mobile, and whatever. But that that's just... Be you're just talking about the reach of Bedrock versus Java. You're not talking about the difficulty of developing in it and the difference between... Java development, being able to do so much more and having real programmers and having people that can do all that stuff and enjoy it. It's a great environment for it. You can mod your heart's content out. You can do all that you want. Whereas Bedrock had this nice, clean, 
component, component group events. If they would have added that to blocks and items, think of how easy the entire development cycle would be. But instead, we have this, and now we have JS, which is this whole nother system that can do more. And experience the work I created, which is simply not possible in Java. Why would I go to Java? Tell me. It would and have been possible if they would have moved JS into Java and added add-ons to Java. Then you could do anything you wanted. It's not like Bedrock doesn't offer great tools, right? They're making... They're not purposefully making stuff shit, okay? They listen to the community, and especially some people like Dark Navi, right? They are very close to the scripters. If some, if some feature is like very misleading or something, we could just go ahead and tell the Mojang devs, hey, that feature, I don't like. And if they maybe agree with something like that, they will definitely change it. I, this is not something that you will see in Java, for example. We as but none of that has anything to do with this conversation. That's a whole nother conversation. Should Mojang support Java like they do Bedrock? Sure. What does that have to do with putting JS in Bedrock? You're just saying you like Bedrock, so we should have all of the ability in Bedrock because I like Bedrock. Well, if Java had the same audience and the same support, wouldn't JS be better in Java than Bedrock? It doesn't even sound like, like you picked Bedrock. Is like You even said it. Like The only reason people are going to Bedrock is because they have worse devices or because they like the development or because it sounds like you think Java is better. It just doesn't have the support and it doesn't have the same add-on stuff. So say it did have that. Wouldn't JS have been the better place to put in Java than Bedrock and left Bedrock for the audience that you're talking about on mobile devices? Imagine learning JS on a mobile device and having to do that when they're already struggling to do component, component group, event. As Bedrock devs are working so closely with like the official Mojang employees. It's crazy. Absolutely. I think that that's wonderful. I don't know what that has anything to do with this. That's great. The Java people should do that too. I don't I don't know what that has to do with JS being here or not. And the people that requested it, uh, it's my understanding from watching a, a Mojang employee say in a video in 2019 that he saw it being JS being used in China um, in some of their modding and add-on stuff that the community was doing and thought it was so cool and uh, thought I, we have to have that in Bedrock. That, that's why we have it. Not because the partner said we we need this. They Remember, they tried to do many other things and failed at those things. And then we got JS. So it's it's kind of like this mixed bag of which is it? Like they wanted to do it in the background and they've kind of been trying to work it in. But they're doing all these other things and then those things failed. So then it got in there. But it got in there first as this, you know, testing. Oh, we'll use this for because I was sold to me as, oh, we're going to have this testing. And oh, we, we could use all this testing to auto automate our add on development and all of the troubleshooting or whatever. And, and we was going to make all of the quality of our stuff better. And then that hasn't really happened. And so then it turned into JS. So that's my understanding of it. I mean, and I'm probably wrong. I don't know. I, I watched the video and I didn't even get the video. I, someone shared it into the, 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 at the Discord channel. I just clicked it and just Microsoft employee being interviewed talking about this stuff. Well, why would I not want to do that? Absolutely, absolutely. The benefit of Bedrock is it met everybody where they were. So someone that's eight years old or 10 years old that has no background yeah. of anything can pick it up and in a few hours yeah. learn how to do things. But now that the bar of entry has been raised to a JS level, those same kids now have to go learn a programming language or learn JS and the fundamentals of programming plus JSON just to do what they could do um, or what we were told we would be able to do over the last few years 
uh, obviously, it's another layer of abstraction that you have to add uh, if you want to uh, like create something. For example, the custom components drama, right? They removed something, um, for example, the on-step component on blocks in favor of custom components for JavaScript. Right? Um, it is a pretty con uh, controversial topic. I don't really care that much about it. Um, by the way, there is a fly flying around, which is kind of annoying. But yeah, um, I don't really care that much about it because, uh, well, I've been developing in JavaScript uh, for a lot of time, and I might see it for people that like just use JSON. I think that's a real interesting thing to think about when you listen to his comments. He's been developing in JavaScript for a long time. And I, I think it's just really hard for people to go back to that first day when they knew nothing about any of these things and, and just put yourself back in those shoes. And, I, and I'm and i not doing it because I can put myself in those shoes easily. I'm doing it because I'm helping people every day and I'm constantly seeing those people in those shoes every day. And, and I watch the chats every day and I see how many people come in and it, you can see that they're new to the Discord. It's the very first time they've, they're trying to use Entity Wizard or do something very basic and they're instantly told you have to learn JS. They don't have to learn JS for what they're doing, but they're told that constantly and it's person after person after person. It's why I made this video is I saw someone tell someone that and it just drives me nuts. Because I've been told that my whole life. You have to learn to program. Just learn to code. If you want to do things in your brain and your your imagination, you got to learn to code. But I've been doing it without learning to code. That it's frustrating that they need to learn something new just to get the same thing done that they managed uh, to do previously. And I do get that. I, I, I completely understand. Uh, and as someone new... I also think that, well, just le learning like JavaScript as well. I mean, to be honest, if you're new, you don't actually learn. You just copy paste. You copy paste, modify, and see. To which, I uh, yeah, you, you just trial and error, right? And I think that even with like block stuff, uh, like even with. Think about that. Previously, they could component, component group, events component component group events and they could look up all the the vanilla examples for how to organize and do this for everything in the game now they have to copy paste code and trial and error to figure it out it we're not even in the same ballpark anymore with like um javascript stuff you can still trial and error just as well if not uh, better than like all the JSON stuff and you also have to consider that there are way more resources for JavaScript than there are for this specific bedrock uh, JSON stuff the developer velocity is just so higher you can iterate so much faster right uh, if you have uh, for example if how many people have seen it a good experience when someone in bedrock starting out tries to go get help from any other community js json uh c sharp c plus plus direct x12 we're a pretty specialized industry we're a pretty specialized niche if i go into unreal engine 5 or i go into direct x12 and start asking questions about the api for minecraft rtx i don't want to People literally just laugh at you. Like, I, well, I, this isn't, I don't, this isn't real game development. This isn't real programming. I know it like feels that way and it seems adjacent, but the rest of the world, the people that make AAA games don't think this is programming and think this is game development. This is, we're just script kitties doing some add-ons. We're just toggling stuff. So, I don't, do you really think that people that are coming in the Bedrock Dev should go to other JS resources and places and, and get resources from those places like ai and and it's gonna be beneficial has anybody seen that actually work well yet because I've, I've been doing this for 
four plus years now, and I I haven't seen that turn out well. If if you want to do custom logic, right? You can ask ChatGPT, for example, which I do not recommend, by the way, because ChatGPT is Omega Mid, and you should try exactly. to figure stuff out on your See, own. But the fact that there's so but many, but it doesn't. But ChatGPT doesn't do bedrock. We we have this conversation constantly. Like, even with custom training, it still is. That's not how you use it well, and that's still something that's been out for a few months. Versus, we're talking about years here. Online resources on like. Uh, JavaScript uh, makes you think that hey maybe m maybe JavaScript isn't maybe that hard maybe to learn, especially if there are um, resources online. And yes, searching up and I, I, I talked about it earlier. Uh, and and this is like a majority of the things people say. It's just not that hard. And what they're saying is it just wasn't that hard for them. So because everybody's the same, it shouldn't be that hard for you. And if it is, you're lazy or you just don't want to learn or remember I went through and said, I, I got tested for this. And when I got tested, the, the tester said, Hey, you need to be really careful about this in your life because you're going to struggle with this. And if you rely on this, you're going to have a really hard time. But if instead you rely on your other strengths and you work around this, then you're going to do okay, but you're still going to struggle because this is required in life in a lot of places. And then what other people then tell me, well, it was easy for me to learn, so it should be easy for you to learn. No, I, I have a lot of experience and, you know, effort into testing this whole thing. And I'm trying to put a video together to tell you that because I think there's a lot of other people that have these same issues and it's not a lot but maybe it's 10 percent. maybe 10 percent of people out there should be visual coders and right now they're being told to do normal coding normal coding and they're struggling at it and they need someone to have a video that says hey it's okay i struggle at that too and i found a better way that works for me and if it works for you hey yay everybody use the tools that work for them however I see an overwhelming amount of people coming into Bedrock that I think would do better and would have stuck around longer and I think would, you know, learn the process faster if it was component, component group events. Because that is pretty easy to teach. Component component group events and it's pretty easy to teach to 200 different languages and people around the world that come from countless different education systems component component group events googling is a very important part to learn Okay, how many people have Googled Bedrock stuff any time in the last three years and found, you know, especially right off the bat? Now, I give you it's gotten a lot better, but go to Microsoft's website right now, go to search, put in animation controllers, and it shows you everything in all of my Microsoft's database for all of their development stuff for everything. I can't even use it. I'm doing this every day and I have to have shortcuts on my toolbar. I made a uh, Chrome extension just to have the links to the, these because the search is so broken on MS Docs and there is no proper filter for bedrock content where you don't get everything else. So you're telling them to go Google it. Google it versus Component, component group, events. Like knowing how to search for stuff is also very important. I relate to that. And yes, I always use ChatGPT. <laughs> and um, yeah, that there's a lot of Keep stuff in, mind, in ChatGPT. He's streaming I, again, live, I do not recommend so people it. Are talking uh, if you to him in the chat. wanna really understand the thing, you can you can like use ChatGPT as a help, right? You can make ChatGPT maybe explain the code and stuff. Uh, and it's good that those tools exist. No questions asked. Yeah. Well, let's just see what he has to um, say. 
so why do I think that that's happened? Why do I think that things have changed and all of a sudden now we're getting um, JSON? Well, personally, I think it's because they, they want to raise the bar so that it's a higher entry level. Um, I think marketplace is saturated and overwhelmed. There's a lot of junk and a lot of bad stuff. And instead of having a better review process and holding partners to a higher standard, Ooh. the solution is raise the bar so only you know programmers and JS and That's people an that have take. a programming background um, in essence, we'll be able to get those jobs. So go That's a very interesting take. And um, I find it kind of confusing. It's not like that if you're just one person who makes like a crappy agents and stuff, you're going to get accepted into a marketplace. No. Even though you, you can hate on the stuff that is on the marketplace as much as you want, but the people sitting behind there are definitely not inexperienced uh, newbies, okay? They're not entry-level developers. Those are people who've been there for multiple years. And yes, you might see something a little silly like, uh, what, 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 dream skins or something like that. But there's probably a company sitting behind that, a marketplace team, right? Hiring the developers and stuff. And now, let me ask you this. What is easier to hire? Some, uh, some Minecraft expert or someone who knows JavaScript and knows how to read documentation. I would argue that finding a JavaScript developer for game development is easier than finding some, uh, someone that is very experienced with all the Minecraft JSON quirks and stuff. And um, you don't get ex accepted into the Marketplace program just like that. You need to be on a very high level. And yes, the Marketplace is quite saturated. Um, I actually would like to turn the statement around. The Marketplace doesn't have enough consumers, right? I, I'm, I'm fine with having a saturated Marketplace. That's completely fine for me. It's just that um, there is just not enough people who use the stuff on the marketplace. I disagree. I, there's 1,500 or 10,000 or so. I can't even remember the last number of furniture add-ons and, and packs. You're telling me that there's just another, there's just not enough people that want to buy their 10th, 20th, 100th, 1,000th, 10,000th furniture pack? Xbox and Microsoft are trying to bring 2 billion more people online in South Africa and all of those through the cloud and through uh, satellites and all of those people are coming online. I, I don't disagree that a lot more people coming into the market and buying content would be great. I don't think that solves the issue of having 200 plus partners and all of them have put out a furniture update or multiple how does that solve that problem how does it solve the quality i've put out a furniture update or add-on myself i i i, I don't even want to admit it <laughs> it didn't do very good but there's a lot of them still out there and it's not i don't think people are buying most of them um and there is a lot of really poor quality stuff there's a lot of great stuff i absolutely i don't think we ever have to even bring it up it, there's phenomenal stuff out there but uh, i mean we hear about it constantly how there's a lot of stuff coming out and the marketplace wasn't designed for this many park uh partners and something has to give and the majority of the people that are in the industry are from the indies that that came up through learning this stuff um that's how i got into it is somebody asked me to make make a game make an add-on so those next layer of jobs the next generation of jobs and those people as they're replaced or they move on to other stuff are going to be replaced like you said from the js pool not from the bedrock community in my opinion in in more cases than not and that is because it costs money uh, those aren't just kids publish the stuff hoping to get money no those, those are marketplace teams companies whatever so I don't know. I, I do not agree with this take. Going forward. It's true. It costs money to put stuff out, but partners also have to put stuff out. You know, you have to keep putting stuff out. The only way to make money and keep your brand going is having content. So if 
they have to get something out and it's not the best it could be or it's just the same idea duplicated because they're not creative or they're just a factory. We all know that there's a lot of factory um, partners out there that are just spitting out content and burning out people and just flying through it and not putting creativity and a lot into it. it how, you know, that's that's part of this problem and so yeah if the bar's raised and it's more difficult to make stuff and there's more paperwork more paperwork hordes more paperwork then everything slows down and you have to get more people and more time and more money and and better people better quality people and more trained people more educated people Forward, the marketplace will be full of programmers with college degrees more than it will be any devs that came from the community. Uh no, just no. Uh, I can tell you, right, if I would be there and had the option, either a college student who uh, learned programming by going to a school or having someone um, that learned programming by doing and figuring out, I would 100% choose the one that learned it on its own. It's actually quite simple. If you do programming, is a thing of passion. If you don't have the passion, you're not gonna learn anything. You gotta be in invested into the stuff that you're making. So, I think that this is a phenomenal point, and I I totally agree with the point. But he's saying it as a developer. He's not saying it as a project manager or a partner that's running a studio, and a partner that's running a studio that is not a developer is going to hire the college educated person with a certificate that says programmer on it that's certified in JS before they hire some indie unless the indie can show that they have that ability and that's why I put you know that's why I do my prototype videos because I don't have that certificate I don't have that formal education so the only way I can get work is to show that I can do it in doing it but in the future, that's not going to be good enough in most cases because that college-educated person is going to be able to show they can do it as well. So why wouldn't you pick the one that can show they can do it and they have that certificate behind them? Uh, in other industries, we've already seen this happen countless times. This is not new. This loop happens all the time. To be good at you're not gonna see people. I mean, maybe you see st uh, people of college degrees programming, right? It's definitely uh, not a exception, but there is a type of quality, right, that just exists in the self-taught programmers. They might not be familiar with sp special names or concepts, right? But I. But you just said you can learn all that stuff really quick and look it up. You don't. That, none of that stuff matters. That's been your argument this whole time. I do think that they tend to have a higher problem-solving ability, which is um, why you could maybe um, get them to integrate into the environment way better. I bet that people like Conmaster maybe, right? Conmaster. I, I do not think that he goes to a college or something like that to learn about his stuff. No, he's self-taught. And guess what? He's one of the best scripters that are in the scripting community. Or actually, if you just look at the, at the people that are like in our scripting community, most of the people don't have that, that scripting college degree or something like that. Most of them are self-taught. Correct, and that's because the it's this is so new. A JS isn't is barely even stable, so we're just now starting this process, and that's why I'm bringing this up. Me included, and I bet you that there are many people. Uh, in like uh, the marketplace that's, that are currently making stuff with scripting that still goddamn fly that, that like still use or uh, that still don't have a college degree I can bet you that you don't gotta be a professional to do but, but you're going to be if the bar as the bar has been raised why not you already said it why not just hire from that better that bigger pool of people and I agree depending on who the person is doing the hiring absolutely a lot of people love to hire indies i'm not saying that there won't be any but the more money is involved and the more that there's backers to the studios and there's people behind it and some of these studios are making a shit ton of money 
the more they're going to want to hire those professionals that have that degree so they can put it on a website and they can show it off and they can say, look, we have this talent and we have these certifications and we have this stuff. I, I, I just, I've done this in so many industries. I've done this in telecommunications. I've seen the same thing. We've just seen it across the board so many times that a small thing that starts out really good and really unique and has its thing once it has a lot of money involved, all of a sudden now, you know, there's a different level. There's, you got to step up. And, and my concern is, is it's Minecraft. I was really hoping they were going to let it stay Minecraft and let it be that unique thing instead of stepping it up and stepping it up and stepping it up. Do that. Anyways. Um, in my opinion, that's disgusting. I think that's really sad and disappointing. Um, I think the entire niche and one of the, the greatest reasons why Bedrock has done what it's done and been what it's done is because the, the entry point is so easy and the ability to get in and learn stuff is so easy. In my opinion, Bedrock is the number one best place to start doing game development. Yep. Or it was until JS was out. Nope. I, now, uh, I still think, like, you, you do got to remember that um, even stuff like JavaScript gets you into javascript right if if you learn javascript to minecraft just like i did you have the knowledge of javascript that you can actually apply in different areas if you learn your little and, and absolutely and it's a great point and and i i'm not discouraging anybody from learning those things i just there's so many places you can learn that stuff now like he said why does it need to be shoved into bedrock bedrock didn't need it it was in a perfect spot doing its thing and now they've taken this and shoved it in they've taken a backhoe and put the backhoe in a sandbox in the backyard where the kid was using a shovel making a little sandbox and everything was fine and but why well because lots of money is involved now well, uh, Jason quirks and stuff you might not be able to uh, apply it in like any other job but with JavaScript you learn it through Minecraft, through game development, and... Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, absolutely. I mean, the stuff that you're learning in Mojang means nothing anywhere else. Guess what? You can apply it in other areas. I can, again, talk from my experience. I started doing my JavaScript stuff in Minecraft, and guess what? Now I'm able to do what Discord bots, even my, my own website, Scalzo.de, right? My thing, guess what? That all started with me, with, with silly, silly little me. Yeah, wanting and, to code and, JavaScript and it's like, and it's in Minecraft like, because it speaks to you. Or it, that's what that wasn't really you uh, feel it. my it intention. To you. Like great. I didn't went to Bedrock and said, "Yes, I want to learn JavaScript." No, I wanted a feature, and I saw that. Oh, I need this to to do this feature, right? I need to do that, and I looked at it, and I spent time with it. This wouldn't be different than doing all the JSON stuff. You would still have to go there, look at a feature. Oh, I need this to accomplish that and apply this concept. How is it different? than the JavaScript stuff. Like, it's not component, component group, events. That's three things. Component, component group, events. The components go in the component groups and the events turn them on and off. See how easy that was? For both cases, both JavaScript and JSON, you still need to go there and, oh, I need this to accomplish that. And then you need to apply it. That is programming. Yeah, I'm also self-studying without, uh, without a college degree. See, there are a lot of people that program without a college degree. The JS has been added. It's so convoluted and the bar has been raised and there's so much complexity and mess to it that you might... The skill ceiling has been raised, okay? There is... Of, ob obviously. So back to before it was, oh, it's easy. Oh, just, you don't have to do anything. You, you just can get in and push some stuffs and fill and just copy and paste. And now it's this, this, the, you, you still can, um, you can do way much more. You have a still a higher skill ceiling, but only because you don't know the new technology doesn't mean that, uh, like it is now harder to do or something, right? If they add.
it, it is harder to do custom blocks and custom items because they took away the stuff, even the XP stuff, but even before the XP stuff that they had been promising and replaced it with JS. So while yes, you could say, well, JS just by itself in a box without any of the context of what's happened over the last five plus years and all of the failure points and all of the promises and all of the things that didn't happen and then the things that did happen that then were taken away because those were just XP and we don't have the bandwidth to support both and we got to now just do uh, this one JS. Kind of, you know, plus JS hasn't just worked. It's been dripped out of a faucet over months. Well, I'm doing development in, for Marketplace every day. How do I integrate JS in over the last four years when it's dripped out of a faucet and then changes when it's a uh, test for whatever the test crap was that they tried to put in and force that on us and that failed and didn't work. And then that had to morph into this. It, you see how it, it's not a stable platform. It's not a stable development system. I have add-ons that I've been developing for five years. So if I would have bought into XP mode or bought into the things they promised us beforehand, even RTX, super duper pack, if I would have bought in at any of those points and I did buy in hard on RTX and I lost thousands of dollars on it and uh, I can't, thousands of hours of work on RTX that's just useless. Um, it, it is complex. There is a lot to it. It is not just component, component group events. Add a new feature. You cannot just say, oh no, um, it's so hard. What the fuck? Like, but they didn't just add the new feature. It's been dripped and then failed and dripped and then failed for month after month, update after update, year after year. And yeah, you could say, well, now in 2024 in July, it's mostly stable. But component, what, uh, component, custom components, it just became stable like two weeks ago. They're still building them. People are still figuring them out. How could I be doing development all this time on a stable platform if I would have bought in and gone and done all that stuff? It, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, if you're a hobbyist and you enjoy all that stuff, but look at all the hobbyists that got burned by XP and holiday, you know, whatever crap, which was pulled out this week, by the way. Spend time with it. Spend time with the new feature and then please judge about it. Because so if I just try harder and I just spend more time in this, if I just spend more time with JS and I've just spent more time with Python, if I just spend more time with, with you know, JSON. And he said it multiple times. If you just spend more time with JSON, then you wouldn't need Bridge, really, because you're already doing, you could just be doing it in VS Code, right? You could just... But that hasn't been my experience. I did try it. I did, I did fail at it. And I, 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 you're right. I made some stuff, but I had a huge failure rate. Since I'm running a business, 20% failure rate is a problem. That's your profit margin. How do I eat 20% failure rate when I could use bridge and do no code and not have that failure rate? Because you didn't know how easy it is to get into javascript you didn't try it it's it's a reality how can you sit there and tell um people that it's now um, uh, so much harder to get into javascript well, i i have done javascript i've done python i've done all kinds of things i i never said i did it why didn't you uh, consider the fact that it could be easier? From your knowledge point, where you already have, um, what, the 20 years of JSON and stuff. Well, keep in mind that I'm in the help chats every day seeing all of you guys complaining about struggling with it. And while there are some cool things people have made, I haven't seen one thing that says, oh, I need to go do that. I need to jump over there. Not one. I mean, I'm still trying to do the things that I want to do with with Bridge and, and, and the game I got now. I haven't even maxed it out. 
I'm still using a shovel and I'm really happy with the shovel and I don't even think I've got to I think I'm at 40% of what I can do with the shovel right now and you guys want me to jump to a backhoe. What? That don't that doesn't make any sense. Off right. Okay, sure. You only know Jason. I get it. But you will never have the experience as someone who Jason, is just though. starting out. And obviously, it's a new thing that that you gotta learn. And I bet if Minecraft would introduce a non-JavaScript feature, um, that is new. Like for example, dot .molang files or something like that. Would that be bad? Would Would it be bad to be able to link molang files to your JSON stuff code? Like I, I don't think so. Yeah, I, if it was difficult and added more layers and more steps, uh, yeah, I think that would be bad. I think we're doing really good with component component group events Be, the, mojang is not purposefully trying to make stuff harder they're not purposefully trying to raise the ceiling in fact dane test my uh, the scripting api started out as a testing framework for minecraft to okay so see where we're at now okay well they you should be doing this and if you just put time into it oh hey it started out as a testing thing well, that doesn't sound very stable. Do you mean it didn't start out as JS to do all this stuff and do more? To see if your add-ons worked. And then they say, oh, people like using this testing framework uh, to add on to their Minecraft gameplay. And then they made this a thing. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that's how it went down, but... We, as a community, made the scripting API what it is today I don't think that's true either I think the partners complained uh, the partners were spending a lot of money on testing stuff and the quality was low and was going down and Microsoft was having to spend a horrible amount of money paying people to test add-ons before they were launched in the review process and so Microsoft needed a way to automate that process and automating that process was really big in the entire industry so everybody was starting to do more of that scripting uh, style testing and automating stuff um, I mean, I've automated lots of stuff in other industries. It's it's something that it's it's big. Corporations want to do that all over the place to save money. So Microsoft wanted to do that, and the partners were pushing for it because a lot of the partners were doing these bigger projects, and they needed a way to test the same project on multiple devices with in a automated scripted process. Um, I don't think the community really like the community as far as like the indies had anything to do with it or very little to do with it. Um, money had to do with it. It's very expensive to do the testing on every device type. And so they needed a way to script that. If we wouldn't have used it, if we wouldn't have built our uh, stuff with it, we would probably still have funny little silly game test that is oriented towards marketplace developers. I don't think so. I think um, they even said that the other stuff that they were doing failed and that's why they had to pivot to this because the custom blocks and the 1.19.100 stuff was too much bandwidth and that's why they pivoted. It wasn't because everybody was doing amazing stuff with it. I saw very little actually done with it. Um, there were some definitely people using it for its intended purpose, but um very little stuff i mean i've been here every day nobody's been coming to us every day for the last four years and saying hey can you help us with this really test stuff we're doing over here they haven't been doing it they come to us every day and ask for help with hey i want to learn how to do component component group events and then when JS started to get put in, then it became, and it, it was XP mode. Everybody, oh, I want to learn how to do XP and custom custom items. And that was great. We were teaching them all that stuff. And then that got dumped for JS. Because they even they say in their own words, they failed at it. And they didn't have the bandwidth to support it. It didn't work. So they pivoted to JS. It wasn't some like, Hey, everybody's just, this is so epic and wonderful. It, it was a pivot because the other things that they had promised us, they weren't able to get done. To ensure that their add-ons work 100% of the time. It's kind of like saying that, oh, the super duper pack, we got RTX because 
they everybody you know was so excited about super duper pack they gave us rtx it's like no they failed at super duper pack they made a deal with nvidia for rtx we got that they failed at that they then came up with deferred and now we're waiting on deferred and hoping that that doesn't fail and if that fails then we're going to get something else they're going to come up with some other marketing thing it it's it's a very odd thing when we have this history and we have this pattern and it's very like it's very well known to be like oh everything is so smooth and everything oh this was just this great transition and this great handoff and oh yeah it was no big deal and everybody's just like cheering and ha ah, ah, ah. but we every day we have people coming in and talking about HC, HCF and experimental and that getting canceled and JS being shoved down our throats and be pushed and why do I have to do this and you, absolutely there are some people that love using it but in my experience a lot of those are people that have already had success with a, doing programming and coding and enjoy it or they're doing it in school or they're doing it in other places and so just adding this into their skill sets great it's wonderful and, and once again i don't have a problem with that i think that's great i just think it'd be better in java versus putting it in bedrock because it takes away from component component group events but no we the community used game test and made and added on onto our gameplay and it's just crazy it is it was us the community who enabled I I would love to see, you know, some of those packs that he's saying we use game test to make these amazing packs. I show me show me them. I would love to see what features you were using game test that was doing something that wasn't a 0.1% niche thing. Able to scripting API as well just go learn Godot or UE5 or just go full into some other actual engine that has the ability to handle all the stuff you're going to do. Uh, no, nope, I'm going, no, I want to do Microsoft. I'm going to keep doing Microsoft. It's that simple. I want to have the, the, the feelings, the aesthetic, the player base that Microsoft already has. I don't want to do anything from scratch. But see, it's back to the player base issue. Isn't that interesting that it's not, it's not about hey, this is a really good place for creators to come in and learn how to do game development. It's about he wants to access the player base. And trust me, I tried. I tried. And I did do something. But there's just something about Minecraft modding, Minecraft add-on, uh, creating add-ons, which is charming. And, well, saying that I should go do something else. And, and I agree with that, and that's what I'm trying to protect. I think that charm came from component component group events it's, it's kind of weird and yes it's kind of weird that this is exactly at your point that you're speaking about oh yeah go do something else uh, while i like that i'm not judging you for uh having a preference towards the jason stuff i'm judging you for, for your wrong takes that you do not have experience and i'm trying to get that experience trying to clear up the things that are missing in the video i'm not judging you for not wanting to do something okay I'm just saying what I think is wrong. Okay? Takes that I that, that you have no experience of where I just know that are not like that. I'm trying to correct them. I'm not so forcing he says, you to he says takes that I have no experience from, but I I've been working in the marketplace and have pretty big add-ons on the marketplace. Um, I started with some of the very first partners, I think, that were under 25, like the first 25 that were in the marketplace. I've been in the Blockbench community since, you know, 2019 or something. In the very early days, I was contributing to the wiki and some of the, some of the very first people contributing. Um, I... I have 80,000 help posts, 300 guides. I'm here every day. I have... I, what what other experience do you want? I have hundreds of thousands of, of marketplace add-on downloads. Um, I have 250,000 views on YouTube guides. I get comments from people every day on all of those guides and feedback about how they're struggling with these things and how this guide helped them and how this has been weeks of them struggling with this or, hey, they've had this problem and that's still just in component, component group events. 
none of that is covering JS. And we're not getting more help support from Mojang. We're having to now as a community also support all of the JS overhead and all of those people having questions and all of those people needing help when we already have daily people needing help that aren't getting help in component component group events. I think it would have been much better to focus all of our efforts at that and really hit you know meet the community and everybody in helping all of those new creators and and all of those people coming in and then if you want to say hey over here we have java graduate from here over to java or graduate over here to godot or graduate over here to, to minecraft education or something else and instead we're bringing them in and saying oh you got to do js day one they don't even have the chance to go through, you know, it takes about a month to go through and learn the majority of everything in, in the bedrock component, component groups, events, B, you know, ACs and all that stuff. They don't even get that chance. They're being told to learn JS like right away and they got to learn this stuff. So now you're saying, well, they need to be in for instead of one month. Now they need to be in to two to three months. And we've asked the community, we've made charts on it. We've gone through and surveyed people and said, how long do you think it will take you to, in learning JS to get to this stage? Well, it's going to take us two months to get to that stage, or it's going to take us, you know, four weeks. And you can look up the chart. We post it all the time. I didn't come up with the chart for the JS people. They did. I just asked the community and they created it. So it, it's like, I, I, th do JavaScript and stuff. I think to convince you that it's safe. Maybe not as bad as you think. Um, because, yeah, you may say, well, JS is so powerful and can do so much, but is Bedrock the place for JS to be using that power and, and doing so much more? Why not? I don't think so. I think Bedrock was in a really good place with JS and with um, the system. Well, he's confusing up JS and JSON so much. Yeah, this, this is where I swapped them. It would have been a much better uh, move for the um, I'm, ecosystem. I'm no edit. This the is community. all no edit. So if they pushed forward with JS blocks instead, and J JSON the, I'm sorry, blocks? the JSON blocks instead, yeah, and JS was never added or put in. Um, however, in that scenario, the people that lose the most are the the developers at Mojang. The developers at Mojang don't want to be doing JS. They are professional programmers and developers and, and coders. They, they want to be doing programming, and programming is in JS. They don't want to be doing J, you know, JSON and be doing stuff like we're doing it now, or we're doing it because that's not what they were educate. That's not what their education is, and that's not what they're hired to do. And programmers are going to program. Program. I don't understand this take. Is he saying that like Mojang wants to add a JavaScript API? Because they're developers? They're, they're programmers. You just switched. Now you're saying the people that are making all of this are developers, not programmers? Yes. They want to use an API. Everybody in the entire game industry, everywhere, everything, all programming uses APIs. Of course they want to use APIs. I'm just saying, I think APIs is too much for Bedrock to start people out with. Why is that so hard to believe? Like, why is that so hard? Uh, yeah, I think having APIs, an API gateway in Bedrock is too much for Bedrock. I, I think it's the wrong audience. You do realize that for this JSON stuff, they also had to program in an abstraction from the C++ world into this? I don't get the point. Yes, what programmers so are going to programmers. JS. Programmers are going to program. You're the right. Stuff. Yes, programmers program things so programmers can do more. I get it. Programmers are not going to look at the customer and say, oh, we have an 8 to 10 year old coming into this industry and they're starting out. This will be the first time they're doing anything. We should give them a easy non-coding experience to get them started to teach them these um concepts of game development instead they're going to say we're programmers and the solution to everything and every problem is programming that no well why can't you why can't you 
why can't you say the exact same thing about programming? Like this point that you just made is also true for programming. You can just make someone sit in front of a computer, write something and teach the concepts in that. It doesn't matter if it's programming or JSON. You can obviously still teach concepts with programming. In fact, you even have to. It's not like, bam, you know everything, right? Not like you're going to watch a tutorial and then know anything. No, you obviously still have to go there, view concepts and learn them. But, know you're, this... but you're learning the programming at the same time versus if you open up Bridge and you toggle stuff, you can learn the concepts. Then you could learn the programming. Assumption comes from... See, you're, you're, one of the other places is there's the object, you know, oriented programming where there's these concepts that people, especially logical people, just get really well. How to organize data and how to how to put things in buckets and how to, you know, how that works. But a lot of people don't pick up and do that very well. That object-oriented programming that you take classes for, or you read about, or you learn about, that's not something you just do. Those are concepts. You have to learn the concepts. Then you have to integrate them into how you program and how you set up things, how you name things and how things connect when they're named. And when you look at stuff and you're the one that can just make up the names, it, it's really hard to learn programming in those situations because you just made up a variable or you just made up something and it only really means something to you. Or in case, you know, hopefully someone included you know, text or a tag or a video to go along to explain what that meant. But you're still stuck in that spot, right? It's still asking those people that are just starting out to take on a huge load of stuff versus just component, component groups, events, which we've been very successful at teaching. That you just know everything or that just everything is impossible to like, do gosh that's the only tool but not everything how is everything impossible to do when you've seen all of the things i've done without js how you've seen all the guides you've seen all the content i've made so how did those two statements go together you think everything's impossible and everything's too hard well but look at the insane things that i've done and all of the stuff i've made obviously i don't think that because I'm doing all of those things through failure and trial and error. Nobody's helping me with that stuff, right? I ask a few questions in the Discord for some things. Um, but typically, they're more common things that I just don't remember very well. I can't keep up with. Um, tool they have. They don't have any other tools. They don't have... They didn't, they didn't learn this way. Most of them went to college, they got a college degree, and then they got a job in game development. They aren't indie devs that came up through the industry, learned the hard way, didn't have the guides, learned how to do it, and made something of it. Um, and that's a big difference because if you come from, you know, public education or private, you know, upper education, then you believe in most cases the solution of all the world's problems are just government and upper education. Is he like saying that if you come from education, you think that education is the solution? Yep. Hmm. I mean, let me let me think about that. I mean, again, the stuff that is done here with the JSON stuff is probably pretty similar to embed than the JavaScript thingy. I, I do not understand it's. The people that it's targeting, that's a real issue. I don't think it's the people at Microsoft who have problems with, like, uh, getting a task done. If their task is, hey, create a, a JSON API backend for, like, uh, blocks and stuff, okay, they, they're going to do it. If their task is create a uh, JavaScript uh, API, whatever the fuck, they're going to do that as well. I disagree, because the comments that they've made is they don't have the bandwidth to support both. And so when someone says they don't have the bandwidth or they don't have the staff level or they can't do both paths, that's telling you that there's a preference. So they could have done component, component group events and JS. They could have kept all of the exper experimental features in, but they themselves said they didn't have the bandwidth to do both. So they chose 
js programmers chose a programming language over component component group events because that's what they're comfortable with that's what they can hire easily for they can hire professional programmers for i i don't understand where's the difference i i don't get it i, I don't get the point i don't understand what he's trying to say i don't believe that i think that most of our problems are government education so there's just a huge divide there of who and what do you think is the solution to our issues i don't think we have issues in bedrock i think bedrock was going really well and we were just asking for one percent more and instead they dumped the 99 percent we had that was working great and now gave us a hybrid of two systems both of which in my opinion don't work well uh, Okay, that's interesting. But let, let me process this. He's saying that... Okay, so he's saying that the already existing system was great, right? From his view, uh, point of view. I say, I and many others say, no. They want to do stuff. They, they want to do more stuff, right? Again, I uh, talked about it earlier. I had a vision. I looked at what I have to do to get to this vision. Oh, it was scripting. I wanted to get a chat input or something like that. I needed to do scripting, specifically that. And... um. You know, you already know. So right there, my point would be, should a chat scripting applet or whatever be in Bedrock? No. I think the TOS and Bedrock has been very clear that chat programs and chat should be monitored and should only be the in-game chat approved by them. So I think that should be in Java. I think Java would be a great place for that. And what he's going to say is, but Java doesn't have the population that Bedrock has, and I want to access this population. And I don't disagree that that's a problem. Uh, it would be nice if Java had more people and, it, and had a, a bigger population. But I don't think you should ruin and change Bedrock and have now two hybrid systems because you want that little more you want to put stuff in bedrock that uh, and it's it's hard to say oh should that be in bedrock or not and who am i to say if it should be in bedrock i i'm just one of the charms and the beauties about bedrock is that the focus was this gameplay world and what you could do in this world right and the difference in java was you could really over modify and do everything and just add in anything you want from here or there and you really started to lose that charm in a lot of places so i in my opinion i think that the charm of bedrock was that more limited box and even to that point a lot of people don't believe hd and polymesh should be in, in minecraft and even though polymesh is supported natively in bedrock engine a lot of people don't think I belong in Bedrock either, or HD belongs in Bedrock. And I, 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 you know, that's that's another debate to have. And, and Mojang has to have that debate all the time in the background. Are they going to add HD content to the marketplace? Are they going to allow that? I, the difference is, when I put HD content in the game, it doesn't affect anyone else. When you shove JS in the game and you take away custom blocks and you take away custom items and you take away all the things they can do and what you promised that you were going to make them do and now you put it in this other silo, that affects me. That affects all of us. You see everyday people affected with HCF. It's not in a bubble. Me doing HD and me doing poly meshes in my game doesn't affect any of you. But you guys taking and changing the core of what we're doing because you want more and you want to put a chat app in Bedrock, it it does seem, yeah, out of, out of whack there. Know the boundaries of Minecraft. For someone who is very new to, like, also the JSON stuff and stuff, right? I don't know the boundaries of Minecraft. If you would tell me 
the first time I developed micro stuff. Oh, I cannot be, um, I can't be uh, getting the chat. Then, well, then a complete vision that I had is just broken. And to reduce that amount is obviously a good thing. And it's not like they're throwing away 99% of the old systems. Like, they're, they are providing substitutions for them. And even if... I'm not, I'm not saying that they're throwing away 99 I'm saying there's two hybrid systems, and I actually give what it is. I think it's probably more 60-40 now. I think there's 60% component, component group events, and there's about 40% that's going to be, you know, siloed off into JS and custom components. If most of the old systems still work, like, um, and I do think that defining your items in JSON will always remain. It is just that they want to try to separate logic and definition, right? It's separation of concerns or something like that. It's complete bullshit, but uh, I don't see where that is something that they, they don't take away. They just add on. And sure they did. They I mean, they don't take away, they just add on. HCF was just taken away. We don't have custom blocks that function, that do anything. We don't have interactions. We don't have sitting. We don't have, I mean, almost nothing works on blocks. They're almost useless. Custom items barely work. They do almost nothing. We have to do everything in BPACs or JS. What do you mean that it takes stuff away? They've been promising us this stuff for five years that they were going to get this stuff, that this was coming since 1.16. That this is stuff they're working on and that we're going to get to you and that this is coming and this is coming. And then they 1.19100, they release it out as experiment. Okay, we're getting close. We're getting close. Oh, we failed at it. It didn't work. And now it goes away. And what we get is JS. Huh? Huh? How about the whole testing scripting platform? That, I mean, that didn't take anything away it completely converted into a completely different thing now but it can do more you're right and yes destroying a system where you had uh knowledge to kind of sucks but please remember that there are people that are new to this that are coming from from a new background that don't know yet what's possible in microsoft world is not and for mojang allowing to like uh, even just doing component component group events i think i've only figured out 40 percent of what bedrock engine can do in five years and yet people that are doing three percent or five percent say i want more i want more and you're like but you're not even doing what component component group events can do but i want more you're not even doing what the, this can do why are we sacrificing what is going wonderful so that you can have more when because programmers are going to program that's why it, there's money involved in the back of it have something that they are more comfortable working on and that is also accepted more widely by like the public um community what's wrong about that yeah, um, programmers so are going to program. Back to the core, why am I not doing doing JSON? One, oh, I think it's... Oh, wait. He actually, I, I actually think he thinks that this is not JSON. Like, I genuinely believe that he thinks that... Oh, shit. Uh, but this fly is... This fly is so and Once again, if That's I'm doing Wix, I'm not really a is. web like, programmer. Is I'm he not thinking doing that what CSS, he is doing here is I'm not, not JSON? doing JS. Because I'm clicking hell yeah, and dragging this. stuff. This is just JSON to add it to bedrock i think it's the wrong move for the community i think it's the wrong move for the players i think it's the wrong move for indie game developers learning to get into the industry um, if they wanted to make a more advanced better system they should have taken java and they should have done something with it it is already that system that they say they want and most people don't want to play it most people don't again bedrock and java B very different type of people that play it and also what do you mean people uh, don't want to do java Java modding is way more popular than Bedrock modding. No, it's not. Um, 1.5 billion people play Bedrock. China alone has 700 million. There's only 30 million Java players in the whole world, I believe. Um, it's it's a Java elitist myth that they just keep 
portraying that somehow Java is this huge, huge thing, and it's just not even on the board. It's just it's not even on the board to how many people are are playing bedrock and doing modding and the amount of money in marketplace and the amount of mods coming out and how many people are working <clears throat> 200 studios uh, that are just partners plus you know easily another few hundred behind them that are building and and launching stuff and you're talking about marketplace brought in you know hundreds of millions if not a billion plus dollars and you think Java modding is somehow this is bigger? Um, the games I've made is Dragonfire Bedrock Edition. The people that hired me were Java modders. They're running Java mod. Bedrock or Dragonfire is a, a Java mod. It's where it started. They came to me because everybody was begging, begging and begging for bedrock content and bedrock add-ons and it's just dwarfed dwarfed the java side of things just not even on the scale the bedrock side is just insanely bigger um mainly because there's money but even to that you could say well how about this when i started everybody in bedrock all of the mods were doing java dev None of them were doing Bedrock. All of them were not very pro-Bedrock. And they were pretty verbal about it. I mean, it, I was doing a lot of stuff on Bedrock. I was really pushing buttons just because nobody was doing Bedrock stuff. Everybody was typically doing Java stuff. And here I am trying to make a boat float. Nobody could even make a boat float when I started. I'm not kidding. That was a big problem. People couldn't make a boat float. That was the very one of the very first things I did. I made a boat and I made it float. And I had custom animations. And Janice said it couldn't be done. And I did it. And that's what started me on this. So I it's hard to it's hard to say, oh, it's not changed. People want to do Java modding. And guess what? There are also tools in Java which uh, make modding easier. That's modding that's not add-ons, for one. So all of those people now in Blockbench uh, work on Marketplace in Bedrock. So, and you could go ask around. Find a person that does Java um, modding in any of these places, like especially um, Blockbench. I mean, you can go to Blockbench and find people that do it, but the numbers more and more are bedrock. One, because like you said, there's an audience. The community is so much bigger. That's why you're here. Like, uh, how was it? MC Creator or something like that? I don't know. I, I think it was MC Creator. There are also tools for Java that make modding easier. People do want to have modding. People do want to have capabilities. M creators out there, sure. But it, it, you said yourself with your little diagram how difficult it is and all of these issues. So now you're defending that Java is easy and everybody wants to do it. So take JS and go over there and do it. You said at the beginning that you didn't want to do Java. You wanted to be in Bedrock. And if you have... I, I'm, I'm going to take my point from... Uh... Before again, right? If you have a vision and cannot fulfill the vision because of limitations by the game, that sucks. That fucking sucks. So now, why not the... add C++ in? Why not just open it up and give us a full game engine? Why not let us do all of it then? Why only take that little step? If the real goal is to open it up then let's open it up let's put c plus plus in or c sharp in let's open up the DirectX apis let's get all of that stuff open give us access to all the apis and make it a real game engine <clears throat> they're not doing that because the target focus and audience is this entry level person and that's been its sweet spot 
And that's what I'm arguing about changing. If you want to do that, then why are you baby stepping it with JS? Why not full out go and make it a full game engine? Those limitations is a good thing. And how they do it, well, it doesn't really matter because if you're here and trying to learn something, you directly go to what you need to learn. You look at what you need to do to accomplish that task. No, you One said before you people. you have to have those foundational points or you have to copy and paste code to be able to learn this stuff. And you're not just going to be able to get in and watch a guide. You're going to have to go through this process versus they watch my guide or use the entity wizard and they do component, component group events. And then they go look at the vanilla file and they do component, component group events. People don't want to do it because it's too difficult. Almost all of the people doing Bedrock Dev now were doing Java Dev. I started in Java. I find I find it very hard to believe. I, you, I go ask I them. find it very hard to believe. Go to Blockbench Discord and who, ask how many people I don't think used to people be who doing want Java bedrock, uh, and now were like doing trying bedrock. to do Java before and then just realized it was too difficult. Sure. I think people start with Bedrock and stick to Bedrock. That's just it. Because of reasons we... Uh, yeah. Janus, Janus himself used to do Java. Uh, Kamal... 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 Came, oh, I can't ever get his name right. Used to do Java. They do Bedrock now. But full time, they have studios. Huh. Um, yeah. I Sorry, I kind of got less there. Let's just, let's just continue. I don't want to do Java. I don't want to do the difficult bullshit that they have to do just to make simple things function. And yet, all of a sudden now, we got to do more complex, more overhead, more diagging, more learning programming, more bullshit, because they want more without saying what that more is. Right, I'm going to have to pause here. The art of programming is that you make a system that you yourself understand, okay? You're not following some principles, some guides or something like that. No, you make a system that you understand. Um, so how, good how do you know how to make that system? So if this is your first time and you've never learned anything about game development or object-oriented programming, how do you know how to come up with those all those all those names and all of those things and variable names and all that stuff. We have people that come in and they struggle with just being able to put a namespace in. It's documented everywhere. It's told to them. It's in the guides. It's in the videos. And they still struggle with it. They struggle with UUIDs and generating a proper UUID and connecting them together. I had horrible problems with connecting those little bastards together. And yet you're saying, oh, well, you just make the program so you understand it. What? They're just starting out. They don't understand anything. And now you're telling them they have to be the one to understand and make it because programming is what you make and you're going to understand the programming. It It's not just components, component group events. Example here. This looks pretty much similar to uh, the JSON stuff that you're doing. With the only difference being that I have control over what each individual thing Yes, and because you have control over each individual thing, you need to know what that control does and what those limits are. You have to memorize that or go look it up for every one of these things. And so importing, oh, I need to import these things. Well, what, are, am, I, what am I importing? What version is it? Well, oh, item export. Okay, uh, export default. And then you got to go through and then you got to know these things. And then you could say, well, autocomplete is going to help with some of this. Absolutely. You're totally right. Thing thus. And hey, if you don't want to create your own version of uh, the J JSON thing, that's fine. That's also fine. You can just continue writing code normal. But if you want to make the JavaScript the way you want to, you have the ability to do so. No one's saying you have to do it, but you have the ability to do so. And that's what many people like about it. So oh, totally. And more, more freedom and more ability is great in a lot of situations, but it also comes with more overhead, more training and more diag requirement. 
because you have those abilities. Now, when you take those abilities and you make a mistake, someone's going to have to diagnose that, diagnose that, and if they can't do it, they're going to come to the community, and someone in the community is going to need to help them with that. If it's component, component group e <clears throat> events, that's a lot easier to diagnose in the community. The ability of freedom or without actually even like giving a goalpost. So yeah, JAS can do more. Great. Back to the the uh, backhoe. I don't want a backhoe in Bedrock. I, you could put a backhoe in Java just fine. They like backhoes over there. They like complex, difficult things that are hard to maintain and costly. We no 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 um, no no. Very... Hey, stop. We also like having features in Bedrock. Like, just imagine, like you could make the exact same argument for like the JSON stuff. For example, uh, 1.16.100 uh, or something like that. Holiday, uh, holiday creator features, right? Oh, why would you use holiday creator features when you can use command blocks? You are essentially using the, the backhoe, which now turned into a shovel. Like, why aren't you doing everything with commands? Why are you? Uh, why don't you have the same Minecraft chainmail armor, which when you drop, uh, does something, okay? It's obviously. Like, it's... You could still do most of the stuff with command blocks and stuff. Why don't you do stuff with command blocks and renaming an item and dropping it and doing uh, all that stuff? How though? For example, for a custom item, you have an item, you name it something, and then when you drop it, you detect its name and kill it. No one does that anymore. Why? Because we ha now have that backhoe that makes everything so much easier. And that already happened once. I don't know why he's not complaining about this JSON system when command blocks exist, you know? That's one thing I don't understand. Like, it's not it's not like the, this JSON API, this, uh, sorry, yeah, this JSON uh, interface existed always, right? There was a time where this was also new. What did the command blocks creator think of that? I don't know. It, all of this boys just down to a massive skill issue. I'm gonna have to say that. Just this massive skill. Issue. Costly to maintain JS. It costs more. It takes more. So a studio needs higher trained people. They need more programmer level people. That costs a lot more. They compete with other game industries. They compete with other stuff. So instead, because it costs more. Again, JavaScript developers are just something that exists, right? It's it's not very specific, right? If you search for something like a Minecraft Bedrock uh, developer, right, that does like all the JSON stuff. There's not a not, not a big pool of people that you can choose, whereas the JavaScript people, there are a lot of fish in the sea. I used to do command logs back then, but after learning add-ons, I don't need command logs anymore. Exactly. Why doesn't he make this argument here? You could have just continued using uh, command blocks and you would be fine. Yeah, me too. See, everyone started there. Everyone started there and advanced themselves to like better stuff. That is what happened. We all went through that process. He himself probably too. It's the, the the JavaScript thingy. It's only uh, the issue on the cost is if I have a JS. I'm a programmer and I have a degree, and I could work in any game in any game industry. Why would I work in Bedrock? Right? Like, why wouldn't I be working in one of the other? The other places like why would i be here if i have that degree so it, to bring them over here is going to be costly you're competing with all the other js people you're competing with all of the other industries and you're not only competing with uh other game industry you're competing with what mobile and um web so now you're competing with all the web people and you can say, well, but that means you have a bigger pool of people to get from. Yeah, but all those people that were in the Bedrock community that were doing all this stuff are now screwed and all the people that built the add-on in the marketplace and did all this from the ground up, now you're siloing out and isolating instead of embracing those people and continuing that, that great you know industry you have and promoting that and building that now you're converting it into js into a different industry that competes with everybody in the world how is that going to be cheaper that's going to be way more expensive right now you can pay the bedrock people pretty much whatever you want because they have nowhere else to go the next step basically 
instead of getting any game devs that are coming up and this is their first job and they're getting into bedrock and they're getting into the industry, those people aren't going to have that opportunity anymore. Those opportunities are going to be gone. Those are going to be given to programmers that are coming out of educated systems. And in my opinion, Mojang and Microsoft like that because... Obvi no, like, hear me out. You got to keep up with the system. Obviously, people are going to choose the ones that knew the newer tech, right? They're, they're not purposefully going to choose uh, people that are like stuck on version 1.16. Because they prefer it that way. No, they want to have the new features. They want to have the new features and utilize them. And uh, being like, if I would hire someone, right? I wouldn't hire someone who says, hey, I only do JSON stuff. And that is why I cannot implement this and this feature. Obviously, as, as a CEO, as a boss, as whatever, I would hire the guy that can do the job. I would hire the guy that can do the job. It doesn't matter what you, how you do the job and stuff. It, it's just he's that. proving my point. You're going to hire the person that has a, a professional education that can do all of these things. You're not going to hire the first time indie developer that is just starting out and this is his first his first job. So what you've done now is you've taken what was a this is was my first game dev job. <clears throat> I couldn't get a game dev job anywhere else in the industry. Right? I don't I have to make a game to get a game. You have to make a game to get into a game. There's no way else to do it. You have to make a game to get into a game or you have to have a professional background, right? That's how the game industry works. So this was the only place, the only niche in the entire game industry that someone that hasn't made a game could make their first game. And by doing that, then go out and show that to other people. And that's what's going away is now instead those partners are going to hire a professional because there's lots of money, there's lots of costs, there's lots of risk. And those first time indies that this would have been their very first chance to launch that game aren't going to be able to do that. Now, over the last five years, a lot of them could have gotten a partnership and signed up and gotten in there or gotten on a team and had that chance. But now those teams are going to fill up with professionals and there aren't any more partners being allowed. So they aren't going to get those opportunities unless they do something spectacular and show it off to the industry and can prove it. Those jobs are going to go to JS programmers, just like you're saying. If you can do the job, you're hired. That's most yeah, of the case. Because right? they have the certification to show that they can do the job. Whereas people coming up in the industry aren't going to have that certification and they're not going to be able to just pop out showing that they can do an add on. How are they going to do that? The people that hired me for my first job didn't know I could do it. I didn't know I could do it. They said, Hey, we'd like to do this. I said, well, I think we've been able to do like step one and two. And I think there's no reason why we can't do step one through a hundred. And they said, okay, well, let's try it. No one will allow, no one will do that anymore. So I wouldn't be able to get the opportunity to make my first game today that I was previously. And I think that's sad. And if you're going to tell me here, oh no, I cannot make chat commands because I use the system, then I'm not hiring you. It's simple. You could argue that it's like Mojang's fault for implementing your system, but no, you are the ones that are responsible for moving uh on with like or keeping yourself up to date with all the so did you did you see how mechanics? at the beginning they disagreed that okay. the bar had that been raised the... and that there wasn't a higher bar and oh it's just hey if you have the skill then great but now it's if you can't do the job you don't get the job so now the bar has been raised all the way up to you got to be able to prove you can get the job before you before we'll even hire you. Well, how do you do that? You gotta have made a job. You gotta have made a game. You gotta make a game to get in to help other people make a game. That's how the game industry's worked for almost ever. The people that I, I modded with on Half-Life all went and were modding on Half-Life are running huge game studios. They made mods for a game and they got jobs doing game it's just how it works so unless you can 
figure out how to do that and now you're gonna have to have some either put two three four months in prove you can do it and then get a job that's pretty hard to do for most people you you pretty much have to do that full time so now that's only students and people that live at home can do that once again they raised the bar up and you're saying well that's not mojang's fault for raising the bar up and adding js and that's the fault of the consumer and the customer for not learning more and keeping up with with what's going on so you're blaming the creator remember once again i have proven that most people aren't even doing four percent of what bedrock can do with component component group events and yet, all of a sudden, now you're saying, oh, well, we have to be able to do this level and this bar. And if you can't do that, then you're just falling behind the industry. How about you guys? Do you guys know everything I know? Have you guys gone through and learned everything in J JSON, JSON and gone through and learned everything component, component group events can do? You know all of the stuff those 300 plus guides contain? So should I not hire you because you don't know that stuff? See how it works? It's so easy. You guys can say, I learned this niche in JS and now I know all this stuff and you should hire me. Well, you should hire me because I know all this stuff that the JS people don't know. And I don't even have to do all the JS crap. So you see how quick that's a problem. My point was we're struggling to teach and support the community we have now with component component group events they're not talking about giving us any more support or any more help so how is the community supposed to help and teach and support all of this other stuff when we're already struggling to meet the needs we have and we were only barely using what we had in component component group events once again i think i've only gotten to like 40 percent of what i think i can do and i have a ton of stuff i've never even shown you guys so it's like but you're telling me that oh you're behind and not keeping up with the times so if js wasn't here i could be telling you guys that if you didn't know everything i know if you hadn't done all of those things that I've done, I could say, well, you aren't keeping up with the times and keeping up with the tech. No, that's ridiculous. My responsibility as someone who's hiring. Command blocks do the same thing uh, as add-ons, but less cool and way more uh, limiting. Yeah, I mean, there's stuff that command blocks simply cannot do, like adding a custom item. You can get close to it by like having an existing uh, existing item renamed to it, but you cannot change its text or, uh, texture or something like that. That's the thing about command blocks. So having the new attack, having to learn the new attack, is something that you just have to accept. I'm sorry. Those are the so, they went to school with. Those so days. you guys are going to go through and learn all of the tech I've learned because you just have to do it. No, you're not people they're used to those are the people that are going to do the things they like and in the programming procedures they like so it's better for mojang but it's worse for the community in my opinion now you can say well it's better for the community because more options are better no more options are not better um more options cause more overhead more cost more maintenance more diag more education needed a higher bar of entry and a whole bunch more support and documentation so not necessarily not necessarily like, trust, believe me or not, but there are also shitty JavaScript people, okay? There, there are shitty developers that write shitty code, okay? That does exist. And the bar of entry is not simply going to rise because a, a, a different technique is used to accomplish the same task, okay? That's just not what's happening here. It's still cool to watch command blocks, uh, creators do stuff with command blocks that uh, makers can do. I, I agree. I think seeing something uh, uh, that, uh, like, I love seeing, like, command creations and stuff. It has, like, its own vibe. But... Obviously, this stuff is not, I'm going to say, production ready, okay? You wouldn't be able to, like, uh, use those funny little silly command creations in, like, a real environment. I do still think they're funny and good and stuff, but... Yeah. People people have lots of command block add-ons that are out there on the marketplace that run just fine. And they've made good money at them. There are just limits that you gotta accept. And, hey, you gotta move on. 
gotta move on. Anyways. So while I agree, there are times when more is better. When you have an entry level product like Bedrock, where people are coming in for the first time, more is not better. More complexity is also, not better. Also, JavaScript is quite an entry level language. Okay, it's not C plus plus or anything. JavaScript is quite entry friendly. And also, again, if you have a task and you want to complete a task, you don't care how it's completed. You search up what you need to do and you do that based off that. That's not true. First time people get in and they'll quit. If you say you got to learn JS to do this task and they don't have time to do it and it, you can look at the list of tasks and how long it takes. You can say, look, it's going to take three weeks to do this. Do you have three weeks to do it? No. We talked about it somebody today. They wanted to do JSON UI modifications and they had to uh, have it done by Saturday, three days from now. That's not realistic. The chart is very clear that it's not the same to just get in and do JS and versus doing the basic stuff. Like, I, I don't know why people keep saying that they're equal or the same. And, it, oh, if you just want to try, you know, you just want something, you're just going to get in and do it. That's... <laughs> That's ignoring this generation completely. Like, that's ignoring facts. I mean, so many people come into Bedrock and try with any wizard and have problems and never come back again. Like, it's insane. That's why there's 16,000 people in Bedrock add-ins and, like, 56,000 in Blockbench. And, yeah, Blockbench covers Java and other stuff. But wouldn't you think that a good majority of them would be coming over here after they get started and they try stuff out? No, they're quitting. They're not coming over here because they're getting frustrated because there's not good tools. That's why they created Entity Wizard and Block Wizard and Item Wizard because they saw that happening and how many people were getting frustrated with the process. But at the same time, they're saying, hey, let's make this really nice entry bar, which is great. It's like candy. They're giving them this Entity Wizard. It's really great to get them started. And then they're like, okay, I want to do more. I want to add my second entity. And they come into the chat and they join the Discord and people are like, oh, you got to learn JS. And they're like, oh, and that's the last we ever see of them. Now, if people had restraint and said, oh, yeah, you could just you learn this and, and then you do this step and then you do that step and, and then you do this step. Oh, yeah. And then if you want to do all these other things, you could learn JS. Fine. Great. But that's not what happens every day. I watch it every day. People come in and, oh, you got to learn JS. What's the solution? Oh, JS. JS solves everything. I've been told that hundreds of times, and yet I've solved every one of my issues without it. It doesn't matter if you do it with System 1 or System 2. I cannot emphasize this enough. Like, the bar is not higher, the entry bar. It is just your capabilities of being able to look up stuff and applying it to your code base. Um, it's worse. It's much worse. And you see it by every person that comes in for the first time and people tell them you got to learn JS to be able to do anything. And you just see it, how depressing it is. How? Let me just, because he keeps saying it over and over. This is the chart the community came up with. I did not come up with this. I asked the community what they thought. Now, if we add a J, J, uh, JSON UI to this chart, it'd make all of these just cry. But it is more difficult to pick up and do these things, especially when a lot of times you have to learn these things first. So if I have to learn these, before these make sense, and people tell me I have to learn this first, or I have to learn this, you this is stacking. You're not doing this at the same time. You're this is you do this and then you do this. 
You can't just do this or this doesn't make sense. So you're saying the bar wasn't raised. There's an entirely new layer to it. And we're not even talking about JSON UI yet. We're still just talking about JS. We haven't even conquered what it can do. Everybody's just ignoring it. But this can do more. Well, that can do tons and we're not doing it. You guys hate it. Everybody hates it. Well, but it can do more. Why don't you learn JSON UI? If you just need to learn and you just need to put the time in, then learn JSON UI. I dare you. It, it's the same problem. Some people learn JSON UI really well, and most of us don't. how high that hill is versus previously two years ago or three years ago people would come in and say hey just follow this guide and in a few hours you'll be up and going why isn't that a thing with javascript like what makes you think that this is not the same thing for javascript there are because plenty of guides it, for like javascript minecraft tutorials it takes in fact, i can go crazy ahead and it take, look at just the time it takes to do the setup and the time you just set up the beginning of the very first of it, we could have the entire guide done for how to use any wizard and get your first content in the game. With animations, with behaviors, with custom textures and geos. It's not even comparable and you're still assuming that they know what object oriented programming is and have any concept of what programming is in the first place and what brackets do and what commas do and what semicolon they they don't have any concept of any of this they struggle to put in a namespace and you're saying that it's just as easy for them to learn JS only Someone that has done and enjoys development and their brain works that way would say that. You, you think about how many people just struggle with math, just basic math. And, and those people you think are just going to jump into this versus component, component group, events. Search up Minecraft Bedrock. Scripting tutorial. Oh my god, what's that? It's almost like there is actually content. There are actually I, know, I know, and I I was the one that helped review it. The very first one on the list. I helped review it. I helped give feedback. I I know, yeah, there's guides, but you yourself said people don't learn from guides, people learn from doing it. People learn from failing in JSON or JS, sorry, JS. You can't really watch a guide. You said this. You have to copy and paste code. That's what they're really going to do. They're not going to be doing it themselves when they start. And then you said, oh, programming is you creating it and understanding it yourself. They don't understand it themselves. So they're going to copy and paste it. Well, they're going to copy and paste it from, well, you can't learn from guides. It, every time we move up to a new point, you've just gone back to the previous point and circled around. So which is it? You can learn from guides or you can't learn from guides. You're going to have to copy and paste the code or you're not going to have to copy and paste the code. You're just going to be able to pick it up and just do it in the same, you know, 30 minutes to an hour that you do in Bedrock. You're just going to be able to do that. And if you have problems, you just use ChatGPT or go to Google it or or, or watch a, another guide. Like, I've watched the guide. The the, the guide is, it, 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 the, in the time it takes to just set up stuff, this is my thought and my comment to them. It should be two guides. Because I thought we were almost done with the whole process and we were just in step one. That's a big difference between, hey, here's Entity Wizard and you're ready to go. Or here's component component group events and blocks and items and entity. Imagine how easy that would be if it was the same in blocks and items and entities and attachment, 
attachables so that they're all the same and they all have components and they all have events and they all have ACs and they all just function the same and the only difference is the performance between the blocks and the items and the entities. Imagine how easy that would be. Simple, smooth, does everything we wanted, but you can't put a chat system in there. You're right. In a few hours, you'll be up and going. Why isn't that a thing with JavaScript? Like, what makes you think that this is not the same thing for JavaScript? There are plenty of guides for like JavaScript Minecraft tutorials. In fact, I can go ahead and search up oh, Minecraft. No, did I... back... The fact Take is, back somehow or no. Take... no. When I did Minecraft Bedrock stuff right with JavaScript, I had no background. Zero. Nana. Nano. So yes, it's just my experience. But I do wonder, guys, did you guys had experience prior? To, uh, with, with JavaScript while making um, add-ons, right? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a poll, right? And then at, at, the, end, but it's not, at the end of it's the stream, not just I'm gonna ask, Java, okay? But it's not just JavaScript. You're talking about people that have no programming understanding in most cases. You're, you're talking about people that don't have this concept. This is where they're gonna learn the concept. I mean, there's a few things, especially animation controllers, and the state machines that I've been trying to do for decades. And I was doing an Unreal Engine, but I didn't understand them very well. It, it was Unreal Engine, how it's presented is the same problem. You can do anything and everything and so much more that it's too much in some cases when you're starting out. And getting the concept down of the animation control and the state machine was very confusing to me and I struggled with it. But when I came to Bedrock, because of how it's laid out in this format, it's serialized, it's very easy for me to understand it. And it it made me a better Unreal Engine 5 developer. It made me better at doing it because when I went back to Unreal Engine 5 after doing Bedrock, that was one of these concepts that was just so much clearer because Bedrock does such a good job at being this spear. We want a, a, a spear that's really focused and it's really kind of limited and it's a really nice sandbox with some really hard walls on the sides. And, and that gives you this really beautiful, sweet spot that's why it's the, the number one game of all time. Um, I think the more that you make it into a hammer and you bloat it and you add more of this stuff in, the harder it is for people to have that experience and connection. And yeah, some of them will have that connection in JS, but they could have that connection in JS and so many other places that I worry we're sacrificing that for those people that would have had the connection that don't connect with JS. And those people are going to be lost in this. And, and I think I'm one of those people, and I think that that was the beauty of Bedrock. There, that doesn't exist anywhere else. Even in road, road, Roblox or whatever, uh, the bar of entry is a, a step above. Even in VR chat, the bar of entry is a step above. Um, did you had a previ previous experiences with JS when starting script, starting to write Minecraft Bedrock? Script. experiences yes no at the end of the stream i'm just gonna see me me visual studio yes visual studio code you mean i was bridge too but not the tree editor yeah that's fine making classes or have already been doing indie game dev go back to the very first day you started this and now think about someone telling you you gotta learn js just to get that's started. not what's happening again you see, you, you want to do a feature, you look up how to do the feature, you see, oh, you need JavaScript for that, you do it. No, Not that it, it, understand. Every, every day when people come in, that's almost the first thing that they hear is you got to do, you got to learn JS, you got to learn JS. I, it, it's, I've said this before, it's the reason why I made the guide. It literally is, I saw it happen, and I, that's why I stopped and took how long? Three, two hours out of my day? Um, an hour out of my day 
to talk about this because I keep seeing it. It, it bugs me. Sand drive. Sand drive. How many people are going to be pushed away? How many people aren't going to do Bedrock Game Dev or get in and do add-ons or get in and do mods because the bar of entry has been raised so high? Man, if you're not willing to do something, obviously you're not going to achieve. You got to go in with the will that you want to do something. You need to learn something to achieve this. Obviously, you're not going to just uh, have the skills. But that's how much time do you have? How much effort and how much energy can you put in? And Bedrock, especially with Entity Wizard, gave them the ability to see results very quickly without a lot of effort. JS does not. In my opinion and experience, we see it all the time that people struggle and struggle to get it going. And that creates this loop where it's a higher bar. It's harder to get success in it, especially those first few times. It's out of nowhere to do it. You gotta get in there with passion, with the goal of actually achieving what you wanna do. I, I, I think it's. An I hate the pre-editor. Uh huh. Well, I I could say the same thing about all the things I've learned, and you guys need to step up and learn all the things I've learned. You know, you think that JS is a lot to learn. You keep saying, "Oh, it's no big deal. It's no big deal." Well. Then learn the 300 video stuff I've learned and then tell me that I need to step up to where you guys are. How about you guys step up to where I am? You keep saying that, oh, you just need to have passion. I've proven my passion. I'm here like 16 hours a day proving the passion every day, being in the community, helping people. Right? How much more passion you want? Well, you just got to learn JS and just have more passion. Once again, I feel like that's setting me up for failure for who I am and the experiences that I've had and the strengths I know I have. It, it's not to my benefit to not understand who I am and what my strengths and weaknesses are. So for someone else to then continuously tell me, you just don't know what your weaknesses and your strengths are because you just haven't tried enough. I don't know what your strengths or your weaknesses are, and I'm not telling you what I think they are or aren't. The whole video is about me telling you my weaknesses and my strengths, and then the people that I'm seeing coming through the door that are struggling and how I think we should be meeting them where they're at. Um, if you do really well with JS and all of those things, that's wonderful. Why not then go to java and make java what you want it to be the reason why it doesn't have that outreach is because not enough people are over there making great content to force people to go over there lots of people have computers around the world that's not the holdup. it's not mobile devices the content that people want to play is in bedrock marketplace and in bedrock so if you want Java to be a better environment and have more users and more people, you need to go over there and show passion and use that passion to create that community and create that customer base and create the content so people want to go over there and use it. But instead you say, no, 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 I'm going to be over here in Bedrock where we've been creating this community without JS and without all of these things for quite a while and we were really happy with it the only people i heard complaining were the people at the top that are programmers and money people well i mean i used to do the tree i, I thought it was pretty cool but i would inter I, I would be interested if i would still enjoy the tree editor i don't really know i didn't use the tree editor in a while I used the normal JSON stuff. But yeah. I... Do you see the same thing? So a whole bunch of people said when they started out, they used the tree editor because it was easier. And then once they used the tree editor, they graduated on to doing code because they preferred it because it spoke to them. Because their brain and how they work works better with it. The rest of us stayed on the tree editor, and it works for us and speaks to us. So that was a beautiful spot. We had people that could do VS Code and were happy doing JSON. 
right? And we had people doing bridge and a GUI editor, and they were happy. And then Mojang said, let's add JS and force all of them to do this. Huh. I wonder which side of that coin would be happy about it and okay with it, and which side of that coin would be frustrated that, about it. Do agree, like a... hmm. Yeah, the tree editor. I, I guess I wouldn't. I, I guess I would hate it. I think I would hate doing the tree editor. We'll see. It's insulting that the people doing and making these decisions don't seem to care about that part of the community. And I understand there's a lot of money. Right, hold up. Uh, so I don't know why it's a big issue for him. You can learn by looking uh, at others' code and eventually uh, learning uh, how they do uh, how they do them. To be honest, even uh, if he uh, doesn't have enough time to learn it, if you are seriously, to, uh, you should learn. Yeah, if you're seriously about a project, you will you will naturally just learn. Do you see how it's back to because I was able to learn it, you should be able to learn it. And if you don't or you can't, then you're lazy or you're not putting enough effort in. So once again, do you think I'm lazy? I have 20,000 plus hours into this. I'm like a double master at it. Think I don't have enough passion? This is what I'm trying to call out the community on. This is exactly my point. There's this elitism of people that are able to learn to code. And they think everybody can learn to code and should learn to code. Can everybody learn math very well? Let me ask you that. You all know people in your life that can't do math. Do you think those people could learn to code? They struggle with just doing basic algebra. You think if they just put enough effort, it's just enough effort, they had 16, 12 years, whatever in school, plus college, and they still can't do math. How many more years do you think it will take before they'll figure out and learn how to do math? Or is that how their brain works and that they're just never going to learn it because that's not how they function? If you think everybody can learn stuff because you do or because you see people doing it so everybody must be able to do it then you're just ignoring the fact that we're all different and our brains are all different and you don't actually understand how people function because that's not true if that was true then everybody could get good grades and everybody would do great in education systems but that's not how it functions and you could say well it's because of a bad school or a bad teacher or a bad whatever even in the best situations, people don't learn the same way. We have so many tests and so many brain studies on this. You can literally just go out and Google that and go learn about how brains are different and how different personalities and how a right brain and left brains and how different parts of the brain. And then you have brain damage. Then you have medicines people are on then you have environmental effects and then you have education systems then you have diet there's so many of these things not even talking about genetics i mean all of these things affect how you learn and what you learn and and what's going to stress levels if you think everybody is the same then you're going to constantly always think that people are lazy around you and they're just not trying hard enough and you're going to treat them differently because of that and that's why I did this video because that's not okay that's not okay a lot of people are not lazy a lot of people are trying as hard as they can a lot of people are different from you and regardless of how long they've tried I've tried for 38 years and you're telling me when I have tens of thousands of hours into this, that I'm not trying hard enough. And I'm telling you, I've proven this. I've proven my effort. 
I've pleaded, please understand we are not all the same. And when you call us lazy or you say that we aren't trying hard enough because we aren't able to learn these things because you are makes us feel stupid. And that's not okay. We're not all the same. And we shouldn't all be shoved into a box and treated like we are. That is true behind it and there's a lot of well this is just one small niche but in my opinion bedrock is only what it is because of the add-on developers and the content we've made for marketplace and mods and add-ons without the add-ons bedrock would be nothing nothing right uh when i tried for the first time it was so hard with the tree editor uh, obviously there is obviously still uh, a if a a, a a bar that you have to learn okay you're not going to be the best one from day one obviously right i i i, I but he just that. said he is hard. he it's just not... argued with me that no no it's just as easy as what's been going on it's not any harder and oh you can do it in 15 minutes or 30 minutes why is it any different but yet his own community in the live chat is disagreeing with him and saying no i had to use this i had to use tree editor how are you going to take people that are telling you in your own chat that they had to use Tree Editor to understand what's going on, that no, Tree Editor doesn't exist anymore, you got to do JS day one, and expect them to not have some percentage of them turn off the device and go away, especially if they come in and get treated like this and told they're stupid because they don't want to learn JS, or oh, you're just lazy. They're showing up in a Discord channel. They join because they want to do something because they have passion, and you're telling them they're lazy because they don't want to learn a programming language to put something in Minecraft? That is offensive. And this elitism from the programmers that we keep hearing from over and over and all the time and all of the JSers we used to get from the Java people, now we're getting from the JSers. Oh, well, we're better than you because we learned it. It's easy. You should all learn it. And if you don't, you're lazy. Once again, Tell me to my face that I'm lazy. Tell me that I'm not trying. Tell me that I don't get up every day and put 12 to 16 to 18 hours into helping you guys, into creating this content, into learning stuff the hard way with almost no documentation. Tell me that that's what I'm doing, that I'm lazy and I'm not trying hard enough. I'm telling you that my brain doesn't work. I have testing, and I have 36 years of experience proving it in probably 40 different programming languages, most of which you've never heard of. And yet you're telling me I'm just not trying hard enough because you did it easily. What? What kind of entitlement is that? Not easy, definitely. Never said that. Um, to his point though, Minecraft Bedrock wouldn't be uh, anything without add-ons. Yeah. Minecraft Bedrock lives from its community, just like Minecraft Java. In fact, the Minecraft game, the Minecraft game itself lives from uh, its community. The YouTube And YouTubers, yeah. YouTubers are also the community. And to So, to my point, now those jobs, as he said before and agreed, are going to go to the qualified people, the best qualified people. And the best qualified people, in my opinion, are going to come from a 50K thousand a year education school or 20,000 a year education school. They're going to hire someone from a nice college that has a good education and has a certificate and they're going to bring them in and they're going to teach in bedrock. They're not going to hire us scrubs down here anymore. I think that's really sad and I think that needs to be talked about and pointed out. Uh, yeah, like the whole uh, add-ons, uh, add-ons, YouTubers, um, and whatever itself is just us as a community. And you will also see that in other games that have modding support. Right? Almost every game... Uh
and and let's bring that up with YouTube as well. Most of the YouTubers that are out there today say, I wouldn't be able to start a YouTube channel today with how things are because of how much money is involved and, and how much, you know, how much it takes. So once again, I've told you, we have this example over and over in all these industries. The money comes in, the people that built it from the ground up, the NDs get screwed, the big dollars are, they hire people from the top, and now those people that created it get pushed out because the bar has to move up so the quality moves up. So now they have professional production people from Hollywood producing all this content, and you have Mr. Beast out there spending 100 to $200 million a video, and, you know, or five to whatever one to five million dollars a video or whatever he spends um and, and the indies are gone and can't make it well that's what i'm trying to say that i wouldn't be able to get the same job today as when this started and it's not because there's less opportunity it's because the opportunity is going to go to the professionals instead game every successful game has that um concept of hey the, the community is the one keeping this game alive I feel like. And yes, may that be through YouTubers, may that be through add-ons. Eh? Who knows? Marketplace is what's made Bedrock Bedrock. If it was just normal Java or normal to be Minecraft honest, without any of the mods or any of the add-ons, none of this would have happened. To be honest, I don't think everyone gives... Uh, I don't think no one gives a crap about Marketplace. <laughs> I don't I do not do Bedrock for Marketplace. Get me out of this Marketplace stuff. Me too, it was hell. It's easy to use the JSON code from it. Over and Wait, he just he just said nobody cares about marketplace. What? Like, it, isn't it like a billion plus dollar revenue? It it's what's running and funding all of this. Nothing would be funded. The, M Minecraft wouldn't be here. Bedrock wouldn't be here without marketplace. It's funding everything. It's paying everybody's jobs at Mojang. What are you talking about? Nobody cares about marketplace. It's what most of the people in the community that do this every day are doing. Yes, but the endless, uh, um, uh, the endless things you can do with those, uh, with push me to start learning adults. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to, uh, oh well. I mean, yeah. Okay, None just, of this would have taken see. place. And the very people that fought through and made those add-ons and made that content and made that stuff without JS are the ones that are now being pushed out of the industry <laughs> and told they have to learn JS bro. or they're not welcome here anymore. But, but, but Bro's talking like, like a like a war veteran, dude. I fought for this country. Blah, 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 blah. No, I, I don't really have to say anything uh, to you. It's, it's just kind of funny here. More, or they aren't going to be able to use blocks or they aren't going to be able to use items or they aren't going to be able to use all of these things that were promised to us and we've been told we're coming for years and years and years and now they say well we failed to be able to do it how we said we were so instead now we're going to do js and i want all we're saying is if you want to do this you have to do that like if you want to accomplish a goal you will have to fucking fly you will have to learn the specific thing i know what's wrong about that yeah, what I'm talking about is what that specific thing has changed. The target moved, and I think where the target moved is a problem. That's what we're talking about. Nobody's denying that it didn't move. We're saying, hey, they moved the target, and I disagree with where the target moved to. I think the target should be a lot closer. Like, I'm, I'm going to bring up the command block example again. Um, if I want to create a custom item, right? How am I going to do that with command blocks? Are you guys sit there and tell me, oh, uh, oh you, you're going to, my Microsoft could just add a command for like adding custom? No. I, I would put forth learning command blocks is way harder than learning, you know, component, component group events. There's obviously need for new tech. People desire new tech, people desire more options. And again, the scripting. I, I disagree. You guys haven't done the stuff that I've already made guides for. You guys haven't even learned the stuff that we can do now, and yet you're saying, oh, we need more and more tech. You haven't even done the basics. API is quite community-centered. It's the community that decided to make the scripting API great. I, mm, I disagree. Uh, yeah, I could. you could say custom components. Sure, the community did custom components. But everything else was just 
shoved on us. I've been here. I've watched it. I've seen every update. I've seen the comments. What are you talking about? Every, they, they drip out a few things every so often. You guys eat it up. You give some replies of bugs, and that's it. What are you talking about? I, I, I don't know what community like you're, you're speaking of. The partners are the ones getting surveys. The partners are the ones getting and giving feedback that's dealing and changing with this stuff. They're the ones bringing in all the money. They're the ones that are pushing for this stuff because they're paying professional programmers to make stuff and their professional programmers don't like working in component, component group events. It's not a programming environment. This isn't what they want. This isn't what they're educated to do. Watched a video of someone at Mojang saying that the only reason why we got JS is because they saw someone in China doing it in the China version, and they thought, "Oh, that's so amazing! We gotta bring that here." Look, no the community of what that does. Now, keep in mind that was a programmer that saw someone doing JS in a game Minecraft in China and said, "Oh, we need to add that programming ability into Bedrock." No thought of guys. Minecraft China is very different from our thing, and I don't know where he has that sauce from, but um. I mean, okay, let, let's just let's just go with it that it's real, right? Um, they saw someone in China doing uh, that and, well, wanted to bring it to Bedrock. Just for that context, Minecraft China has way more features than Minecraft Bedrock, right? They have, um, <laughs> they have so much more. They, have, uh, they can make custom UIs, custom buttons on the screen, whatever. They have access to a lot. And... God damn it, the fly is on my microphone. I wonder, do you guys hear the fly on the microphone? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, and it's obviously that there is that there just gotta exist some parity between Minecraft China and Minecraft Bedrock. And it's not it's not just one guy that is like there, oh yeah, it's so great. That is a valid point. I did not think about that at all. He brings up a, a the parody statement. Oh. So that I mean that would that that is a great point. I mean, seven hundred million users. China's saying, "Hey, we have this JS thing in here." I mean, mm, yeah, that that does lean more towards this guy sees it, says, "Hey, it's a good idea." He starts the idea, but then China's like, "Hey, parody, hey, parody." I mean, that's a lot of. A lot of weight there. Great, let's uh, add it to uh, the US version of Minecraft. No, it's a community that made it great. No? Okay, that's good at least. Of barrier of entry, no thought of what this does to the game in the industry. He didn't say, oh, we should add this to Java. Yet Java is already there, ready for this. It already has that community. That community already loves this type of complexity and this yeah, type it of issue. Exists. It's Obviously. what they thrive on. The bedrock community. I mean, yes, Microsoft is obviously, it's, it's, it should be obvious by now that Microsoft, uh, or like Minecraft Bedrock is Microsoft's baby, dude. Like, obviously they're going to spend more time. But you see, he's not disagreeing that Java was the place to put this, that it was just, it was ready for it. If they would have taken and added add-ins into with js and then a kind of merged them in with the mod system without pissing off the mod people it would give them a beautiful opening to bring in that marketplace into java and then we have a java bedrock marketplace all works together uh like with bedrock and java they, they're not gonna sp <laughs> they're not gonna spend any time uh, making uh, a version which they um find it very hard to develop for and you gotta remember those are two so he just said that they find Java hard to develop for. So you don't think that they find Bedrock hard to develop for since it's in C++ and it's component, component group events and doesn't have all that fancy scripting stuff in the background? Two different teams working on that, right? The Minecraft Java team is not the same as the Minecraft Bedrock team. Please remember that. Um, yeah, what is there else to say? Right, I mean, it's two different teams. Java already has the features. Again, they're not provided by Mojang. They're provided by the community, those features in Java. And they're mod, not add-on. The TOS between mod and add-on is very critical. 
there's a huge difference. Everybody I know from Java comes over and they use mods and add-ons interchangeably. But in the legal system, there is a massive difference between what a mod is and what an add-in is. You go to jail for making mods in the wrong places. Just ask Nintendo. Add-ins are under the TOS and covered and protected. And, and so there's a huge difference there. So I think adding add-ins that are in this nice protected place for Java would have been a really sweet thing. And then adding in a marketplace for Java would have just quadrupled and brought the entire population of Java way up. And you would have that industry where you want to have all those people in Java and you could be over there. Instead, you didn't have the passion to support Java and you didn't have the desire to learn the Java system because it's too hard over there. And so you're in bedrock because this is where everybody is because it's easier. Well, it was until the people from Java came over and made it more difficult. See the problem? The programmers came to where everything was working well. The original people that made Bedrock and C++ made everything in this component, component group events, very simple because their charter was to make this easy for us and to make this very simplistic for add-on creators. And they did a great job at it. And they made something phenomenal that's now the number one game of all time. And then programmers were hired after that and have been changing it since to make it into something different. And programmers made it in the first place, but different set of people have now come in with a different focus that's not the creator and making it easy for them, but the programmer and making it easy for them because they're the cost point now. Java, like you have to decompile the game. There's no official thing in Java. Have you watched Fundy's video? Uh, about what exactly? Community doesn't, and yet we're having this shoved down our throats, uh, kicking and screaming. And the only people typically in the community that jump in and say, oh, that's great, are the ones that already are doing programming and have that interest or doing nope. it in college or doing it in school or already had gotten into it because that's their interest. The rest of us, which is like 95% of us, have no care. Bank of China? No, I didn't watch a uh, Bank of China video. Of JS or interest in it or wanted to do it. Uh, it doesn't matter if you have the interest or not. If you have the interest to accomplish something, go and learn it regardless. Um, so what about Java? If you had the interest to go put stuff in Java, you would have learned it. You would have learned it regardless. What about all the stuff that I've created? You, 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 would you, why haven't you learned that? You just don't have the interest? You're just lazy? There's only so much time in the day. There's almost so much energy. There's almost so much you can do, right? And so you have a ton of fanboys that love programming and coding and say, oh, it's easy to just get in and do it um, because they're already doing it and getting in and doing it. I'm, I'm not going on to this point. I explained it uh, more, more than enough. Um, right now, the... Oh, sorry. Right now, the vote is... Uh, right, three people know. Me included, there would be... Uh, for people that uh, didn't have any prior knowledge, uh, prior knowledge to JavaScript when they started scripting. So, I don't know. I wonder I wonder how he's but taking that But remember, form. my point wasn't to JavaScript. It's to development and programming and even the concepts. A lot of these people have had exposure to what these concepts are. Is someone that's played Minecraft and wants to add someone to Minecraft, this is probably the first game they played. Maybe they played other games, but this is like the big thing that they're playing and they want to add stuff in for their friends. Is that person? And that's the that's what I was doing. That was the use case for most people that we see. Is they're coming in, they wanna they've been playing with their friends and they want to add something into the game. And that's where they start. Is that person going to have that background? I had a lot of background coming in, and I still struggled a lot. I mean, I struggled a lot. I, it took me a long time to learn ACs. Jan, Jana's really had to yell at me about learning ACs because I just, it really was a struggle. It really struggled to get in and, and figure out the state machines and, and get, you know, and it's, it's a struggle for a lot of people. 
we get those questions a lot. People deal with, you know, um, how the state machines work. That's why Blockbench built a state machine animation controller editor, a GUI editor, because people were struggling so much. Mojang paid Blockbench to build these tools to make the bar of entry lower, to make it easier to get in. But then as soon as they get in and talk to you guys, oh, you got to learn JS. Well, so different. I was shocked. Yeah, Mike of China is a different thing. It's like a combination of, uh, it's based on Bedrock, but like has uh, the capabilities of Java. Be interesting what uh, we could do with like Mike of China on here in, um, yeah, not China land. Anyways. So isn't that interesting that he just said it has this part of Bedrock and this part of Java what I'm literally saying is they could have done that with Java and you're arguing that no, it would be, it's better how it is, but that you're just saying, wouldn't it be amazing if we could have that? That's what I'm arguing for. You could have had that, but instead they're putting it in bedrock where it doesn't belong. Yeah. They've already passed that bar. They've already nope. got past it. They already have that brain type. Nope. They already enjoy doing it. Nope. But everybody else that doesn't enjoy doing it or doesn't want to spend their life being a coder and just wants to make some add-ons or just wants to change some stuff in the game for their friends is sitting back saying, what the hell? What? Why would the entire community move? No, man. He's just holding a specific thing against coding, okay? And you, 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 I probably think you cannot even make uh, shit right for that, right? You, you won't be able to make stuff right for that, like... If you have a stuff against coding specifically, then what, what am I supposed to do? What, what am I? I, I can tell you how much uh, wrong you are, but if you still have that one thing, if you do not want to do it, then you're not going to do it. It's what I'm trying to tell the whole time. Like another word. Exactly. Move. Everybody just for JS, it, it doesn't make any sense. Uh, I know I have seen almost nothing. I hold up. Um, now, this is an app from Microsoft China that makes creating custom UIs easy. Yep, they have uh, tools for modifying JSON UI. That's true. From JS so far, that tells me that this is the salvation of Bedrock and this is the thing that's going to fix everything. In fact, it's, I've it's, seen it. It's not going to happen in a second. Um, it's only now that marketplace uh, developers are even allowed to use JavaScript, right? Um, one thing that you guys uh, need so once again back to my point he keeps saying oh man if you just tried and you just learned it and oh it's not even been usable up until now so all of that would have been wasted especially if you learn the xp stuff like do you see what you're saying they've been dripping this i've been doing this for five years i have projects that are five years old that i'm still working on and adding content to and now i gotta go back and constantly change stuff because they keep moving the targets we've been waiting for custom blocks that we could sit on that we could interact with that we could rotate and do basic things with and we still don't have them Show me where I can sit on a block right now with JS. Show me where I can interact with blocks and doors and, and rotate blocks where it's not a nightmare. It took the community weeks to figure out how to do that stuff in JS. It would have taken us seconds to do it with component, component group, events. And we know because it was in XP and we were doing it in seconds. Stuff that took the community weeks to figure out. How do we do all the rotations? How do we connect the blocks? How do we do stairs? How do we connect all of this stuff? They still can't figure it out. We still don't have some of those things fixed. How about fences? We still can't do a whole bunch of those things, and yet you're saying, oh, man, if we just tried hard enough and just had enough effort, we could solve all of these things. We haven't been able to in all this time with all of our efforts, yet we could in XP mode and very easily anybody could do it, and we know because they keep coming in every day saying we did it, it was working, it was stable, and you broke it. Every day, we had two today come in and say that. Yet you're telling me, hey, if you just learn this, it solves your issues. It's not even been stable to use. 
five years we've been getting promised that we're going to get custom blocks and this stuff's going to work. We haven't been able to put the effort in to learn it because it's not been working. And unless you go off and do experimental, which is kind of a waste of time when you're trying to make money or you're trying to launch stuff in marketplace because you can't use the experimental stuff. And it could take one to five years for some of that to go to stable, if ever. So you're learning stuff that doesn't do you any good. So while you're saying just go out and learn, and if you just put enough effort in, you can't because it's a move moving target. If I, I put the time into RTX, it's all useless. I learned it. I made the PBRs. It's all useless now. We'll use it for deferred. Deferred's not stable, not going to be stable in what, another year or two? If that, it's still not even fully proven. We were promised RTX how long ago? We had shaders. They were working fine, and now they're gone. It's the same thing. But you're saying, well, if you just learn and try hard enough, that is, it, it, it ignores the reality of everything that's been happening. Yes, in a bubble of a perfect world with nothing else going on right now today, if you stopped and you just spent your time learning this one thing, how about two or three years ago when none of this was even being talked about? Four or five years ago when none of this was even a pipe dream in most cases, where we are being promised two other things that failed and now we're on the third or fourth thing. How about all that time? You would have been saying the same thing. If you just learned it, it would have been fine. You could have done whatever you wanted. Well, we couldn't, obviously. That's why we, some people had to do modding and create beyond RTX because it wasn't doable. Like, it, it's like you're in a some type of bubble and ignoring the facts of life and what's been happening. Have you been living this all this time? Because in reality world, all of these things haven't been going on unnoticed and not affecting us. We see people being affected constantly. It's been a daily, hourly subject about HCF. And yet you're telling me that, oh, if you just try hard enough and learn, learn this, all those people did, and now the rug's being pulled underneath them. For why? Because you want more in JS instead of showing your passion and showing what you really want and putting it in Java. You say Java's the superior product. Why did you give up on it? Why aren't you over there making it the best product it could be? I'm over here trying to make this the best product it can be with component, component group, and events for the audience that's been here, been making it, and been very successful making it. You're arguing to change what we're doing, make a higher bar, make it more like Java, make it more like China, and make it something different that we don't know has been successful, that we don't know will work in Bedrock. They just assume, but they failed at multiple other things in the recent future. But oh, they got this. This is the right move this time. Let's just all jump in both feet this time. I think component, component group events is the best thing for Bedrock. To know, Marketplace is only allowed to use specific parts of the uh, game, right? Excluding experimental features. Meaning that for the longest time, the, the Marketplace wasn't even able to use JavaScript. Because it wasn't that there were no uh, there were no stable versions, only experimental, and you just gotta wait and see what people do with this stuff. And saying that content doesn't exist that is like great and has been made with JavaScript is just straight up wrong. Like there are a bunch of cool add-ons, bunch of cool creations with add-ons. For example, the scripting add-on jam. Did, did did you take a look at that in the ten k uh like the ten k add-on jam for the uh how is it called Bedrock add-on server, where me Conmaster and uh, other people uh, created this thing, uh, Insect Titans, if anyone remembers. Or also Snowdown, uh, the bridge jam. Funny enough, same program that he uses right now. They, ma they made a jam and we made a scripting creation. And guess what? It was amazing.
it was amazing as fuck. Well. Just saying that there is no good content by JavaScript is just straight up wrong. An insane amount of complexity, the same amount of help needed. The, the amount of help in the discords and the community help requirement just to support JS is insane. I wonder how... It, it's like... That's the assumption, right? That why don't he just thinks that people are just only starting to do Minecraft bedrock scripting because it's getting more popular. People thought before uh, JavaScript wasn't a thing that um, modding in bedrock didn't exist or something like that. I think that JavaScript made people realize that bedrock does have some sort of modding and there is capabilities. And no, it didn't. Marketplace and add-on are just doing so well and people are making so much money. People are coming over for that. Are you kidding me? You think this market is growing and, and all of this is happening because they added JS, not because of the billions of dollars of sales? What world do you live in? The whole world is corporations and run by money. And you think this is the one place that's just run because people like JS? What the hell? What world view do you have? You, you think that they just gave us Bedrock and add-ons a marketplace because it's they're happy? It's, they just want to be happy people? They're selling our content and making a crazy amount of money. Billions of dollars. It surpassed most other entire game IPs. It outsells AAA games across the world year after year after year and just marketplace skins and crap. And you're telling me that the people that are coming here and seeing it and seeing all the stuff happening and are joining is because of JS? What? I don't know if people did like um, do normal Minecraft modding before JavaScript, right? But... I think the high interaction doesn't come from the problems, but rather from the amount, from the quantity, okay? It's like LOL and Wild River when the development team was changing uh, to China, they made a different game and better. Yeah. Wild River is better. What can I say? And we're not getting any more help from Mojang. We're not getting any staff that come in and act. Do you have experience working on commissions in micro Marketplace, uh, if it's okay to ask? Um, kind of, I say. I say. I mean, not really officially. I wasn't officially in a marketplace team and shit, but I do think that some of my add-ons uh, that I made as a commission ended up on the marketplace. I do believe so. You're not allowed to use experimental toggles. That, that, that's mostly it. And I also think you're not allowed to, like, modify JSON and stuff and whatever. But, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm not too deep into that actually help people in the channels and go through we get some documentation but that's it we had some documentation before so give people time and to be honest the like hold up wiki.minecraft for better good death uh sorry wiki.better good death right this is a community effort okay when you go into literally anything here let's go down okay uh, here there contributors those are people okay Yeah, I know. I'm a contributor. I was one of the f the early ones. This is, this is the community creating this documentation. This isn't Microsoft that made this documentation. The thing that you probably... No, no. This was... This started as the community failing through and creating these because we were getting so many questions about these subjects that we needed some more. Like I said... I had made my own private wiki, a whole bunch of people had made their own wikis, and then the big one that was the scummy one with all those ads was horrible. So these guys were starting this up. Uh, I jumped in and helped with a few of them, but <laughs> you're going to hate this. They want you to edit it in um, the GitHub thing. And, and they want you to do it with the syntax in it. And I had the same problem. I did a few of the guides. I started to get involved, but I couldn't. I kept having problems with the the editor at that point trying to get. I can't remember even what it's called. Um, 
It's GitHub. Ed it's the GitHub editor, but it's whatever you have to put the. Oh man, I hate it. Oh well, I I can't keep rambling. But what are you know what it is? You got to put the things for the text to be bolded in the titles, and and you got to do like it's not like Word. It's kind of like WordPress, but it's whatever it is. I I just I kept failing at it, and they said, well, here get an editor, and I tried to editor a few times, and then it wouldn't work, and it wouldn't sync up, uh, and that would cause more problems, and so. I just went back to making video guides. Um, use the most, okay? There are not many people using learn.microsoft.com or used. I that's not true at all. A majority of the wiki hasn't been updated because people are using this so much. The visitorship on the wiki is extremely low. It's been a topic of conversation. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the updates that have been happening on the wiki, I believe, are being scripted from uh, other sources and trying to make it easier to get some of that updated, especially on bedrock.dev versus wiki.bedrock.dev. But I think that that's been a conversation that we that's come up a few times that a lot of people are going to the MS docs and there is almost a duplicate in some cases now of the wiki and they're out of sync in some cases because the wiki's not getting updated fast enough to keep up with all the changes that are happening, which is back to my point all these changes create the need for us to then go update and fix all this documentation and I have to go back and make new guides and I have to change that stuff. That causes a load on the community. M Mojang's not willing to make video guides most of the time. They're not willing to do those things. They're leaving it up to the community to do. And so the only option is then we have to take the time, stop advancing stuff and what we're doing, go back and redo videos and redo guides and redo wikis and update them or add more content in because there's now another hundred pages of JS stuff we have to add. Oh, it doesn't add any overhead. Oh, it's no big deal. It, just look at how many pages we have to add just for JS. Look at just in our updates, just in our um, our updates every week, how much is more added just in them listing all of the JS changes and all the bug fixes. Oh, but it doesn't add more overhead. It adds a huge amount of overhead. That's why they're saying they don't have the bandwidth to do both. It's before and before end. Obviously, scripting made um, some people uh, like use the, um, like the documentation here, but the tutorial, it's the guides on here, right? Most of the people we're probably on this side. This is completely community driven. Okay. Uh, it, but this it's is community not. driven. The wiki it, it, they're getting a lot of this information is just coming right from the MS docs now. Because the MS docs are more updated. So they're just pulling. These examples are almost all exactly from the MS docs. They even say if you want to see more, click here and it goes to the MS docs. Some of them even say, this is outdated, please go check the MS docs. Better to dev is completely community driven. So why not just give the JavaScript developers time and make also those great tutorials here. In fact, if you go here, um, there is a tab for scripting and it's filling okay, so up. So right here. Yeah, it's filling. Oh, game test. That's why could I not? Uh, once again, you guys think that I'm just not trying. I've been doing this for five years. Game test has been out for what? Two, three. And I can't even remember its name. And you think I can remember the syntax that goes inside of it to control all of it, to do all of this stuff? Don't I can't even remember its name. Look at all the versions that you got to think about. Look at all this crap you got to do. I can't even remember its name. And you're telling me we're the same. And it just is easy because you did it. I should do it. I can't even remember its name. How often do you forget game test? And, and once again, oh, it's no more overhead. It's no more big deal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. And two of them are outdated. Eighteen more pages put on the community to support with no extra help. And we already have people in block bench piled up constantly in the help channels needing help just doing the basics not not getting help 
Some of them get help. But there's a lot of people wanting help. And it's funny that you talk about complexity. Well, you know, there's just so much more into like JSON stuff than scripting. Uh, there's not. Yeah, there's uh, explaining what goes into all these things, but it's back to the three component, component group event. All of that stuff you just listed goes into there or the resource pack. How is that? I mean, this is only server side. This isn't even the client side scripting. Imagine how complicated this is going to be when they put client side scripting in. I mean, you're complaining that... It, component component group event is is too complicated but oh js oh we got js is going to be fine that's not too much because once you oh, warning don't add don't add you id and no, no, no. oh oh watch out don't do that there's a bug oh well good thing it says here i hope everybody comes to this page and reads this cuz god forbid they just watch the video guide and don't see this and then have problems no scripting you know everything, okay? I also learn here uh, daily dev uh, GitHub, and uh, from there. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, that's also a community effort, right? Jaylee is just your 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 scripter, right? He's your average scripter. Okay, not average. He's a, a little bit. Of, uh, he's above average scripter, right? That um made all that stuff possible. So there is definitely a community effort also behind the JavaScript modding. So all of a sudden now, the barrier to supporting the community is 10x, the the demand for overhead and diag support. Yeah, so the demand for, I, I'd say that the general demand for like a, um, a scripting API is higher, okay? Like for like a modding API, basically. I would say that the general demand is higher. I don't think that uh, people were just, you know, ex like I think that scripting made many people go like do Minecraft stuff. I have no way of confirming I, it, obviously. Yeah, I haven't seen anybody. I've not seen anybody new coming in saying, oh, I saw GS, I want to do Bedrock Dev. Every day we see people coming in saying, oh, I want to get part of my marketplace. Every day. I, I had one DM me today. Nobody's coming in and saying, "Oh man, I saw JS." Now the people that are already in the industry are already in doing it, and see, "Oh hey, we could do JS now." Sure, some of them are excited about it. Absolutely, I bet they'd be excited about it doing it in Java too. But um, I do think scripting and its velocity is rapidly going up, and it's not going back. Or is 10x? No extra help from Mojang. No extra help from anywhere else. The community. No extra help for Mojang that that's just wrong. I mean, community efforts, I, I just showed, right? And But Mojang themselves, they have amazing guides. But how is this helping support doing Diag or anything? This is just documents. I said documents is a separate thing. They're not, there's not, there's staff isn't in the chat helping Diag stuff and support JS. They have amazing guides. So I don't know what he's talking about. Um, Remember before when he said you can't learn from guides, you have to trial and error. Uh, even uh, wait, let, let me let me try to find what Jaylee uh, has been mentioning. Right, um, because we have like a little Discord, okay. Um, let's see if I can find it because it's uh. It was it was it was it was a bit ago, right? I'm not really sure if this is or if that if that was inside of here, but oh yeah. I don't know how much I can leak, right? So you guys uh, know that um oh, yeah, that's it. I need your help. I have the Microsoft Docs team as my competitor, right? I think that means as much as uh, that the Microsoft team is actively working on making scripting a better place. Okay, they are creating as examples. They're actively working on making it better. So, I don't know, man. Um, uh, you don't even... He's saying that the programmers are making what they enjoy programming in better. Yeah, of course they are. I'm not arguing that. Of course they're making JS better. 
are they in the community helping people? Do they have staff coming in and helping Diag JS issues and helping come in and doing those things? Or are they doing exactly what they did before JS was added? They're just adding some more documentation like they have been for everything. No, that exists. Yeah, I, I, I'd say so. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't also think that he knows that that, that exists. Community is just supposed to bend over and take it and support all of this overhead. And what I, I know it exists because it's in our stuff. It's literally in our Chrome extension. Even the scripting links. We even have the add-on verifier, the validator. Yeah, I do this every day. I help. I have 80,000 help posts. I've been here for five years, and I don't know about the Bedrock Wiki or the docs. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying that the Bedrock Wiki and the docs solve all of our support problems, and we don't have people coming into the Discord channels and coming into BlockBinge every day asking for help. Because the MS docs solve all of our problems with help, right? We have no questions. We have no diag issues. We have no syntax issues. Filling up the help support help channels every day, more and more and more, because those docs you just pointed out solve all those issues. Is that what you're saying? Because what I'm saying very clearly is that. Yes, they did provide some docs, but what they haven't provided is any more support to the community to support this next load in this 10x more amount of diag and troubleshooting. And the more these projects get more complex and they push the limits more and more, the more diagging they'll need and the more expertise they'll need to diag it. The fewer people that will be able to, the fewer people that will be paid to be in a, a marketplace and not be able to because they'll be under NDA means there will be more people struggling and no one will be there to help them once again you said in your videos i cover advanced concepts and i'm one of the few people willing to make guides on advanced concepts i'm one of the only ones out here and i'm struggling to make enough guides and keep up with all the stuff just in the basic things and to keep up with the help systems and the amount of people that need help every day and you're telling me it's no big deal let's just add in more I'm telling you, it is a big deal. The system's overloaded, and it seems like you don't care about it. Or you say, well, he just doesn't know about the wiki. Well, if the wiki solved all of our problems, then why are the discords overloaded? Why are so many people needing help? Because it's not on a downward path. It's going up. More and more people need help. Now more and more people are joining in and getting involved in and seeing the add-ons that are out there. I don't think that's JS. I think that's just because they're seeing the wonderful things that are happening with add-ons. Worldless add-ons from Marketplace is what we've all been waiting on. We all know the elephant in the room is we didn't want to play marketplace worlds that they were giving us the custom world who wanted to play add-ons in our worlds the maps we make and the maps we play on with our friends and now that that's finally come to fruition and we can finally do that that's what's bringing everybody in not js are you kidding the, the consumers out there don't see js they don't care they don't know what that is they see add-ons they see add-ons are finally here. We can finally put worldless add-ons in every map we have with our friends anywhere 
oh man, oh, but I want to add a monkey to my game. So they come in and they go to block bench and they add a monkey and then they say, I want to add a giraffe. And so they have, they can't use any D wizard a second time. Now they got to make a BPAC. So they come in and make the BPAC and instead of letting them get through a few weeks and get into it and make all this stuff, you say, oh, you got to learn JS. And they say, oh, I don't want to learn JS. I just want to play a game and they quit and they're gone and that's it. We see that every day over and over. And the programmers say, oh, they just didn't have enough desire. They would have just tried harder. They could have done it. But they don't want to be programmers. They want to take, they want to add something into their game. Now, some of them are going to do it and they're going to enjoy it and they're going to be programmers or they're going to become developers or they're going to expand and go do something else because they were able to do it. Some of them aren't going to be able to do it now because they're going to get discouraged and go away because JS is a programming language and it's a big hill. You've already said yourself that you guys were using the form view when you started. But yet, oh, if you just try harder, they'll get there. And I'm telling you, there's already people giving up and quitting now when they could have got there if we just weren't discouraged by this uphill. Or if they just had those tools where people just didn't tell them, hey, learn JS, or oh, you're lazy because you don't want to learn JS, or oh, you're lazy because you're using XP features and haven't fixed your add-on yet. <laughs> what? So people just trying to play Minecraft, having a good time, and expand their worlds into stuff. And my hope is that by doing that, they're going to find a career and a job and a whole world that they can expand to and create anything that they want to in these limits. And then when they hit those limits, they're going to move on to maybe Java or Goda or Unreal Engine, and they're going to keep going. And your point of view is they should just try harder and learn JS. Or they're lazy. What do we get out of it? Oh, I can do more. Well, what more can it do? Oh, I could uh, rotate blocks. Oh, it could it could do this code in the background. It's gonna be really cool someday. Meanwhile, we get very little showing us anything actually being done. Every time I say, "Hey, I'm struggling," no man, that's like uh, you're just not looking for it. To be honest. There's a lot of awesome things in the scripting API, and if you if you look enough, you're gonna find a lot. But so, but see how they, they won't bring examples. So, what has it solved that we are asking for that it's replaced? So we are asking for interactive blocks. We're asking for connected blocks like fences and stairs. We're asking for blocks that could easily be rotated in place where we needed to place them. We're asking for blocks we could sit on. We're asking for animated blocks, which we still haven't gotten, even with JS. We we're asking for I want a connected block, so a way that a block can listen to for another block or detect what's nearby. Um, there's a whole list of these things that we've been asking for. XP features got. They were using. They did all these amazing things with. And then they said, well, JS is going to solve that and fix those, and you'll be able to do that with those. And and I haven't seen that. I've literally been in chat and helped people and watched them and seen them try to fight through the process to make connected block or to make all those things. And so at the same time, I made them the hard way through BPACs and how we would do it without JS to show the comparison of how difficult it is and what we can do now and what we can't do and what JS can do. And it what it still isn't even comparable. So I, I would love to see a, a video showing a gallery of all of the things that JS has solved for us that we're struggling with, that we've been asking that 1% to fix with custom blocks, custom items, interactions. Um, uh, please show me how JS solves those things today.
struggling with this. What's the solution? Oh, it's JS. It's JS. You got to do JS. Okay, well, how does that work? Show me the solution. Oh, you can't do it yet. Oh, it doesn't work. Obviously, like um, if someone goes there and says, hey, how do I do this? And then, hey, you probably need to use the JavaScript API, right? You're not going to go from 1 to 100 and be able to do it, right? Um, he, he has... He has that mind that he already knows about, like how to do stuff. He, I'm not saying they aren't saying I can't do it yet. They're saying no one can do it yet because it's not achievable yet. They say, "Oh, JS will solve it. Use JS." And I say, "Okay, how do I do that in JS?" And then someone says, "Oh, you can't do that yet. You need custom components for that." Well, custom components just got released, and there's nothing really to do with them because the community had to make up all the custom components. That what ha happened a week ago, two weeks ago. We've been fighting this battle and dealing with this hellhole for years now. And you're telling me, oh, well, two weeks ago, custom components came out, and now we can do all these amazing things. So what you said doesn't matter because it just came out. What? Years. We've been fighting this battle every day, suffering and struggling, trying to get basic features that our customers are asking for, and we keep getting told, it's coming, it's coming, and then it doesn't get done, it doesn't get done, or it goes into XP, and then it gets pulled three or four years after being in XP, it gets pulled. Like, and you're telling me that, oh, oh. Oh. In Bedrock, if he thinks of a problem, he thinks in the JSON solution and getting to the point where you can think in JavaScript, basically. Is I'm not doing any of it. I'm asking the community that are doing JS how to do it, and they're telling me it can't be done until we have this. Quite difficult, and you need to learn that. And no, not learning by reading some textbooks or getting taught by someone of tutorials. Oh, okay, so once again, he just badmouthed and said learning by text or tutorials isn't how you learn. But he just not a few minutes ago got through showing us wiki. It's still up here in the tab. Oh, well, you can just go to the wiki and look at all these guides. Look, it's all community. You could just do this. Oh, well, don't learn from guides and uh, books and textbooks and stuff. Well, but previously said with JS, you're not going to be able to just learn. You're going to have to copy and paste text from other places in. Where do you get that text? You can't use a guide. You can't use a textbook. You're going to Google it. You're going to use ChatGPT. No, you can't do that. you got to learn yourself. you got to do it yourself. Which is it? You got to do it yourself, but you got to understand what you're doing so that you can program and, and make it what it is. But you're not going to understand that until you watch guides. But the guides aren't going to help you because you can't watch the, you can't learn from that. You got to do it. You got to learn from doing and failing. It can't be all three of them. You can't have it all of those ways and say, oh, you have to just get in and fail and, and just try it. Oh, but you have to use someone else's code to start with. But that code that you get, well, you'll get that from the wiki guides. Oh, but you can't learn from the wiki guides. you got to get in and fail. Oh, and keep in mind that this isn't too hard, that this is just easy for anybody to get in. It's no more difficult than, than what we're doing now, that people that are struggling with just putting a namespace in and understanding what namespace is, they're going to understand how to do the JS code and copy and paste that in okay, and they're going to get it in there, and then they're going to go from there, and they're going to learn, and, and pretty soon they're going to be doing everything they want, and they're not going to get discouraged, and they're not going to quit and think, oh, uh, game development is just too hard. They're not going to do that. Oh, wait, they already are doing that. We see it every day. You have to experiment, fuck around, and find out. If you don't do that, I'm sorry. I wish I had a Kegwe keg meme right now. W. Or they could use Entity Wizard 
um, use a graphical interface in a few minutes watching one of my guides walk through the steps it's like eight steps they could have the behavior custom texture custom geo and animations in a game in an add-on ready to go and they never had to touch any of that that's the alternative that I'm proposing there you go there you go that's a kick me kick W Oh, it, 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 that, that won't work for that. It, 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 I, I've yet to find very many solutions where JS actually solves anything today. 90 Try to read chat input. Try to store large amounts of data between world loads. Try to... Once again, it doesn't sound like those are things that fit in Minecraft Bedrock on a mobile device or even on a high-end HD device doing HD stuff. Uh, that sounds like cool ideas, sounds like cool things you're doing, but it sure sounds like as soon as I hear you s describing what you're doing, that that really sounds like that should be in Java. It, it just sounds like that's the place for it. It doesn't sound like that would be a product that Mojang's out here saying, man, we really want a whole bunch of chat stuff that we don't control and isn't censored and that we don't have management of in a bedrock game that's really censored towards kids in a safe environment. And it could be a ton of these different things. It's back to why just it seems so odd to add JS to this type of environment um, in the first place. Figure out when a player breaks a block. Try to... But but we had player break block in the blocks in XP just fine. We have break block in components just fine. You can have a break block sensor right here in your component. It takes one second to add it. Figure out, in fact. Try to figure out when a pressure plate pops or a tripwire triggers or the weather changes or a uh, tripwire trigger you can use a sensor for, right? It's just something being done in the world. Weather change, you can trigger that with environmental sensor or a query or a filter. Lever, a lever is being used. And that I, is general. Oh, like even. But even that's like it's redstone stuff. I, I don't want to interact with redstone stuff. Yeah, that's that's epic. Yay! That solves a lot of the things we were asking for. Better before events, right? Try to figure out with your JSON APIs how you can cancel an effect being added. How you can cancel an Just entity use being effect, removed. How you can effect clear. And cancel an explosion from happening for a creeper, for example. Uh, kill the creeper before it blows up, fire the event slash event entity and the event right before it that cancels it. Um, How you can stop people from using items. I want to see that. A happen. BPAC, just auto remove it when it's in their hands. Uh, when it goes into use, stop the use. I mean, what? These aren't huge things that we've been sitting out there saying, hey, we really want to sit on a block or we really want to interact with blocks or we really want to interact with custom doors or we want to make our own stuff. Um, these are very niche things that we can already do that they just put in a whole list of sensors and a whole list of stuff and said, okay, here you go. Here's the API access to it. Yay. You know what I really want is the API access to DirectX 12 or, you know, RTX to work properly. Uh, I think that we could probably work around just in the normal system for most of these things. And if we can't, why couldn't they just add them into the normal system? Why do we need to have a whole new system just for these few things? Uh, a few more sensors and filters couldn't have done that. <clears throat> Maybe you're not aware of the features. You clearly lack the capabilities, the functions, the that scripting even has to offer 
which is why what the comments are also saying, right? Wait, I clearly lack the features and functions that scripting is, offers, but BPAC scripting has been there. We have variables, we have sensors. I mean, we have a majority of that stuff already in the current scripting system that is in the server side and client side already. You can't even do client side stuff. So the current <clears throat> the current system already has custom um, entity properties that are client syncable. It has filters, it has queries, has environmental sensor, has an entity sensor with sub sensors now. I mean, we have all of these things and then you're saying, well, maybe he's not aware of it. He just maybe doesn't know. He's obviously not able to do X. But once again, I have 300 guides. How many things do I know that you don't know? Maybe you don't know that those things are available in the normal process. The problem with saying that whole elitism of, well, maybe you just aren't aware of it. You're right. Maybe I am. You're totally right. Maybe I just missed it. So what I do is I typically go to the community and I ask the people that I know in the community. I say, hey, I have this solution. And someone will say, oh, JS can solve that. And I'll say, how? And they'll say, oh, they'll say it can't be done yet without custom components or without this or without client side scripting. You're right. I'm not aware of most of those things. I'm relying on the community because I need help and support for the JS side of it too. And I haven't been seeing very good support for it to say, hey, yeah, that's solved. We can do these things. Uh, we can solve these problems. We can do the things that were in experimental items. We can do the things that were experimental blocks. Right now, it seems like they're asking the community to do it in custom components for them. Um, let's go a little bit too far. Uh, we all have different brains. Some are, <laughs> some brains are stupid. <laughs> I love this. Um, do you see back to the elitism? No, I'm stupid. So let's, and, and that wasn't the worst. I also got the R word a few times. I got a few, you know, censored ones that popped in the, the whatever box, <clears throat> the auto filter. So once again, you've seen all my videos, you've seen my work, you've seen how much I help people and how much I support people and the stuff that I'm creating and the advanced stuff I'm doing. Do you think I'm stupid? Or is it possible that my brain and your brain just aren't the same and I learn differently and programming isn't something I have a strong suit in? Um, isn't that just possible? Or it has to be, it has to be that if I don't do something as well as you, I'm stupid. So does that mean you're stupid compared to the C++ people? that learn C++ and are doing that stuff? Does that mean that you're lazy and that you aren't willing to do it because you're not willing to put in the time to learn C++? Because see, that's what I was told when I was growing up because they were the ones that knew C++. And so even learning Java was just a joke. Like, and I'm not talking Java Minecraft, I'm talking Java. Um, you know, <clears throat> so let's look at some of these. I have a shit ass pro project that I need to do full stack website. And I have a whole fucking back end, uh, full server, a dashboard. I don't want to do it, but I have to do, I have to get my degree. I don't, I don't know. Yep. Where was the comment? Uh, no, but there was some comment about like he lacking understanding or something like that. Doesn't really matter now. Next month we will officially release. Custom so back again, I 
I've talked through this. I'm, I mean, I made an hour guide. I've, do you see all the other stuff? Do you think that I lack understanding? I, it, it's back to that elitism. If somebody doesn't agree with me or learn how I do or behave how I do, then they must, they must just lack understanding. It must be that they just don't have enough information or they would think how I do. They would come to the same conclusion I do. So since I don't come to the same conclusion you do, with the information you provided me, I'm giving you direct feedback. I don't come to the same conclusion with everything you've showed me. I already knew it. Um, what does that mean now? Does that mean that I'm, I'm stupid like they're saying in the comments? Does that mean that I'm just lazy? Does that mean that I'm just haven't put enough effort in? Or does that possibly mean that I know my strengths and weaknesses at 44 years old and I have the wisdom to know where to put my efforts and where not to put my efforts? What do you think? Just to give you an idea, I have... Um, I don't know, more than a thousand finished projects. I've done projects in the hundred million dollars and completed them on time. I've hosted hundreds of thousands of people and servers that had huge dollars behind them for governments. I've built banks, bank networks, bank systems. Um, I, I literally have thousands of projects that I've completed for high security stuff, for all kinds of things, down to Ma and Pa stuff. Uh, my add-ons have been downloaded and viewed by hundreds of thousands, if not a million plus people. So I not only have the experience, I've lived it every day. I have the time put in 20,000 plus hours. I have the effort, I have the videos, I have the views on the videos, I have the reviews on my content, and I, I've been here doing it. And after all of that, and I put all of that in, your response to me is, you're just lazy and not putting enough effort in or just not informed. Once again, or I'm wise, have lived on the planet for a long time, lived the entire internet revolution from the very beginning, and have worked in countless industries, done thousands of projects, supported on-call clients for 20 years that I still support. I went and saw one on call this morning. Hundreds of employees I support on call right now while I'm talking and helping you guys and doing all of this. I have six or seven businesses I run. I'm also chronically ill and smoke an ounce of cannabis a week to control my pain levels. You can go watch that video as well about how much pain I live in and my health issues. So once again, you are telling me with my background and all my experience and helping all these people, 80,000 posts across Blockbench and another like 20,000 in Bedrock add-ons, plus another 250,000 views in my guides and all the comments and all the stuff I do there, that I'm not informed, I'm misinformed or I, I'm ignorant or I just don't know about it, or I am lazy and just don't have enough effort and drive to put in. That's your, your stance. Components, exactly. And guess what? Marketplace developers will use that 100%. They just need it to be stable. And hey, maybe Marketplace will now then be the thing that gives them that final bit that, that will tell them, hey, um, I need to do that. Uh, like, um, that is possible with scripting API. Oh, that's so cool. He just needs that one point. Then, uh, yeah, M maybe he'll he's gonna try that as well.
Yeah, if I just had that one thing to convince me JS is is wonderful and versus I still have sixty percent of bedrock to experience and figure out. But one thing in JS and oh it'd be so much better. I'll I'll just I'll I'll just jump over there and I can join I can join you guys. I can we can all sing Kumbaya together. It it's really weird. Do you see like it's I, it's like a cult. It's like the Java cult again, where if you're not a coder, you're not a programmer, you're not on Team JS, you're you're just there's got to be something wrong with you. If you can't get on board with this, what's wrong with you? You must have a major foul uh, fun, malfunction if you can't join the rest of us and see how wonderful it is. percent of the time they say well it will solve something in the future because it can do more well it's the same thing as idiot isn't that funny that that's a literally what he just said well marketplace people are going to get this and it's going to do wonderful things he's still saying it in future tense even today after he's just spent an hour telling us how it's ready to go now Look, we can do this now. It's all ready. Well, Marketplace can't do it now. And I'm a Marketplace developer trying to eat and sell games to customers. And the customers are asking for interactive blocks and interactive items they can sit on and open the doors for and custom blocks. And that's the stuff I need to solve. And instead, Mojang's giving us JS that doesn't solve any of that crap. It creates a whole bunch more problems saying electrolytes. Why do we do J JS? Because it has electrolytes. Because it can do more. It can do more. I don't want more. I don't need more. You know what I really want is the promises of blocks and items to work correctly like they were told to us. Well, you can just you act like it's not going to work if you use JavaScript, you know. But um, hey, maybe you, need, you cannot do something, right? Or maybe all of the things that Minecraft provides are enough for you. But that's surely not the case for everyone, okay? There are people out there that need specific things, like canceling chat messages for a mute system for the server or something like that. And those people are going to get it at the cost of the low-level people that were coming in that are now going to get discouraged and pushed out. And that is my main entire point of this. Thank you for pointing that out. That is my entire point, is that, yep, you're going to get that, and it costs something. Nothing's free. Everything comes at a cost. And the bar has now been raised. And you're going to get those few things. But the people at the bottom that were coming into it are now going to most likely a percent of, the, of, of them is going to divert off and never have this experience. And I think that was the greatest benefit and feature of Bedrock was right there grabbing those people in that first moment and giving them a taste of game development and letting them do something in the sandbox. Right? Why is it now suddenly a bad decision to not allow those people to do that stuff? Because you don't want to? Well, what can I say? And no, because it came at the cost of all those other things. We lost XP features because of JS. We didn't get those block features and those item features because of JS, and they're still not going to be solved under JS for quite a while. In 1.16, they would be. We're 1.21, and we still don't have functional blocks. We don't have interactive blocks. We don't have interactive, you know, items. We do. We do. I, I don't know what... Items are still in a shit state. Um, we have to use BPACs to do most things. No, that's just so wrong. That's just fundamentally so wrong. And that shows that he hasn't spent enough time to like uh, go with the scripting API. You can test when a player uses something on the block and stuff. What does he think is the scripting API uh, doing? Like he's just, I mean, I'm. Wait, you just said that you can't do it in Marketplace. Custom components just came into stable two weeks ago. Once again, we don't live in a box. This isn't a little uh, fish fish bowl. We're not swimming around in a circle. We've been dealing with this for years. We've been 
paying this cost and struggling with this stuff for years. And you're saying, oh, well, now we can do these one or two things. Yay! I don't think it's worth the cost we've been paying, and it's still only a few things, and you still got to go through all the process of JS, and it still doesn't complete the cycle. If it did, we'd have a whole bunch of really amazing stuff all over the place. And we really don't have that much, do we? You say, oh, we got to find, I'll show you something. Why isn't it all over the place? If you really can do all of those amazing things, then shouldn't the entire freaking showcase be showing something phenomenal with GS? Let's see. One, two... Three. There's one. That's a good one. What's that one? What's that one? I'm current creating a Pokemon add-on. Okay. See, I, I really debate how many of these are just using it for like one thing, you know, or or at all at this point. It's it's just a dream. Let's see. A way to pick block pick block an item with additional data such as containers a useful add-on for map makers builders and servers still still technically in beta hmm sounds like that's ready to go uh, world gen user interface scripting owner only or generator yes that really seems like something we need uh, right away Oreo style clouds beyond survival. This is an amazing one. Great job. Uh, nope, nope. Redstone core block. Um, yeah, why would we need JS to be able to just make a redstone block and have it glow and do the basic things? They could have easily just put that in. No JS needed. Uh, Mojang could have enabled us to do that. Uh, State Machine, aka Animation Controller Script. Uh, okay, so you duplicated something we already have. Great. Um, Drop Light. Okay. Um, but we could just do that currently with lots of methods. I mean, you could definitely use scripting to detect their death, but he's not. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. On death? Yeah, on death. He detected it. But there's a ton of ways to do that without JS. Um, I don't know. Anti-cheat? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need that bundle script things. Well, they're adding bundles natively, so that's not useful. Fraction system. Yay, fraction system. Nether reactor reborn. Uh, menus, but that really honestly should be solved in uh, Oreo UI instead of a scripting system. And uh, Rocks Chat and Minecraft, isn't this a huge TOS issue? Discord API. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Discord and Minecraft. We definitely need that. Uh, we couldn't have done that before. You're right. <clears throat> couldn't have used functions or something and had the functions do a slash reload. That wouldn't have done it. A uh, little Python script in the background, just monitoring the function. Let's see, what else am I missing? Uh, it seems like there's more user interface still than there is scripting UI. More bad cubies. I don't know what that means. Portal fuel. I don't know what that means. <clears throat> that could be cool if you could detect 
the portal, but portals are just a block. You could detect those with a block sensor and an entity anyways. You could detect them with commands. Place tree and create forest easily. So they're using it for interface stuff, <clears throat> but you could do this with entities now. I've already done it. Uh, 3D model textures. More just interfaces. You could use NPC interfaces to do it. Custom host panel release. Well, I mean, I guess these aren't even JS, I guess. I don't know. Maybe people just aren't putting tags in. I, I just, I'm not seeing it. Um, join any server hub. Yeah, that's definitely something not, you know, something we really needed. Java UI user interface block to entity block to entity block to, so you're bringing the block oh i mean hey that's a cool concept i'll give you that if you could make easy floating blocks i think i just turn the block into an entity and have the entity come to you though <clears throat> seems like that'd be easier um insanity cosmetics Grapple hook, you know, I, I'm pretty sure you can do grapple hook without it, but I'm sure it's probably easier. Adding some physics to the game. Once again, I, that's something Mojang should be doing in Bedrock. I don't think that's something we should be doing. This is mod level. We shouldn't be doing mod level stuff. Car engine physics. I just don't think we should be doing mod level stuff. I think that's something we should leave to Mojang. If you wanted to do that in Java, great. But these are add-ons. Adding physics systems in doesn't make sense to me. So I don't know. I scrolled through a ton of these. Here's another cosmetic. Here's a storage system. Um, I don't know if that's the, if that the met, I don't know. I know there was a storage system that looked pretty cool. That um, the backpack uh, someone was working on. I I can't even remember now. But I did see a cool backpack, and they were using the scripting system for that so i definitely and i'm not saying that scripting can't be used for tons of things not at all i'm not saying that it doesn't do more i'm saying it does do more i'm saying that that more doesn't in my opinion belong in bedrock i think that more would be much better served in java um and would fit better there um I think most of the things people are going to do with scripting API, you could just do with regular stuff. And I think you could even do it better and faster if they would have just given us uh, what they were already telling us they were going to do. So let's get back to this because we're already at like some crazy amount of time. Sorry for like getting outraged and stuff, but he's just clearly lacking the understanding of, you know, of, of knowing the game, of, of knowing the script. So, so there you go. I, I'm i lacking the understanding, so I, I scrolled through all of the stuff that we can see in Showcase right now. Uh, 52 minutes ago, Pick Block was definitely something where you can add additional information, such as containers. I, it just it doesn't wow me and I don't feel like that's worth all of this effort or time or energy. Um, we looked through as many of these as we could find other than redstone interaction, which Mojang should be adding that themselves anyways. Um, I still, don't, I'm not convinced. Sorry. I, I, I blindly, I haven't, I haven't looked in showcase in a while. I blindly scrolled through showcase and showed you and nothing is like, Oh wow. Look at that. Scripting API. Or scripting to solve it, which most of the time scripting still doesn't seem to solve it. It just causes more issues and more complexity. Now, I'm sure there's some great, oh. unique things that JS is just phenomenal at, but I would challenge that we didn't need those in Bedrock in the first place. And the only people. Why? Why don't we need good stuff in Bedrock? Because I mean... they're, mo they're mod level stuff, they're not add on level stuff. There's stuff that are going so far out of the, like a, a physics engine. That's a mod level thing. That's something that you would add into Java. 
That's not something you would put into Bedrock. That's something Mojang should put in if they want to change it. Why, why don't we need new features in Bedrock? Like, why is it supposed to be the exact same game that it was a few years ago? It's not supposed to be the same game a few years ago, but it changes the bar, raises it, causes more support issues. And as we've talked about over and over of all my points, he's asking why. I've just spent all of this time telling you why previously in the video. Because we're not getting the support, because the bar is higher, people are going to quit, more people are going to drop out and get frustrated with it. It doesn't provide enough extra that we really need. It could easily go into Java and go into somewhere else. I haven't seen and it hasn't been proven that this is the magical solution that makes anything. But it comes at the risk of pushing people like me out that have been helping build the community and build all of this stuff and do all this education. And for why? Because it can do more. You saw it. You saw the showcase. All of those are wonderful, amazing things that it provided us. Is is worth adding all of the overhead and all of those other things. And then risking the jobs that we're not going to get in Marketplace because they're going to go to professional JS programmers. None of that seems worth it to me. People want updates. That's just a fact. People want new mobs. People, want... People just want new stuff. Yeah, we want the the custom blocks and all of that stuff and the custom items that HCF has been offering and everybody's been using happily and that's all been taken away. Yeah, we want those updates. Yeah, we want that stuff. Yeah, that's the stuff we want. We want that stuff. We don't want JS. We want that stuff. The stuff we're happy with that's working and has been working perfectly. You notice how the HCF stuff didn't need any updates because it's been working for three fucking years perfectly fine? How few lines in the update stuff needed to go towards that and maintaining it because it's just been working great. But yet that's the stuff they don't have the bandwidth to keep up with when the JS stuff's been all over the place. The reason they don't have bandwidth to add all these other entities and all these mobs and all the great stuff we want is because all the effort and time is going into JS and giving you guys the more stuff that you see on the showcase doesn't even give us that much more. We could have hundreds more entities. We could have all kinds of great things and all of the stuff that's still data set and all the stuff that we can't change they could have gone through and made that changeable, but instead they put their effort into JS for you guys. Yeah, it came at a huge cost. We would like updates. We would like more stuff. We would like the game to not be the same it was a few years ago. And they're taking HCF out. It literally has been in there for, what, three plus years. Like, do you listen to yourself? We've been doing, I've been doing this for five years. I would like to go back to 116 in a lot of cases because I think performance was better then before Render Dragon. Render Dragon has been a complete disaster. Most of those features still don't work to this day. RTX is a complete joke. But we, we want updates and changes. I want successful changes that are good for the audience and for the creators coming up in the system. Yes, those are the changes I would like. I do not think getting JS to the professional programmers that could work anywhere in any industry and do anything is the solution here. Removing old stuff, okay, it's kind of weird, but there's just something about moving on, okay, that you just need to accept. Like, if you want to have new features. It's like we're going through the seven stages or something. So originally it was, you know, oh, hey, you just got to learn it or you just just this or just stay where you're at and do what you're comfortable with. And, and now it's all the way to, well, you just got to accept it because change happens and people want updates. You got to accept new tools. Use the right tool for the job. I can't emphasize this even more people that want those in bedrock or programmers that want to program um not minecrafties that want so remember i have 300 guides doing all these advanced stuff that most of these people that are commenting have never done don't know how they work haven't watched the guides haven't tried it out 
haven't learned it, haven't trialed and failed it, at it, but they're telling me that I need to use the right tool for the right job when Jace, JS isn't even stable in marketplace. It's not the right tool for anything right now because it's not stable in marketplace. It's not usable, right? The right tool for the job up until it comes to marketplace and is fully stable has been BPA season, what I'm doing. The wrong tool for the job up until custom components has been JS for everything except experimental and preview builds. So once again, you're telling me who's been doing this for five years, use the right tool for the job. I'm doing a job, I'm running a studio, and I'm releasing and making really good content. The tools I'm using seem to be working great. How many downloads do your Minecraft add-ons have? How many, how many of these packs have you put out? How many have you completed? How many are you supporting year after year after year and keeping them going? Once again, it's easy to tell other people when they don't reply back, hey, you just need to do more of this or you just don't understand. I'm in Marketplace. I work with partners and consult for them and I'm paid by them to consult for them daily. That's what I do. So I have consulting agreements, I make content for partners, and I, I work in this industry every day doing it. And so because I don't want to do this thing in JS, all of a sudden now that negates all of my experience and what I'm doing and the people paying me to do it and advise them on it and all of these other things that I've built and demonstrated in the hundreds that you haven't done and you're telling me because you've done this one thing in JS that's really unique and niche and is an experimental or preview up until just recently and needs the whole community to make comp uh, custom components for them that I'm the one using the wrong tool for the job. You don't even do you know what the job is. Were you using JS for the stuff you did for marketplace? I'm curious because you're saying the right tool for the job. So have you used JS to make any money? Because job means you're getting paid for it. Have you made any money using JS? Because that's the issue, right? If the right tool is the one that does the job fastest and makes money and provides and completes the project, like you said earlier, the person that complete the project. Well, I'm completing the projects with what I'm doing now. And I've proven it and shown it over and over. The projects have high reviews and lots of downloads and lots of views. So where are you pointing at my failure and what I'm saying and what I'm giving you that proves that, that I'm not using the right tool for the job? You started off by saying you've watched my guides to learn how to do some things and how these advanced guides are something that you and other people have used and seen. So how does that work? How does that the wrong tool and not knowing the right tool, the wrong tool for the job? All the jobs I'm doing, the right tool has not been JS, it's been BPACs because it's faster, easier, I can support it, it's easier to diag, I already know it, and it's ready to go now and works now. The wrong tool has been JS every time I've asked the community. Is this somewhere JS could solve this problem? Because what will happen is a lot of people come to me and say, oh, JS could solve this. Why are you doing this? How are you doing it? JS could solve it. So I say, okay, how? Please show me. And they can't show me over and over and over. So, uh, you know, maybe it's out there somewhere. We have gotten some of those things it looks like to work, like some of the connected blocks and some of the, the, uh, fence connections seem like they're starting to work better and people are starting to figure it out. I still haven't seen very many. I think I did see an open door. I think uh, one of the guys did do a good interactive door recently, which I liked. Um, 
but I had already done it with BPACs and it took me, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. They've been working to figure out how to do it for days and weeks. So, uh, let's keep going. Want to add stuff to the game or indie game devs that just want to build new stuff and content. Um, you can still do it. It seems game. more like programmers that just want to program and everything is programmer to them. Um, to give you some. No. It's just, I mean, again, you, you've, you try to find. You have a goal. You set yourself the goal. You look how to do that goal. Oh, I need to add this type of code. You add the code. It's not like, oh, I need to code and then I can do this feature. No, it's I want to do this feature. How do I do that? Oh, I need to code. Let's go. It's just the experience that he's lacking, really. Some background, I grew up with programmers. So um, many of the f members of my family are hardcore cr uh, crypto and um, cypherpunks and um, <laughs> Cypher you know, everything from C++ to C Sharp to Python to all of the other fun ones that are out there these days. Um, and that's what they've told me my whole life. Just learn to code. Just learn to code. Just learn Java. Just. I mean, to be fair, though, the programming community loves talking about... Um... You know, the programming community laughs about how great the tools are. Obviously, if you create something, you want to showcase what it is. And it's quite kind of funny because he himself loves to do that as well, just like with his creation. In fact, well, let me see. Let, let me let me check. Okay, no. But now it's not the case. But often he like sits in voice calls just streaming his work while, I don't know, sleeping or something like that, just to be able to showcase his work off. And um, while you might think, oh, yeah, people are going to uh, see my stuff and find it cool, some people might find it annoying, just like you do, with, um, you know, accepting scripting as it is. I think uh, I'll use it in Minecraft definition. So his point here is because I stream my content so people that enjoy jumping into the stream and seeing what I've, I've created can from around the world in different time zones, how does that connect again? That that's annoying that I'm in a Discord channel that's empty. There's three of them. It's empty all the time. It's empty right now. Nobody's ever in them. I was the only one that ever streamed in them. And, and somehow that's annoying. You didn't have to go click on it. Once again, I'm doing my thing. It doesn't affect anybody else. You don't have to go check in it. You don't have to click on it. You don't have to go into the channel and then open up and click on my stream to see what I'm doing. You chose to do all of those things. You chose it. You came to me. I was in my happy place and a streaming channel for the people that enjoy my content and want to see my stuff come to see my stuff. And they did all the time. And they were fine about it. But you think that that's annoying, like me not wanting to learn JS because my brain doesn't work that way. That's the correlation that you're you're connecting these dots. Just complain, complaining, and complaining. The script, scripting API is major useful for bedrock add-ons. Uh, Save me many times. Yeah, and that's not uh, that's the reason why it's so popular, and that's the reason why it will remain popular. I, I don't know. If the community wants it, Microsoft is going to obviously invest more into it. So, yeah. I know it's pretty the community that drives the scripting API forward. So I know what... Uh, well, let's see what he has he, to say. He, he keeps saying that, but I, it's partners that are driving it forward. It's money. Good. Learn, you know, just learn it. Just just do it. It's easy. Just get in there and learn some coding. Just learn to code. Learn to... Learn Again, it's obviously, the, the scripters are kind of annoying. Yeah, we, we, we can do that, we can do that. Uh, it's so cool and stuff. Obviously, we want to showcase our work. And he wants to showcase his work as well. Um, Like, again, he's sitting... Remember, the difference is they're forcing these things on us. We can't do block, custom block stuff now. We can't do custom item stuff now without it. They're forcing that on us. They keep saying that me doing what I'm doing and showing my work and making guides is the same as them telling me that I need to go learn JS. You see the difference? I'm not telling them that they need to come do what I'm doing. I'm not telling them they need to look at my stuff. I'm not telling them that they need to interact with me at all. 
I don't even talk to people unless they talk to me. They're literally coming to my content where I'm at and then complaining that I'm showing my content to the people that want to see my content. They didn't have to come to my content. They didn't have to come to my channel. They don't have to come to my showcase. They don't have to click the guides. The difference is I am producing stuff for me and my customer base that wants to come to me. They're doing things that are affecting me and my customer base. And then telling me that I'm lazy or I'm not want to learn or I don't want to put the effort in or I just am not passionate enough or I haven't put enough time in when I object and say, wait a second, this affects us and the creators coming up and I wouldn't be able to do what I did making Dragonfire and the first games I did when I started today because of how things are changed. I wouldn't be able to, it wouldn't happen the same. I think that's a problem. And so when I bring that up and talk about it, the solution is, well, we don't like what you're doing. I didn't say you needed to like it. I didn't say anything about what you're doing. I'm just saying, please don't force JS on us. Give us the ability to do what you promised without JS. Pretty simple. Thing in uh, voice call, sometimes streaming his work. He wants to showcase his work. You want to showcase his work. Just fair. Learn to code. Just learn to be a programmer. Um, telling, people learn learn to, telling people learn to code is not sharing your work. It's an elitism that everybody needs to be like you. And that's not cool. It's really not cool. I don't want to be like you. I don't want to be like the programmers. I do not want to be like coders. The elitism and this exact everything we've seen in this movie and or in this video and all of the comments that you read. Well, he just doesn't know. Well, he just doesn't. I... I have Python certifications on the wall, sir. I've been paid professionally to do Python programming. I've been paid to do XML programming. I've been paid to program in SharePoint. I've been paid to program in HTML and CSS. I've been paid to program in, I mean, I, like I said, I can't even count them. We're not even talking about all the network devices I programmed in. It's not an issue of laziness it's not an issue of i'm trying to force this on you i've learned through experience that i don't think this is the best path for me and a percentage of the population and i'm pleading with you guys to stop being elitist and maybe have some empathy and a heart and listen to my words and listen to me feeling like you're telling me i'm stupid constantly it's in the comments the comments are telling me i'm stupid I'm just uninformed. I'm just, I just don't know better. If I just knew what you guys knew, and once again, I'm older by double than most of you. I'm 44 years old. I started before the internet in the BBS days, but even before that. Uh, are you kidding me? I've seen more things than you can imagine. I've seen almost every device that's been created throughout desktops and worked on them and built thousands of systems and worked on e-way systems you couldn't fathom. And yet you're telling me that I, I don't have the, the, oh, I just am uninformed. If I just knew better, it can't be that his brain just doesn't function like this. That can't be it. It can't be that those people that test them are right. That can't be it. It has to be that he just is lazy and just doesn't want to do it. Of course, he has spent five hours watching and talking about this video. So he can't be too lazy. He obviously doesn't have a life. Learn some coding. Just learn to code. Learn to learn. Hey again, it's obviously this. The scripters are kind of annoying. Yeah, we, we, we can do that. We can do that. Uh, it's so cool and stuff. Obviously, we want to showcase our work. And he wants to showcase his work as well. Um, 
like again, he's sitting in a voice call sometimes streaming his work. He wants to showcase his work. We want to showcase his work. Just fair. Learn to code. Just learn to be a programmer. Um. So once again, I I went to a professional doctor. I took their tests, and their tests say I would not be a good programmer. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure some doctor told you, yeah, you wouldn't be able to program. No, that's bullshit. That's absolute bullshit. Like, yes, you might be diagnosed with autism and stuff, right? But that's not stopping you from creating anything. In fact, it's interesting that their knowledge of how the brain works is autism or or them. Like, there's no difference in there. And I find this a lot when people think, oh, everybody can learn anything. But that's like saying anybody can play in the NFL. Anybody can play professional basketball. That's not true. Anybody can be the best video game player ever. The best, you know, you're going to be out there. You could play PUBG and be professional. Anybody could do that if they just put the time in. They just put the effort in and had the heart. That's not true. That's bullshit propaganda. That's not how the world works. I've played Halo and video game FPSs every game, day since I was probably 12, and I still suck ass. I have not gotten any better. I'm just as bad as I was when I was playing Rainbow Six on PC and, what, Rainbow Six 3. I mean, the original Rainbow Six. I'm no better today than I was then, and I've been playing for... 25 30 years since it's bullshit natural talent and how your brain functions your genetics your upbringing your environment all have effects not to mention meds you're on and stress you're under all of those things matter to how you learn there's countless studies on it and yet you're telling me the only thing you understand is, oh, he's autistic or he's like us and he's just lazy. And then you're like your your whole piece of autism was where well, you knew someone that was autistic in your class and he was able to program. What? Your sample size is one. you are still creating perfectly fine with that diagnosis you can you you already look around look at your screen you all made that while having presumably autism or whatever he diagnosed you uh, with scripting api is very oh wait, oh wait especially for marketplace partners the test said i wouldn't do good at math and english because of the syntax and the memorization and why is he and why is he like trying to stop himself from like creating something like why does he let something like this get to him just right. Just do it. Do you see how it's the same thing? It's just a choice. You're just, it's just a choice. It's not that you're using wisdom because you've learned how you function and what, how you work and how your body and your brain works. It's not that. It's a choice of laziness. And why aren't you just doing it? How can someone just not do it? And I, I find this from people that just haven't interacted with a lot of other people or when they do interact, their opinion of the world is everybody's just lazy. Everybody's just lazier than I am. And if everybody was just as motivated and as cool as me and as elite as me, nobody would have issues, right? But what that really means is they treat the people around them like shit because they don't have empathy and actually understand how other people's brains work and how people perceive and struggle at different things and how some people do really good at math and some people do good at English and some people do it good at singing and some people do good at this. And when you actually start really thinking about all those things and then you say, well, man, could my mom, who's 40, sit down and do js right now and learn minecraft and learn all this i'm 44 i could be your parents in most cases so could your parents with their jobs and all the stuff they're doing and all of the things i have kids i have grandkids all the things they're doing could they right now sit down with you 
with, I'm sorry, not with you, with no help and learn to where you're at and you think that they can do that, no problem. Your dad, your mom, your sisters, your brothers, all your family members, everybody you know could all do that. Or is there one to 10% of them that you think, oh, no way. They probably couldn't do that. That's probably not for them. I know, it sounds goddamn stupid, and oh no, I cannot do it, but if you keep telling yourself you cannot do it, then obviously you won't be able to make it. So now I'm goddamn stupid. Make it. And going off that presumption is just... Ooh, if I, if I would live my if I would live my way like that, I would have a lot of problems. To be fair, when the a API came out, it was also terrifying of use by one scholar as the basics become missing with the, as like a second nature. Yeah, I mean, I never said it was easy. It will always have some depth. No, no, you said it was easy over and over and over and over throughout this. You said it was just as easy as what we have now and the bedrock we have now. There's no harder than that. You said it over and over. Nothing will be easy the first time you learn it. We had people before talking about they uh, struggling uh, to use Bridges Tree Editor. Obviously, if you're new to something. So those people that are struggling to use Tree Editor now have to also struggle to use JSON to do the same things that Tree Editor could have done if they just kept in the component, component group, and events and put that into block items. So they could have learned Tree Editor and that would have worked for all three of them with no extra knowledge or information needed and they would be done and they'd be off creating the things that they wanted to, spending their time in the game and in Blockbench being creators instead of being coders in a code window point exactly thing you're gonna have to learn you're gonna have to struggle you're gonna have to experience and that's not something bad that's something good should require to pass it and get through school um so then to tell me hey we all have to be programmers to do game development it is insane because look at what i'm doing i'm doing it with no programming the again Personally, I would say that doing the JSON stuff is also programming. Like at the point, like JSON itself is obviously not a programming language, right? But at the point where you're managing... Wait, but so he just... Oh, it's not programming and then he's like, Oh, but it can't, I can't say it's programming because it's not programming. Which is it? You say, oh, you're doing programming. Well, it's not really programming. State got their molang and logic inside of json you are programming if you want it or not no i'm developing i'm a game developer that's why you can't get it straight in your brain that's why you keep counterdicting yourself because you think that the only thing the only people that make video games are programmers and that's wrong Programmers make Unreal Engine 5. Game developers take Unreal Engine 5 and make games with it. Some programmers take Unreal Engine 5 and make games too. But there's a subsection of just developers that that's all they do. That's all I want to do. I want to use an IDE to make games. It's a developer. It's so simple. Why do you got to go in these circles with yourself? Oh, it's a it's a program. No, it's not. It can't be a programmer. It's JSON. How can it be a programming JSON? Well, but if you have state and then you start reaching and grabbing, well, you have to have this, this exception and this exception. And if you have this exception, then all of a sudden you're a programmer. So great. I can put on my resume. I'm a programmer. In what language? bedrock i'm a programmer in bedrock or i'm a developer of add-ons in bedrock which one sounds better bedrock game developer i i i can't call myself a programmer it's like calling myself an electrical engineer because i changed the socket on my outlet are you kidding me that's not how it works I'm not certified. I don't have the skills of a programmer to go program in a programming language. I do have the skills to do game development. 
can put fancy things in a game and make them work. 30 years I've been told, you can't do game development, you can't make stuff unless you're a programmer. Well, look, I'm doing it. I've proven them all wrong. I've proven they're all full of shit. You can see it. You've seen it in all my guides. You've seen it in all my content. I'm doing stuff that most people can't dream of, and I'm doing it with no JS, no coding. I'm doing it all in bridge, and I'm doing it all in stable. That's great, but why do we, why do we have to shoot against people that are just trying to co uh, just trying to live their lives with their code with their because what you're trying to do took away what we've been promised for all these years and put it in a silo completely somewhere else that's why because it affected all of us what the one percent minority or whatever it is the very small percent it's not one percent it's zero point zero 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 one percent of the people that wanted more are affecting everybody else the people that just wanted what we promised are trying not to affect anybody we just want what we were promised we just want blocks to work properly and items to work properly just like they should in a normal game engine that's it. We're not asking to affect everybody else. We're just asking for the basics to work properly. You guys are the ones that are affecting all of us and have been for quite a while now with this dripping of crap and the constant telling us that we got to learn JS. I have never once asked anybody that's told me you got to learn JS. I didn't go out and ask them, should I learn JS? No. They all tell me because it's a cult. You've got to learn JS. It's the programmer cult, just like they always are. It's not showing your work. It's if you're not like us, you're not wanted here. If you're not like us, you're lazy. If you don't do it, it's easy. Come on, it's easy. I mean, you could say it's peer pressure even. Like, it's really weird. Uh, solutions, right? With their uh, ways of solving problems. Again, if you are comfortable with the tool, that's fine. But you cannot just say only because the tools are necessary for you, Microsoft just, should just listen for you. No, there are some things that people want. Something, something that you cannot do with the tools that are currently there. So I think there is... How would you know? You haven't even gotten through all the stuff that I can do. You haven't gone through all the stuff the game the game engine can do as is. You're just assuming that you know. But in a lot of cases, as you point out stuff, it seems like you're just in a, uninformed of all the things you can do. And once again, I'm the one making all the guides you guys are learning from. So please tell me that I'm the one uninformed about what Bedrock can do. Show me someone else that has more guides, more advanced concepts, and more stuff that's been shown of how to do things. And yet, you're going to tell me that I'm uninformed on what can be done and what can't be done? Huh. Seems odd when the shoe's on the other foot that you have less knowledge overall of Bedrock, and yet you're telling me that I don't know what could be done or not. I don't think you guys know what can be done. Most people I see are only doing 4 or 5%, if that, of what Bedrock can do before JS was even in, put in. And yet you're telling me that, oh, I want to do more. Oh, oh. Once again, I think that the more people want to do is stuff that Java does that they should be doing there. Or they saw it in Java, now they want to bring it in here. I, I just, I'm not convinced that those things are great for Bedrock. Like Prox Voice Chat. How is that not a huge TOS issue when chat's supposed to be monitored? How is that not just going to get taken down? At like a right for those tools to exist and only because you don't need them doesn't mean that uh, doesn't mean that others do not so 
why would I waste my time learning JS, for one? Why would I do something that I know that I'm set up to fail at because my brain isn't built for it? No, the, because your brain keeps telling you that you are the problem for it. Um, That's the real issue here. That doesn't seem logical. And for everybody else that doesn't understand how people's brains work and how different we are, to keep telling us, you've got to learn JS, you've got to do JS, you've got to learn JS, you've got to do da, 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 da. you're stupid if you don't learn JS. JS is so easy. It's so easy. Just do it. Those people make me feel stupid and like a moron. I feel like this is this has got to be like some kind of rage bait, right? I mean, look, you ask for a thing on how, and how you can accomplish that thing. You got an answer. Hey, you probably need to use a scripting API doing this and this. You said, I don't want to do it. Then what do you expect people to say? Oh, no, this is, I, I feel like this whole video is just massively rage bait. Like, we're not forcing you to do stuff. But when you come there and ask, hey, wait, but but you are. See, the problem is, is if we got those features and those features that were promised to us before JS was even a thing, then yeah, we would say, hey, no big deal. Like no cost being paid. You guys are getting a new system. We got all of the things that we've been waiting on that we need to interact with blocks or customers are asking for. But instead, that's not how it's gone down, is it? We have lost full item and block control for you guys to gain more. And that more still hasn't solved all of those block issues and all those other things and isn't even doable in marketplace yet or is just now being doable or whatever. I don't know what the marketplace rules on JS. Um, so you, there is something affecting us. We're the ones saying we don't want to affect other people. You're the ones affecting us. We're just doing our thing. I haven't changed in five years. I've been doing the same thing. You guys change. Mojang changed the tracks. And then the stuff that we've been waiting on has just been pulled out from underneath us and moved into a different silo. And then we're told that if we say anything or object or don't want to go learn how to use that silo, we're stupid. Or we're claiming that you don't deserve to have these things or whatever. No, no. We're saying we should both have them. Okay. And I'm saying, personally, I don't think JS is a good move for Bedrock because I think it comes at the cost of those creators, those new creators, that I think a percentage of them will be pushed away and won't come into the industry because of it. How do I do that? And people say to you, oh, you hate your scripting API. And you say, no, I hate scripting. I can't do that. What do you think you're going to do? And making you sad uh, or like making you not feel intelligent a little bit of imposter syndrome right just that's a real thing that is a real problem that also us programmer scripters see uh, imposter syndrome is something that everyone experiences okay um being able to or thinking that you're um not good enough thinking that like you cannot do anything thinking that you're in the wrong place even us scripters experience that and well you just need to reflect on what you've already done what you can do and, I don't know, maybe then you can beat your imposter syndrome. He doesn't know the word passion. I'm sure I, I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does the word passion. But it's just, he aims it at a different thing, right? Like, look at what he has created. I bet there is some kind of passion in that. But you should also ha leave room for, like, scripting to have passion, right? If, if, if you want to do something, you, you can also put a little bit of passion into scripting. If you really want to do that. Anyway, let's continue. Now, look at everything I've made and created. Do you think I'm a stupid moron? Again. No. That's not my point. But the people that only believe JSON, JS, JSON programming, coding is the answer make the rest of us which is like 80 percent of the community it's funny because at the same time he says that like um 
the community is eighty uh, percent that doesn't script, right? He's saying that eighty percent of the community that doesn't script is being offended. By the same time, he's saying that there is a very high velocity, like for scripting, that many people script, which is weird. Like uh, that, that doesn't go kind of in. The, the fact is, most of the people, the majority of the people, have tried scripting and are maybe or, uh, using it. The the majority is not the uh, people that use blocks anymore. Yes. Uh, a couple of years ago, one or two years ago, script uh, scripting used to be a toy, okay? It used to be, oh, you, you do scripting, that's interesting. But no, it's like, yeah, oh, you do scripting, me too. Like, it's way bigger than you think. And, I don't know, I feel like you need to be aware of that. Feel stupid. We are not purposefully trying to make him stupid, right? I mean, if, again, if he asks for how, hey, how, how, how can I do that and that? We, we say well, scripting, and he says, I don't want to learn scripting, then... What are we supposed to do? If, if, if it's gonna make him feel stupid, then well, I don't know. Is, is it our fault? They keep. I, th I think like that's kind of a brain issue. Okay, I'm sorry, but like kind of brain issue. Telling us to climb a ladder, but we're fish. Now you might be a monkey. You might be something that can climb that ladder, and good for you. But yeah, I get that. Like that. The that technology is always uh, used off. Often in like uh, school and stuff, quite funny. We just sat here, um, but it's not like he's a fish. Like, what? Okay, one one to one from from me to Outer Cloud or Outla Outland. Uh, sorry, Outer Cloud, Outer Cloud. That's a completely different person. From one to one from me to Outlandish Craft. Okay, I am saying this. I'm making this video because I do think that you can do it. I see the stuff that you make, and hey, even if you want to deny it. Even if you're in big denial, I do see that you are able to make it. Why? Because you made similar stuff back then. And so do you see this this loop he's in? He can't get out of this concept that anybody is different than he is. Even when he agrees the, the analogy is good, because I've made other things that are so amazing, he can't see the difference between visual things I've created where I can just do a drop down versus learning JSON or JS and, and building that out and putting that together. He can't connect that there's a difference between the visual things that he's seeing that are really cool and all of these things and then the thing that I've just spent a ton of time toggling. He can't believe that someone could just toggle things until they work it just can't process that that's possible for for someone to be able to do all these things they have to have understanding of how json and how all of this works and they have to be able to do more than that. They can't possibly just toggle things in a program until it gives them what they want. That's not in the world view of possibility, it seems. Oh, like you, you, you make similar stuff right now. And I'm not here saying that you are supposed to use it if you're comfortable with using other tools and stuff. But like, come on, there is obviously a wider range of the community and it's just got to be accepted. Example of something the scripting is useful is bypassing the limit. So this is an interesting standpoint. Because there's a lot of us, you have to accept it now. What? So I'm a minority, and because I'm a minority now, I have to just accept it. He, he just got through done saying, it's okay, I don't care what you do. If you're fine with it, then here. But we're the minor, or we're the majority now, so you just have to accept it because you're the minority. Jason, of, uh, Jason uh, like an example, being able to attach uh, use to items and item law, which can't be done, Jason. Yeah, there are just some things that you can only do in scripting API. And some people need to use... You can't put item lore. You can put item lore in trade. Trade tables. That's how we've been doing it for many years. The scripting API. Maybe not you, and that's fine. You can continue doing your stuff. But 
Make but it, not not at the cost of blocks and items and the other stuff that we aren't going to get now because you guys can do more. What more? We just looked at the showcase. I mean, a few things. Anything that really allowed us or solved the problems our customers are asking for right now? No. There is a feature that is only possible if scripting API. And if we tell you that it's only possible if scripting API. Well, Dino Man can deny it all you want, but uh, that won't help you here. But for you to tell the fish in the water swimming around having a good time that they're stupid and they're morons and it's easy and they should just be able to do it, why can't you as a fish climb this ladder? It shows. Again, I do not think that he has the inability to learn code. Like, I, I look at the stuff that he made and I see. Yeah, he probably could. Do you, do you see the loop? Now it's probably, though. But you see the loop? He can't believe that because he's made X, he's unable to do this. I just can't fathom that someone could do all of this and not have these abilities. Isn't that interesting? And In all of existence... Seven billion people on the planet of all kinds, all over the place, all kinds of brains, some brain damage, some on pretty heavy drugs because they're pretty sick every day and they deal with lots of pain. And all of those people, none of them could just toggle those buttons, not understanding all of that other crap, and come up with this amazing stuff. Now, if someone could do that, wouldn't that be pretty special? And telling them that they're stupid because they don't do something that you do, uh, wouldn't that be really sad? To do coding, if he, he probably could code if he wanted to. But let's assume that's like actually the case, that, he, that there's like no way for him to learn scripting, right? Then why... Would that be our problem? Why is it... Hold up, guys. I don't think I said it was your problem. I I clearly say why I'm no code. I'm. I'm. And why I think JS is wrong for Bedrock. Why I think JS is wrong for Bedrock. Because it comes at the cost of of the young and the entry level people and the people are just starting out and maybe the old maybe it's my mom wants to start out and and try to do this stuff i don't think that i think that this and the level of entry and all the stuff we've talked about that he's admitted himself that people are struggling with just using bridge and form view and yet now they're being told and asked to do js as well, on top of learning all the other stuff they had to, no percentage of them are, would have quit or backed out or not kept going. None of them would have got busy with something else. None of them would have not been able to see enough success in the first few hours and just moved on. Or the jobs we're losing in Marketplace because they're going to go to professionals instead of entry entities. Um, I'm not sure what that has to do with you even I, I i'm just saying i don't think that adding this when there's so much of bedrock that you don't even know how to do and haven't even learned yet in what we have um to be asking for this and asking for more just kind of seems irresponsible for what we already have and aren't using properly and fully um, at the cost of other creators, you know. I think the most important thing about Bedrock is how it's brought these creators up and those creators have built Bedrock. I think that's the most important thing we should protect and not sacrifice for anything. Um, well, I got the fly trapped, I think. I could hear the fly <laughs> in that one. That was crazy. Did you guys hear that? I heard nice. the fly flying yeah. around. Um, if you can do it, why should everyone else like suffer from you not being able to code, right? Why shouldn't the scripting API exist anymore only because you cannot grasp the concepts of it? 
I know it's kind of weird to understand, but the world doesn't evolve around. Uh, and once again, I, I'm not. If. If you guys didn't tell people when they walked in the door in the discords that they need to learn JS and you let them slowly generate in and work on these things and get in and, and get the basics down and, and we got the custom blocks and custom items and all of that stuff and component and component group and events like we've been you know, told we were going to get, and it all just flowed really well, and the features worked, and, and then they gave you JS? Sure. But it came at the cost. You guys got JS at the cost of us not getting all these other things, and then no other big things happening for quite a while, because all the efforts are going into you guys getting JS and an API. So, you guys keep acting like we, I'm affecting you. You've been affecting me for years with the JS bullshit. This is taking up so much manpower inside Mojang that the whole community isn't getting more stuff. We could be getting a lot more content, but JS is taking up a ton of the bandwidth. They've even told us there's not enough bandwidth for both because JS is taking it up. So we're the ones that haven't changed that are being affected by you guys demanding more, and it's not even you guys, it's the partners, because I don't think they're listening to you guys that aren't bringing them money. It's the people bringing them money and them trying to solve the cost of needing scripting in the back end to have less employees and staff checking and working on stuff. Uh, just just the concept of needing to script out, testing it add-on on all of the devices that Bedrock supports, it, it has to be scripted. And the only way they're going to get that is by pushing more of this stuff on us. What game test was supposed to be and got converted into this? So, the same thing. Like, you're ignoring the past and the reality that we were told these things that failed. And then they get converted from something else and then into something else. And you're saying that we're the one, I'm the one, trying to affect you? What? I've been here for five years every day doing the same thing, working on the same add-ons and the same products. It's your guys' changes that are affecting us. We're the ones losing out so that you can get more when you're not even using the whole product and what's here now. Around one person. Lobby said a loot table, but scripting APS work on the Yes, there are some funny solutions to settle, but there are also... There are also things that you can only do in scripting MP. I, I know I know where you're getting with this. It's okay. I do get where, you, where you're trying to get with that. Was that you're ignorant that we're different? I think he has just uh, gotten a bad impression from the other scriptors, which is like, uh, just, yes, yes. I think he got annoyed with it, and now he wants to not learn it anymore. I also uh, experienced something like that very similar when like my friends um, tell me something about how great a game is, right? Maybe I considered playing that game before, but now because everyone's telling about it, I don't feel like playing that game anymore. In fact, um, Minecraft, right? I used to hate Minecraft. I'm not being a hipster about JS. I, I really, if you guys want to do JS and it doesn't affect us, fine. If you want to do JS and you're not telling entry-level people that they have to learn JS the first time they come into the Discord, then fine. If you want to learn JS and use JS and not tell us we're stupid and that we need to learn JS constantly, even though it doesn't solve any problems, you know how many times, oh my gosh, I get asked constantly, why aren't you learning JS, Cyberx? Why aren't you learning? That's why I'm doing this guide as well. That was part of the point. Why aren't you doing JS? It's so amazing. It's like they're passing Kool-Aid around. I What? I'm fine where I'm at. Why do I need to drink the Kool-Aid? Why is it, why does everybody care if I'm doing it? See, that's the problem. Is it's not something where you cannot do JS. If you're not doing JS, and God forbid you say I'm not doing JS when people ask you to help them with it, then everybody is like, "Why aren't you doing JS?" Did I ask everybody to do it? No, I just simply informed someone, "Hey, no, I'm not doing that." 
don't ask me those questions. I put it in my tag because I can't do the diag for it. So people are DMing me about JS stuff. I don't want to do it. I'm not doing it. I am not able to do it. And so getting all these help requests doesn't help. So I said, I'm not doing JS. And then, oh, still to this day, I, I get questions. Why are you doing JS, Cyberx? This is why I'm not doing JS because I don't want to. I, I don't want to be a hipster. I, I, it's not part of my brain. I'm doing Minecraft. I'm doing development every day. I'm making all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm making things that most people hate. It, it, you really think that my problem is is, I, I, I that's I. It's just it's so weird. I want to wake up sit down on the computer, have an empty brain with nothing in it. I want to create things in the game, and then I want to close the game, and I want to go work my other jobs and do other things. At no point do I want to have to think about JSON syntax or JSON or any of the bullshit that goes with it or what versions it's on or what it's doing. I want 100% of my thought to be going into creating stuff in the game. And I don't feel like JS is what I need to do that. So my choice is I'm no code, using bridge, no JSON, I'm using bridge, no JS, and I'm happy doing it. And I don't think that it's a good place to add into Bedrock. I think it's a great place to add into Java Minecraft. Um, I think that's pretty evident, self-evident. Other than population, the only thing that you could tell me is, well, Bedrock has so many people in it. Yeah, because you guys won't go make cool stuff in Java. Because it's too hard. You literally said, because it's too hard. Well, if you just had enough desire, and you really wanted it, and you really wanted Java and build a community over there, you would do it. Wouldn't you? That's what you're telling me. When I was in kindergarten, uh, kindergarten, like in first grade or something like that. Why? Because I didn't try it. I was like, oh my god, everyone's talking about it. Please stop annoying me. And guess what? Now I'm sitting here doing Minecraft every day. It's crazy how things change when you view them from a different perspective. Right. I'm a fish. You're a monkey. Okay. So then he goes back to a first grade story of not liking Minecraft. Sure. Um... First grade for me would have been um I don't know, like five years or something before the first Windows was released. Like I've lived through all of that. All of all of Windows, DOS, NT, all of those changes, all of those ups and downs. And you're telling me that I just, I just don't want to embrace change. I just don't want to embrace JS. I just, it's just because it's so popular right now and everybody likes it. It, it's just, it's just, come on. Come on, just give in to that peer pressure. Just do it. It's so easy. It, he, you hear how it sounds when I say it back to you? Like it's a cult and like it's Kool-Aid drinking? I, <laughs> I, like, I know that it's hard for you guys to understand this because you're not, you just haven't been through a lot of this, but I know what I know because I live it every day. I'm not making it up. I'm not joking around. I have lots of money on the line. I have a mortgage. I have food to eat. I have a business to run. I have people that rely on me. I have a I have daughter. I have grandchildren. I'm not I'm not just here saying stuff because I'm a hipster and because I I I I just am lazy and don't want to learn GS. Are you fucking kidding me?
telling me as a fish to climb a ladder or swing a branch makes me feel stupid. How about you come swim in the water for 30 minutes and see how you do when you drown, you motherfucker? <laughs> it, see the problem? Uh. Like, it, the small, minute people programmers have this elitism that they're better than everybody else. Yep, and, and that, that it, I, I don't think that it's... Uh, that, that elitism is just... I think it's really just that making him not want to do it. Like, I don't think it's anything else. I think it's just us being annoying. I'm gonna be honest. I think he's just so annoyed that he isn't even willing to try it. Like, he isn't even willing to try the ladder, okay? Like, he is a fish. You guys know that bouncy do you, fish? Do you, see, do you see how far they're willing to go for the lunch? Okay, we'll agree you're a fish. <laughs> but, come on! Just try the ladder. What's the worst that could happen? You know what the worst that could happen? The monkey eats you. It's a trap. Fish don't climb ladders unless it's a salmon ladder and it's in the water. The monkey wants you to jump up on the ladder because he wants to eat your ass. It's like the most insane logic. Okay, I got it. I, I get you. Okay, you have that. You you are able to do it. But it's just because you don't want to try. You just haven't tried hard enough. She's the, that like, can bounce off the water, right? They're like fish that like can bounce really high highs, right? And he's like that one fish that can bounce and could theoretically bounce on top of the ladder, but he's just never trying it out. So that's why he's stuck in the waters. If you don't learn programming, you're he's not even flying. said it. That one fish, that he's his his sample size is of all the fish in the sea, in the, in the rivers, and the lakes, in all of the lands of all of history. There was this one kind of fish. This one kind of fish could jump up and it could get on a ladder. I've never seen that fish. But it's out there somewhere. You know there's blind fish too that live in caves? Yeah. There's all kinds of fish. But to say that you acknowledge I'm a fish, but there's this one kind of fish that can do it, so you should be able to do it, and all other fish should be able to do it. Are you hearing yourself? You literally lack the ability to see the world for more than if I can do it, you can do it. That doesn't make sense. There's stuff I can do that you can't do. There's stuff you can do I can't do. It, there's stuff that people in the NFL can do I can't do. It, we're all different. That's okay. We don't all need to be the same. The fact that you can't accept that and allow that within your worldview is crazy to the point where you're able to justify that, okay, a fish can't do this, but this one special fish somewhere in existence of history that I heard about here on this thing, it does exist, I swear. We've seen pictures of it. I know it exists. No, trust me. But it could do this. And it jumps up on this ladder and it does this thing. And and so you, you do that. So, I, I, huh? That's how far you're willing to go to justify versus, hey, I have a different brain than you and we learn differently. Like, really? No one in your family you know learns different than you. No one in your family thinks different than you. You don't have a sister in your family that thinks different than you. You don't have a mom that thinks different than you. They all think just like all of them can sit down and do all these things just like you can. None of them would have problems with this. What? Huh? Fish, I think, right? And I've dealt with that my whole life, and it's disgusting. And we see it in this community a lot. Just learn JSON. It's so easy. Just learn JS. It's so easy. TypeScript. TypeScript. So easy. Why are you complaining? I hate We're complaining. Because... Uh, our, our friends here, the real bros use JS stock, guys. Re re real bros use JS stock. <laughs> no, dog. I'm, I'm obviously just joking. Because our brains don't work that way. And it... But. Did you see that even within TypeScript and JS, there's disagreements on the elitism? 
and you say, oh, he's just making a joke. Oh, all right. Put it in, put it in a chat. Which is better, TypeScript or uh, JS? But it, it, it's like I said, I grew up with these people. We've had countless Christmas arguments about this stuff. This is this is not my first rodeo. And it's a struggle for us, and it's setting us up for failure. And you don't seem to care. I mean, he isn't even trying. Look, my problem is that he isn't even trying because someone told him that he's not supposed to try. Like that. So someone told me I'm not supposed to try when I was a kid, and so I'm not trying. Once again, a 300 video guides. I've tried all of these things. Uh, I, it, it's infuriating to have people after I just told them I've tried for 30 plus years, 36 years, starting in the 80s, in programming languages they've never heard of, right? They've never heard of TI Basic. They have no concept of what it is. And yet they're telling me that even though I've gone through all of these experiences and all of these things, that I haven't tried enough. What level of trying would satisfy you? Do I need to record myself for a week solid just doing it? And then two weeks later when I can't remember any of it? Would that be enough to prove to you that I, I have this problem? I have multiple times in the video you're watching, can't even remember the name of simple things in the game that I develop in every day, and I can't even remember the names of them, like materials. And you're telling me that if I just tried harder, that... All of my experiences in my life would be different. You have to have a real pair of balls, like a real big pair of balls to tell somebody that 36 years of their experience in life doing this, thousands of projects and tons of programs you've never heard of and all these different things um, is just full of shit and he's just not trying hard enough and if he just tried hard enough it's it's not his life experience he should listen to it's me a stranger that knows nothing about him or how brains work obviously um and he just needs to try harder he just needs to put that old college effort in that's all it needs that's just it just seems weird to me as a flying fish you haven't even tried to climb the ladder or maybe jump over the ladder. Find different solutions to fix your problem. It's getting more annoying. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, uh, it's called rage bait, yeah? Oh, shit! I just spilled something over my keyboard. Okay, guys, um, it, it wasn't a lot, so I can just clean it with... Okay, I, I can still play the video. I get that a lot, too. It's rage bait. I... I don't... It's rage bait because I don't want to be treated like I'm stupid because I'm not like you. It's rage bait because I'm trying to give my opinion in something that I see that's a problem in the community that's affecting me. Somewhere I work and run a business and, and am part of every day. How is that rage bait? I genuinely and many other people have commented, it feels stupid when people continuously don't accept me for who I am. I'm telling you, I'm pleading with you, please listen to my life experiences. And you're telling me I'm wrong and I just don't know what I'm talking about. And I'm just a negative Nancy and I just am not trying hard enough because someone told me when I was a kid during a test that I had this issue. Not 36 years of living that raising a child that's 26 and has her own children raising my grandchildren helping thousands of people with it all the time like i'm on call right now so i'm doing all those things i have all these life experiences but they know better because they were able to do it. To see the elitism and how lacking of empathy 
and putting yourself in someone else's shoes that is and how willing they are to just get rid of and and dismiss all of my life experience for this one little world view and this one little small use case that's why we're complaining in my opinion that's an abusive relationship um but i've stopped complaining and saying anything because the mob that is this community is so toxic that if you speak out and say anything yeah, all of a sudden you hate my, uh, mojang and you hate all their staff and you're an evil bigot and you're trying to bash them and you're harassing them um i didn't... to be fair you, you, you did just say like 10 minutes ago that like mojang is corrupt and trying to uh like raise the bars for like a marketplace creator so they don't get in the pro but why is that that's not corruption that's profitability for their stakeholders their stockholders they have a legal responsibility for profitability because they're owned by stockholders. It's not corruption. I didn't say they were corrupt. You said they were corrupt. I said that they're deliberately trying to raise the bar because that's good for business. It's where the money is. Program. So, I mean, hey, you're literally doing that. I'm sorry, man. I'm literally not. I literally am saying that they're making the best choice for their shareholders for profitability. System. I've been here. You guys came in and you guys changed it from underneath us. You didn't ask. You didn't get the community involved. You of failed course did. at what you were doing. No, you most of the people wanted scripting. No. Uh, remember, it started as the testing platform and then it changed over to scripting. The community wasn't sitting there saying, change it to scripting, change it to scripting. No, they failed at what they were doing. They've said it multiple times. He simply needs uh, help getting out of your comfort zone and helps him understand and uh, be patient uh, with him. And uh... Yeah, so it's just, I need someone to hold my hand. I'm a 44 year old man that has a family and has run, I'm running seven businesses right now. I, I'm consulting for internationally traded companies. And my problem is I need someone to hold my hand. So I, I'm just, just in a comfort, it's just a comfort zone issue. That's all it is. He also needs to stop letting others put limitations on him. That's great. That's, that's, that's a really great statement. Okay. And I'm putting, letting others put limitations on me. No. I, through my experience and putting limitations on myself, because I want to set myself up for experience or for uh, success. That's called wisdom. Looking at your life, your successes and failures, your struggles and where you're good at and where you're not good at, your skills and your weaknesses, and then positioning yourself in the best position for that. Statement. And, um, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Scripting is a gift. Exactly. Like, the scripting API only advanced because we as a community wanted to. If we didn't want scripting API to become a thing, there would be still game test today. No, that's not true. The game test was a failure in most cases and converted into JS. We know that the whole thing was from the marketplace. Like, if you think that game test came from the community you just you said yourself you're not part of marketplace and you you're not even you don't know much about it and yet you're making statements like you know what's going on when you're not even part of the entire industry you're in the one indie place of it you're not even seeing what's happening in marketplace or what's going on behind the scenes or the communications happening. And yet you're making these statements and calling me wrong when I have been in those places and I have been in those conversations and I am doing those things. So it seems back to that elitism because we started off with the no code and I don't want to do JS, all of a sudden now you think that I don't know what I'm talking about with marketplace and what's going on and how these things happen. You think that game test, game test. Why would the community need a game test? The game test was needed for marketplace to test the games we were making so that they could go out to market faster because the review process for some of my games was four months and the com the partners continued to complain that we needed a faster 
game test scripting system. So we could game test on all the different devices being supported and get a good idea of their performance and bugs beforehand. I was there. I was also in Blockbench and Bedrock Add-in doing support. And I did not see the community saying, we want game test. I did not see people saying, we want JS or scripting. I did not see that. What I did see is people saying, we want custom blocks and RTX to work correctly. We want custom items to work correctly. I did see that. I still see it. For, for like marketplace developers, they wanted to test if their add-on works or not. But no, we used game test and made it scripting API. You told us we would have. You failed. And then you pivoted to something else completely different than what you promised and what you had said you were going to do. And then you wonder why we're upset. And the I'm community, You're the 10%ers, the, the cultists jump behind you and say, oh, it's so easy. We all got to be programmers. But most of them are already in coding classes or in college. Okay, to be fair though, uh, my poll, right? Uh, it's it's a bit more updated. It now has 30 votes. Did uh, you had previous experience with uh, JavaScript when starting to write microfedric script scripts? 62. Do you see that? Um, he argued with me throughout most of the video, and now once again, his own community live has proven him wrong. This isn't the first time, multiple times through this. His own community has said, no, this is hard. It took us a lot to get to learn this. And yet he just spent all this time saying, no, no, this is super easy. This is really easy. Percent excluding me uh, voted yes, or like I, I'm on the no side. So that means, yes, I guess people had experience with JavaScript uh, before, like um, writing scripting API, but that surely doesn't mean that you cannot be the, uh, those 30% who can, um, you know, do it without scripting or like without having. So then, so then he, he pivots and justifies and says, well, surely that means this percent was fine, even though he is wrong. No, the majority by a large amount that have jumped behind and jump into this have experience. That's why they jumped in and they're happy. Of course they're happy. They're getting what they already know. It's great. Having prior knowledge, right? Right. You can definitely start coding without knowledge. And no, you don't don't need to watch a ten hour JavaScript tutorial. I didn't do it. I just sat there, looked at examples, tried out. Once again, because he didn't do it, there can't possibly be any other worldview that's that's out there. There just can't possibly be and ignoring all of the brain science we have and all the brain studies and how different we all are and how many different personality types there are and how all these things control, there none of that can be part of this conversation because he was able to do it. Now, I have 80,000 help posts just in Blockbench and another 20,000 in add-on add -on whatever. I do help every day. And you don't think that I have a better sample size with 100,000 help posts over five years than your one sample of yourself that you keep returning to. Well, I didn't have this issue. Well, Every day, people come into the chat having it, that issue. Every day, HCF affects people. Up until now, well, we're going to see a big, because it's getting pulled. So we're going to see the last of them every day. But you, you one, you one that just sat there and learned it. If you can do it, everybody can do it. Once again, over and over, I've just been talking about the 10 to 20% minority that I'm trying to protect and call out and say, hey, this really is what made Bedrock special. We should protect it. That's who I'm trying to protect. You're trying to f protect the 62% that are saying, oh, we already knew it. This is great. Add it in. Let's do it. Let's do more at any cost without thinking about any of this other stuff. And when I bring up all this other stuff, your only statement that's acceptable is, I'm just lazy. I'm just ignorant. 
or I just haven't tried hard enough because you did it and it was easy for you. Yet at every stage to the video, it, my own stuff has proven you wrong as we've gone through the video and you've keep bouncing around. And find, found out. Just think of how advanced Java is because of being able to utilize the game's code and manipulate it. Yeah, I mean, working uh, closer to the game code is always good. I mean, yes, um, obviously, you might tend to want to have an ab abstraction, right? But that's what's good about coding. You make basically your own abstraction. You can make the thing that makes it very comfortable for you to use. Like, yeah. That's what uh, I'm trying to say. Doing it. They're not a 10-year-old kid. They're not a 40-year-old guy. What? They're not even in the ballpark of the demo. So what... It doesn't make sense to good thing is for say, day. well, for this 10%, we're going to dump the rest of the community and force it's everybody to step up to jail. It's not 10%. You can do more. Everybody has to go learn a backhoe. Everybody has to know how to maintain the backhoe. You don't have everybody to. has to be able you to can, diag it. You just... can continue using the old systems. And yes. The, you can't for blocks and items. You aren't going to be able to use any of those systems. They do. They did remove like some events and stuff, right? But that was more because of separation of concerns thing. You have logic in one part of the thing. No. And... No. It, that was, oh, that's complete bullshit. You can go look in the chat and see that they said it was a bandwidth issue. I asked the question and they responded. Uh, that was it called definition, definition or like, yeah, like the structure in the other code. Like kind of like HTML being one file and JavaScript being one file, right? Separation of concerns. It's bullshit. It's questionable. But I see the reason why Microsoft would want to do that. Okay. And no, it's definitely not to harm the community, okay? Uh, I mean, it is kind of weird, if you think about it, in the fight. So he he's going in circles. It's not, oh, well, it is kind of, okay, well, it's like the more he thinks about what I'm saying. He starts off instantly with, and it, this keeps happening, this is, this is interesting. He starts off instantly with, I can't possibly agree with you because yeah, that's the mood of the video right now on the, the live stream. No, this is wrong. Oh, well... You know, client, okay, yeah, that kind of is, oh, that kind of, that, that kind of, um, it, 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 it's just a circular, oh, yeah, well, I agree that was kind of odd, or I, but they're not doing that deliberately. They are a company that has a legal responsibility for profit to their shareholders. That's the number one goal. They have to make money. They have to take care of the shareholders. That's number one. And they've talked about that in multiple videos, Xbox, the all of those guys. That's why they've been laying off people. That's why they've been closing studios. Is so that Xbox and Microsoft and the studios that are there are healthy. Their own words. So their focus is money and sales from their own words. Their focus is not you. It's not features. It's costs. That way you say how the item is supposed to be named, right? Also on what the item is supposed to do. If you like think about it, it is kind of weird. But separation of concerns is a big lie. And uh, maybe they shouldn't have removed the uh, features, right? His own community is saying that that's a lie in the chat. The, the, the events from items and blocks, you could argue about that. Many people uh, love to use them. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. I had no experience with JavaScript or TypeScript. I, I just looked at examples and common things and uh, began experimenting from there. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. That's exactly how, what I did. Uh, that Those are apparently the 30%. And guess what? Anyone could be those 30% to dig a hole now no more shovels you got to learn the backhoe and if you can't learn the backhoe as a 10 year old again you need to advance with the system okay you cannot just expect everything to be the same you need to so we're not he just did a loop again we're not telling you that you have to change you can stay where you're at but now he's saying oh you got to advance with the system you got to advance with the system which is it i can stay where i'm at or i got to advance with the system need to move along with the system. Not everything's just going to be the same, okay? Things are going to change. It's tough. I get it. Then bedrock isn't... 
So now you get it and you agree with my frustration, but just shortly ago, you didn't agree with my frustration and I was being completely unreasonable. The place for you and you're not welcome here, is what I hear. Um, when they say, JS is so easy, just do it, just learn it, just learn JSON. Just learn. Rage bait again, I think. Again, I do think that we're kind of annoying. But like, I, I mean, if you're asking for something, um, people answer you. So once again, he calls it rage bait, but then says, yeah, I kind of think that we're annoying. I... But you were supposed to do it that way. I don't know, man. Why can't you? It, it's a sandbox. It's not supposed to be that you're supposed to do it that way. It, that's the point of a sandbox. We're doing game dev. We're developing out solutions. So when I'm saying, hey... We'd like to make a block you can sit on, and they took away our ability to have events and sensors inside the block. Uh, how do we do this with JS? And they say, oh, it, you can't do that without compo custom components, or you can't do that yet. Well, that uh, That's them saying it. What, what do you want me to do? I, I just want to sit on a block sit on a block chair that's what i want to do i was told i'd be able to do that with a block a custom block and that hasn't been true that was true in xp and then was taken away so now we still don't seem to be able to do it uh see the problem why are you upset about that Yes. Well, I haven't learned JSON, so how the hell am I going to learn? You have learned JSON. Uh, you did learn JSON with like your JSON tree thingy. That is literally JSON. No, it's not literally JSON. You've even said yourself, it's a visual editor. Oh, it's kind of like programming. Oh, it's kind of like coding. Oh, it's, well, it's really just a forms and lists. It, it's not JSON. I'm not programming. I can't put that on my resume. I, I can't emphasize this enough. It is 100% JSON. JSON trees. It's just modifying JSON. Wait, so now it's JSON trees. Even though it's bridge that's creating all that interface, it has nothing to do with JSON trees. JSON trees isn't a concept, right? Um, let's go look and see. Is JSON trees a concept? JSON scheme for tree structures. So maybe bridge is using... This cheat, I, I mean, using this tree structure, I doubt it though. I mean, oh, well, 2018, I mean, that's about maybe I, okay. I see, I don't know any of that. All I'm doing is using a program, and eh, that's not called program. You might not know the exact vocabulary, okay? But I bet people that are both coming in the industry don't even know the vocabulary, vocabulary as well. Like, you don't know what a key value No. But I'm a developer. I know the vocabulary. I'm a web developer. I'm a game developer. I develop the game. I don't program it. Mojang programs it. Value pairs. You don't know what an object is. You don't know what an array is, right? You don't need to know that. You have a structure in your brain, and you know how to do it. And you probably have your own name for that. And that's not a bad thing. It's completely fine. Learn JS. So you know JSON. You just don't want to admit it, basically. Or maybe you don't know that you know Jason. I haven't been able to. I've tried. It doesn't work for me. I can't remember the syntax. What All right. So here it goes. He has tried it. Um, that was really. I think that was really the first time that we, uh, you know, heard it. Actually, no. If he's talking about like Jason, that he like tried to do Jason at his start of the thingy, and bridge was so much easier. Yes. At the start, something like bridge might seem compelling, but it's about advancing, right? You you can start off with bridge and then move on to like normal Jason stuff and blockception, VS code, whatever. You don't. Wait, do you see that the elitism? Oh, you can start with bridge and then you can move on to the the real programs. You could move on to to VS Code and and, and all and Blockception and all the real stuff because bridge isn't a real program. It's not. It's not. But you keep saying I'm a programmer. You keep saying that I'm doing real JSON. So why do I need to move on to something else if I'm doing a real coding? If I'm really a programmer, then bridge is a programming software. 
And you guys need to stop bad-mouthing Bridge and saying it's making people stupid because you just said it's a programming software. Well, maybe you didn't know that certain tools existed to make the job easier. Like, hey, you had problems with writing pure JSON code, so you use Bridge, which uh, had a tree editor for JSON. You know, that's, things like that also exist for a scripting API. And only because you didn't know that those things existed doesn't mean that now that you're incapable of doing that. You know? Only some of those things exist, and they only exist in some forms. And I haven't seen any that exist in a form like Bridge and does Bridge stuff. Uh, one, I'm not sure you know of the other stuff Bridge does, but maybe. Um, but yeah, I, I'm i not... I, it doesn't matter. I mean, you could wrap it up in a bow. If it's a visual editor, sure. You want to take away all all of the code view you want to wrap it up in a bow and you want to make it all visual and make it really nice that even an eight-year-old starting out for the first time could do that's what i'm fighting for when i try to do it and i try to use it with vs code or specific coding program not bridge my failure rate skyrockets and i spend all that's day good. just diagging code and that's good because that's how you learn and guess what with bridge you also had to fail a lot to get to the point where you're that's not how I learn. That's what I'm trying to tell you how my brain works. I don't learn that way. Instead, what happens is I get frustrated and I just keep failing and I keep failing month after month, year after year. And if you doubt that, I have 2,000 Halo gaming videos to prove it. No one's perfect. No one's going to write perfect code the first try. You have to fail. Versus when I use bridge and I do no code, I have a failure rate of 0 0.1 and I can do all these things and I spend all my day just making wonderful things and I spend none of my day. I mean, I simply don't believe it that he is not making any mistakes uh, while like coding himself or like inaccuracies. I simply don't believe it. How? How can I? Bridge doesn't let me. Everything is a drop down. I'm not typing anything in other than like a family name. And even then it has autocomplete for all the family names and all of my stuff to air correct it all. How could I make mistakes? That's what you don't understand. Once again, you keep coming at me like I don't understand stuff, but you don't seem to understand that Bridge has guardrails to the point where you can't really make those mistakes. It's very difficult. What, you mess up the name of a material? It it's listed in there. I don't even spell it. I just lit, look in the list for it or type a letter and it pops up. I can't mess it up. Why well, I, I misspell the render controller. The render co controller shows up in the list. I misspell the file name. The file name show up in the list. How could I be making mistakes? Once again, you don't believe me when I'm telling you something of my experience and say no because my experience has been different. It can't be that way. But I'm telling you, you agreed at the beginning. I have more experience than you. You see all the guides. You see everything I've done. You see the advanced stuff I'm doing. And then when I say, hey, this works really well for me, you say, oh, it can't. But you're willing to accept all of the information from the guides? Well, that doesn't make any sense. I'm telling you in my own words that this has been my experience not only have I streamed it for months on end that people could watch, I've proven it with video after video after video. I'm, why do you think I'm so productive and can do all this stuff? Because I'm sitting around diagging off my ass all day? No, because I don't have to do any diag. Okay, Jason is JavaScript augmentation. Yep, and actually, <laughs> wait until you find out what Jason stands for. My comment. Isn't it funny? Yeah, doing coding diag. Doesn't that sound like a much better lifestyle? Well, it, for me it is. It, it's, it's only funny if you think I'm doing coding. I'm I'm not doing JSON. I know you can't break that in your brain, but once again, if I'm using Wix to make websites, I'm not doing CSS3 and HTML. I can't put those on my resume. Wix is a visual editor with form view, just like bridges. It's the same thing. You don't say it's they're a web programmer when they're using Wix.
That doesn't make any sense. It, you could, I've made apps. How about that? I've made uh, apps for Android and uh, Apple using only form builders. Does that mean I'm an app programmer? Even though I did no programming and no coding, I just filled out stuff in forms. No, I'm an app developer. Why is that so hard to get through your head? Everything has to be programmer. That's the only thing you see in the world. There's no concept of producers or, or anybody else, a developer, a producer, a project manager. Huh? And so the more Mojang and Microsoft shove coding and raise the bar um, for Bedrock, the less I'm going to do Bedrock. Sorry, I'm trying to avoid the co more comments. Producer was just referring to like the movie industry because it's the same thing. You have a director, you have a producer. They aren't the same people. Producers can direct, directors can produce, but they also can be different people that do just their jobs. You could have a director and you can have a producer. You can have a programmer. You can have a developer. They don't have to do the same things. That's not how the world works. A lot of these people have hundreds of developers. That means they're all programmers? No. They're using pro you know, graphical interfaces to drag stuff around. I would rather go do Unreal Engine 5. If you're going to make me do this complexity and do this type level of stuff, why would I do it in Bedrock? Why? Well, as I said, it's community, the community effort, the other people, the different devices that you can talk to. Wait, the toxic community that doesn't like HD stuff and hates most of my content that I they put out? That that community? Um, the one you agreed yourself was toxic and Elita's that that one? You know, I Bedrock's amazing. And yeah, there is a great community of support and people, but there's also one of the most toxic of all time. Like I saw no hate and no issues when I went on, over to Unreal Engine. I spent eight months over there, left Bedrock because it was so toxic. I was getting so many comments. Target. And hey man, if you want to do something like Unreal Engine, go ahead. I mean, they have blueprints. You, you, you like blueprints? You go ahead, do blueprints. Uh, be, go be a visual programmer. Which, by the way. I, I have. I, I, I make stuff in Unreal Engine 5 as well and 4. You're already doing. I even started with Unreal. What three was around? Dude, this fly is really annoying me. Holy shit. It's attacking me, dude. Nope, didn't got it. Oh well. So yeah, I mean, what is the reason that he's keep doing bedrock? Uh, keep doing bedrock stuff, right? Is it the, the is it this is it is it just bridge that keeps him doing bedrock? <laughs> Please stop being so annoying. And it's also always landing on my skin. Can you just move somewhere else? I hate when flies get to Way that Way harder point. to catch than mosquitoes, I must admit. This is not Java where you can modify the code. This is from Microsoft provided, okay? Microsoft provides us with the API to interact with the game. You're not making your own game, but you're making your game inside the game. It's kind of different, and that's also kind of the art of it. I mean, no one is forcing him to do anything besides he can move to Java and uh, just things like them, uh, like uh, MC Creator. Yeah. Wait, like, they're comparing could... using Bridge to moving to Java and using MC Creator. Are you kidding me? For real? Do visual uh, program in Java as well. I don't have to be Bedrock if that's what he's aiming for. At this point, just bro, at this point, bro, just either playing vanilla or playing another game. My whole point is, I want it to be as easy as possible, and their comment is, "Oh, you could use to go to Java and use MS Create." What MC Create? Are you kidding me? Once again, I started in Java. I I came to Bedrock because it's so easy, and I don't have to think about it. I can just do things, and they just happen. You're telling me you think that can happen in Java? Are you kidding me? It doesn't make any logical sense. The only people that benefit out of adding JS to Bedrock is Mojang and the professional programmers that work. No! How come? From where's that statement? We as a community benefit a lot from JavaScript, from having an abstraction only that isn't a, that cancer. Only at a cost of other things. Like writing POC++ DLL functions, whatever, but still provides us like with a... With a 
okay, an okay set of features. I know many people would uh, want more features from the scripting API. He just went from, oh, this is great. Uh, oh, it, it only, it offers an okay. You know, oh, it's just okay. Uh, but let's just try to make that, right? Let's make Mojang aware of what. So it's okay and we still need to get Mojang to make it better and make what's make it right. Are you kidding me? You just spent an hour telling me how JS is wonderful and ready to go right now and now you're saying, oh, it's good, but it needs, oh, they need to do more on it to make it right. What do you want? <laughs> Versus we could have just gotten HCF to work and released and had custom blocks and custom items just work. Or how about this? I know this is the stupidest idea I've ever had. How about component, component group, and then we put a, an event under it. And and the component groups, you put the components in the co component groups and use the events to turn the component groups on and off. How stupid? Stupid with something, it'd be so simple, it, you just couldn't even fathom. And we'd put that in the entity and in the block and then the item and in the attachable. And then you would have one thing with four different types. And the type would just control what those options are. <gasps> How easy would that be? But instead, we got a... Eh, it's okay. We need to really work with Mojang to, you know, make it right. Are you kidding me? Some commands and uh, make them do that. And by the way, custom. And make them do it. You have to still make Mojang do stuff to get it right. And you're yelling at me and telling me I should adopt something that's just good and still needs Mojang to do stuff to get it right. What are you smoking? Why didn't you say that? I'm like six hours into this. Why didn't you say this six hours ago and I would have just turned you the fuck off right away? What are you kidding me? You've spent all this time saying JS is great and you don't need much to learn it and it can do all this thing. And now you're telling me that, oh, eh, you know, it's good. Um, you know, we really need to, you know, get these things fixed, and really this needs to change, and we really need to make them do this. What? You were sacrificing the new creators. You're telling me I'm stupid. You don't seem to have any empathy for anybody else and how they've lived or went what they've gone through, their experiences, to be able to listen to what people are saying and hear them and put yourself in their shoes. And now you're telling me after all of that, that you think it's just good and it just, it needs more stuff that we just need to have Mojang just do. Huh? Hey, how much Kool-Aid have you drunk? Because you just spent all this time fighting for something and it's just good and it's just, it, it still needs all this stuff done and it cost us all of these problems for years now. All of the HCF people coming in and having their packs destroyed and not worked and all the stuff that has to be done to fix all of that. All of the people's games that aren't functioning and it was all for, well, it's good. And we just need to, you know, have, we just need to force them to do a few more things. What? Commence. You, oh, it's rage bait. It's rage bait. Yeah, I am raging. Are you fucking kidding me? It's good. After all of this fighting you've been doing, after all these comments of, I just need to learn this stuff, it's so easy. I'm doing all of that effort. I'm fighting my nature. All of this struggle I've had, you're overriding all of that. And all I'm going to get out of it is, eh, that's good. Yeah, because anything about that. <laughs> They're not the community. The community would have benefited a lot more from having logical blocks that work just like entities and have. Yes, what? Coding is also just logic. And no, syntax is... I know he, he likes to think... Oh, you're... You're agreeing. 
but it since it's just coding and logic, it doesn't matter where it goes. It, sh it could, well then why not just have it in C plus plus and let's all just learn that. I think that coding is just syntax, but it's, co it's the exact opposite. Coding is just logic. Syntax is something that you can coding look Coding is just logic, logic. Problem solving, that's the thing that you need in the, in the brain, okay? Problem solving having and logic, that components that's all you need. Having a component event component group system, just like we have in entities and everywhere else in Bedrock. That's in a concept. Opinion, that's a concept. At the start of the of the thing, he said uh, something about like concepts, right? Uh, but he doesn't want to learn concepts. Well, you just learned a concept about components, component groups, uh, events, whatever. That's a concept. Guess what? Uh, concepts also exist, exist for scripting and especially JavaScript. Yay, proved that I learned a concept. Yay. It only took, you know, two hours and 35 minutes, but he proved that I was wrong when I said I couldn't learn any concepts. Did I say I couldn't learn any concepts? I don't think I said that. I said I couldn't learn these specific programming concepts for JS. Now, he thinks because I learned, I'm putting quotations around it, uh, command, command group, and events. I learned it, but I was just reading it on the screen when I opened it up. And of course, it's in my brain for a while because I'm doing this every day. But when I found, when I went over to Unreal Engine 5 and started doing stuff over there for eight months, oh, it was all wrong. I had to come back and relearn most of it. Ooh, they will just appear out of nowhere as you go with scripting. So like you have to learn them all one by one before you can do scripting. No, you learn them while you're doing scripting. I wonder you can make these cool things without scripting. Well, yeah, he's very proficient uh, with that thing. And now as his stuff is like getting out of date, right? Mojang's adding new stuff. He obviously gets upset about that. I kind of understand it. Like, kinda... Okay, so after all of the stuff I've said, now I'm upset because the stuff that I'm doing is outdated. Remember. JS just came out to custom components to stable like two weeks ago. It's only been two weeks that we've had them, if that. We can't even use JS in most marketplace stuff. I don't know what the rules are. I, I don't know. If, if we can, it's recent. But yet, I'm upset because my stuff's outdated somehow. They can't do my outdated stuff mind you right they can't they don't they i mean obviously i assume that they can't produce the 300 videos they've done and they know all that stuff and they've they can do it all right so somehow somehow with 80,000 help posts and 300 guide videos doing this for four years, almost every day, I believe JS is a toxic ad to the industry and the ecosystem and the better solution for the ecosystem and the creators. 90% not the 10% coders or programmers or those people that enjoy we are not the 10%. But the 90% that are actually the creators and gamers and people that are out there adding stuff to their game would have been to, to continue on what they were doing that they failed at and put in events and components and component groups back into blocks and back into items where they were. They were working fine. The they failed piece of it sounds more like the programmers didn't want to support it and do it how the game was created. They no, they just want to move on. That's it. They just want to add more features. So moving on doesn't mean keeping what you have he keeps saying oh they're gonna keep what they have that's not moving on that would be bringing in and including in and adding to what we have now moving on would be ditching what we have and moving on to something else and i don't see what's wrong with that they just want to move on with it, and they, maybe they accepted that it was a failure, you know? Maybe maybe they saw that people enjoy script, uh, doing the scripting more than this JSON stuff, because we as a scripting community were very loud. We stated our opinions. We, we, we know that script. So now you're saying because of mob rule, they changed all of this stuff to JS. That That's now where we've gone to. So because the community was so vocal, even though he's not part of Marketplace, it sounds like, and hasn't been involved in any of that or know what anything that's happening behind the scenes with a billion dollar industry, his worldview is the community that brings no money into Mojang is the one controlling things because they were so loud. Scripting is awesome. We, we knew it, okay? Maybe, you know, maybe it was actually the community that wanted this. 
You know, I'm, I'm, it was a crazy theory. And now it's the maybe it's the community that wanted it. Not has nothing to do with all that money. Has nothing to do with all those people at the top of the corporations and at Xbox and Microsoft and all of those project managers and all those people that want their bonuses. Nope. Nothing to do with them. Just this guy and the JS vocal people. They're the ones, they're the real cabal. I really would like uh, Mojang to simply uh, simplify JCUI by making my brain do watching tutorials on it. Um, yeah, it's a really way to learn JCUI, but it always hurts my brain. Again, it's also just concepts that you guys gotta learn. And yes, JCUI is one of the more difficult concepts. Doesn't mean that you guys can't do it. And by the way, all UI will come, right? All UI will be implemented. All UI is just React. Not a I, sorry, I have it playing fast because I have so much more to go. I just want to get through this. But it sounds like the people in his own chat are saying it's hard and they're struggling with it. And he's saying, oh, yeah, I know that's hard. You just got to get through it. Oh, yeah, I struggle with that, too. But you've just said for all this time how easy it is and everybody can do it. But your own the people in your own chat, once again, are contradicting what you're saying and saying, no, it's just, I'm struggling with this, man. I need more guides. Man, sounds like something Cyberax was saying. That we need more support in the community and more guides and more more help to support these people. HTML, JavaScript, uh, CSS, and JavaScript. And guess what? When all you uh, when JCUI is deprecated, what? How is he going to do his JCUI? I think at this point he's just not going to be able to do, be be able to continue doing Minecraft Bedrock stuff. If he really is going with his ideology, right? I'm sorry, but you just gotta adapt. You just gotta adapt. I don't know. They want it to be a so, programmer language. And e so it was, no, you can stay and do what you do. You don't have to change. You don't have to do anything else. And now it's, oh, I'm sorry. You just gotta adapt. See how quick that was? It was only a few minutes. Easy for programmers to maintain and manage. I don't believe that pushing that level of requirement and bar on the community is healthy for the community or healthy for Bedrock. I think it's the bad. Cho it's a bad choice and a bad move for Bedrock. So saying that, that's my opinion of why I believe those were bad choices, how I personally have been affected by the choices and how I think that they have damaged what we are able to do. We're able to do less today um, in the regular system without JS. So without taking that leap into JS, we can do less than we could before. Um, I think that's a major issue that... Um, has been skipped over game test was also something in there they promised that also failed and has now been converted into oh it's full js and we're gonna go do full scripting we're gonna do game test it fail what do i mean game test failed no it became scripting api uh Fully. yeah it failed it, they pivoted other things failed you know game test wasn't what everybody wanted it wasn't enough they needed they they want more out of it who wants more the partners want more it's back to the same thing he doesn't understand what's going on if game test had worked and was and did a great job why did they need to convert it to a full js system why did they just plan a full js system in the beginning it, it's because it didn't work. It wasn't. It didn't have the features people needed. They weren't using it how it's supposed to be used as a game test engine. They were using it to get more features out of the system. And so they said, well, let's just move it over to a JS system. The partners were doing this stuff. It, 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 what are you talking about? The, it's like you and like seven people were sitting over here twiddling, being like, oh man, Mojang is really paying attention to us when the partners are over there making a billion dollars saying, hey, game test is not doing what we thought it would do. Could you guys really up the game here and change this? We need more out of this. And they're like, okay, well, the only option is switch it over to here and do full JS. Which one sounds more credible? APIs. Um, if they really believed APIs were the, the correct solution for Bedrock, then why don't we have DX12 APIs? Because it's just a too big abstraction. Hey, if you want to render APIs, then uh, go ahead, tell Mojang how they're going to implement it. No. Why? Because we have told them the same thing. Oh, it's because it's too big. It's too much. Do you hear it? Oh, well, these APIs, that's not too much. That's okay. Just, the, just these APIs. Who oh, is want these APIs? Well, if you're going to ask for more, then I'm going to ask for more, and I would like all of the graphics APIs. Oh, oh, that's too much. That's too much. Wait, so me saying JS is too much, that's evil and bad. You saying DX12 is too much, oh, that's okay. Why? Why? 
just learn DX12. Just learn to do DirectX and and APIs to for VXS F VXF. Come on, it's easy. It's easy. Let's learn some shaders too. Let's throw in a little JSON UI. It's easy. Think about all those people that have learned JSON UI looking at you and me thinking those guys are stupid because they can't learn JSON UI. Think about all the arguments you made and how the JSON UI people think you're dumb because you haven't learned JSON UI and it's easy because they did it. See, you flip the shoe and this is the test. If you flip the shoe, and it makes you look like a bigot or an elitist, then you know what you're saying is really kind of douchey. Like, back to the point, this is the toxicity. Like, instead of listening to what I'm saying and taking my experiences at face value, no, it can't be that way. It has to be this way. But look, there's someone in your own community that thinks the same about you. Why don't you learn JSON UI? Because it's too hard. It takes too much learning and memorization. Well, that's how my brain feels about JS. How you feel about JSON UI. I do better with JSON UI because I did a lot of HTML and it just seems to make more sense to me. I did a lot of XML, InfoPath design, all kinds of form design. So see the difference? We're all different. We all function different. The JSON UI people, it speaks to them. They see it. it works for them. Should, do I think they should force that on the rest of us and take away our features so they can have more? No. The majority of your com of your community just doesn't care about the DX12 APIs, okay? And hey, if you want to do something with uh, red I disagree. Uh, deferred shaders, the whole shader community is gone because they just destroyed, decimated it. There's huge discourse servers with just countless projects that are destroyed because they don't have access to the DirectX API. If they had access to the API, we'd have hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands, of visual projects right now. And instead, we have Beyond RTX and Deferred. Neither one of them stable, one using mods and one in experimental preview. In 1.14, we had hundreds, if not thousands, of shaders. And you're telling me that community was. I don't know, 10, 15,000 people just in the shader community. And you're telling me that none of them care about DX API. I know quite a few directly that do care. I was funding a shader in the middle of when they canceled and cut shaders, and I lost a thousand plus dollars on it. So it affects me. Once again, you don't know what you're talking about. Because you don't have the experience and you haven't been there to live it. You think that this little bucket that you've seen is what's reality. And when someone pops that bucket or pours some water in it and says, hey, here's my experience. I'm not making this up. It's not a movie. I lived this. I put money where my mouth is. Have you? Rendering, go ahead, do something with shaders. We have access to shaders. Why aren't you talking about shaders? Where? But, uh, we have access to what shaders? It, it, the fact that you just said we have access to shaders just makes me want to turn off the entire thing. You think that deferred is a shader? Are you kidding me? You, what, are you going to say RTX is a shader? I funded one of the greatest shaders in this community. And what's been done to him is just insane. It's insane. Um, your render APIs, right? I mean, also JavaScript is not really the language that you should be uh, asking for render APIs for, you know? Well, if you don't move forward and keep uh, looking uh, at the past, you'll be left behind.
So impressive, adapt, overcome. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Yep. Oh, dude, my leg. Whoa, whoa my leg is starting to hurt. What? Hold up. I mean, humans are, are good at adapting if it's required, so maybe... Uh, he just uh, needs to lose Jason and Jason will help him. I mean, I, I mean, do you really think that forcing him to do that yeah. stuff will help? I mean, if it's he's... A, again, it's... Has, none of them can have empathy and put themselves in my shoes. It has to be that I just don't want to move forward and don't want to put the effort in. They admit, they can see all my effort and how amazing and all the effort I put in. So how can it be both? I put in 20,000 plus hours of effort. I can almost guarantee I have more time in game and doing development than probably anybody else. I think we've proven that because we did post of all of our numbers. Um, I think I can prove that. So you're telling me that I haven't put enough effort in. Um, would you like to put your effort that you've done side by side with my effort that I've done and let's see whose effort rises to the top? If you, if you will always hold a grudge against that, he will have no enjoyment of um, creating content for better condition anymore. And that's... But, see, that's the difference. I'm in Bedrock because I love doing it. I put up with the toxic community because I love doing Bedrock so much. And I can make so many things so quickly and so easily with Bridge and Blockbench. That's why I do all this. I literally love it so much put up with all of you guys and the hate I get for my HD stuff and all of the retard comments I get and all of the I mean I I was getting 20 to 40 hate comments a week sometimes I'd get 5 to 10 a day I have videos on this it it I do this because I love it despite all of the toxicity. Kind of sad to see, you know? But, um... So, because I love what I'm doing, and I have found a great place where I'm super productive in Bridge, and I would like to have blocks and items working how they were told they would to us, and that's sad to them. I'm not sad. I'm extremely happy. I love what I do, and I have some amazing things coming out. I'm just asking that you guys that want more stop affecting what we were already told we would get, and now we're not getting because you guys want more, and you're making us do more to serve you. I didn't change. I didn't go anywhere. I've been doing the same thing every day. I've been learning and making guides and doing my thing. You guys brought JS into here and took away the stuff I was waiting for. And now are telling me I'm the problem. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, I don't think that we like can convince anyone here to do whatever, right? It's just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's at the end of this, uh, at the end of this day, it's his, his decision if he, if he wants to move with everyone else or if he wants to stay in his hole. Uh, but. What, what, what can I say? If, so if you're gonna downtime now, now I'm in a hole because I don't want to do JS and I don't feel like I'm set up for success to do that. I'm in a hole now. Before it was, you can just do whatever you want and it's fine, no big deal. We're just doing JS, JS over here. You're doing what you're doing over there. It's all good. Now it's we're up here and you're down there in that hole. You see how that elitism is just like, who the fuck do you think you are? I'm in a hole and you're up there looking down at me because you learned JS. You should get it like a, a pedestal you could stand on and you could be up on that pedestal or maybe a soapbox. And then from up there, you could like point and laugh at all of us little peons down here. 
it's wow, it's so amazing. You just spend all this time saying how easy it is, and then you want praise. You want to be an elitist, and you want to say I'm in a hole because I didn't learn what you've just spent hours saying is so easy. Which is it? Yourself that much, then? Ah, oh, no, bro. But might be a you issue. Allowed. Why are they blocking RTX APIs? Why are they block blocking RTX APIs? Hey, I love this one, though. He hasn't said skill issue yet, which I often, I would have thought that would have been way earlier. I I often hear that. I, I, I'm i blown away we haven't heard skill issue yet. I mean, I guess that's what they're really saying along the whole way. Um, to be honest, I'm not really deep into the rendering stuff and uh, stuff, but uh, I think that shaders can do that, right? Shaders can indeed uh, interact with RTX. What is he talking about? APIs. Well, not directly, right? Probably an abstraction. GS, uh, GSLL or shaders or whatever. Honestly, I don't even know. I know. What year is it? He just brought up GLSL shaders in 2020. Am I? Is this a video from the past? This came out recently. Am I dreaming? He just said, he just. Never mind. Let's move on. Know what I'm talking about, but um, I, I, I don't know. He, he probably knows it better. He, he, he surely knows what he's talking about. Talking the GX GFX system APIs. If adding APIs and scripting and more again, it's just what not what the majority wants. Ability into the system is better for the community. Then why are you blocking it for the graphic? So it's back to we. All of this is just mob rule. Whatever the the most majority of the community rule that wants, that's what we get. And the majority, you're in a hole. Screw you guys engine and for say scripting engines and for adding graphic or the, the gfx side of it and look dude you cannot expect like not everything to drop right they cannot give you access to anything as well like it is at the end of the day an abstraction which is supposed to make things easier yeah so there's bandwidth of what they can do and because you guys demanded the mob uh, is what you keep saying which is bullshit the partners and and marketplace are the ones controlling all of this the community's not doing it has very little to do with this um the community's being used for bug fixing. That's what the community's used for. So, yeah, it's just ridiculous. We're not trying to overwhelm the community here, right? But, Wait, uh, so they're not, they, oh, we're, we're, hey, we can't overwhelm the community. Oh, wait, that's what I'm, it's like the whole thing I've been saying is JS is overwhelming the community. Oh, well, you can't overwhelm the community by giving them all the APIs, but we want more. Yeah. I think the line is JS was too much and overwhelming the community. I proved it with the support issues. Your own community has proved it by the people that voted are typically the people that already knew stuff about it. The other people are saying they struggled with just editing and tree view. Just in editing and tree view, they struggled. And yet you keep, oh, but that was easy for me. Um, it doesn't add up on the same side. So if truly you believe API access and adding programming to Bedrock is the best thing for the community and for the ecosystem, then logically you need to do that for all of it, for all of it, and make it a real game engine with API and scripting access at every point. Why? Where does it come from? Where does this all or nothing thingy come from? Why do they have to give us full control of the game? So you don't want to be able to do all those things. So all those people that want to be able to do all those things that's your line. So if I want to be able to do DirectX API, then that's not okay. That's your line. Why should you be able to do that? Well, why should you be able to do JS? Well, because most of the community wants it. Really? They wanted it during game test? They didn't even know what it was. What about before game test? Did they want it then? It wasn't even announced. They didn't even know it could be a thing. They didn't even know it existed. You know what they did know existed? Custom blocks with custom interactions and custom items. Huh. Imagine that. Well, why? Because it's then, because there's then no point. I don't understand it. Then why should you Where does this all anything? or nothing take come from? I, I, genuinely, I genuinely don't understand it. Guys, help because me out. Because if more is better then why wouldn't we take all of the more? Because you said, oh, it would overwhelm the community. Yeah, I don't know. Where does this take come from? This all or nothing take. 
Let me try to think about it. Like, Windows, like, things are closed source for a reason. Right? Windows isn't open source. Windows isn't open source. Still, you can, uh, still, Windows provides you a lot of tools to, like, modify the system, right? What? Now all of a sudden he's talking about open source? What the fuck does DirectX API have to do with open source? If you're going to open up API access to a gateway into the game engine to give more ability, then why wouldn't you do the same for the graphic engine that's running every game on the planet other than Minecraft? It allows modding is allowing you to access those APIs. Like, you think that we can't access those APIs and all of these other game platforms? Like, yeah, man. They're blocking it from us. You, I, I went into the DirectX Discord and I asked, why can't we access these things for RTX in Minecraft Bedrock when it runs DX12, DX11, and it supports these things in the documentation. I went and looked up the DirectX documentation and I went through all this stuff and it says, oh, hey, you should be able to access this. And so I went and said, hey, why can't we access this? And they said, because Mojang is blocking it. Now, there's some debate. Is it Mojang blocking it or was it NVIDIA blocking it as part of the RTX debacle? But it's Render Dragon. It's not RTX. So it's my opinion and it seems to be pretty obvious that mojang is blocking the api access now they could open that up and they could give us a gateway to it uh why not if more is better like you guys are saying then why not add more i would like the graphic engine unlocked if you're going to add more and we need to learn all this stuff then you should have to learn DirectX. Like, it, things are closed source for a reason. Obviously, we're, we're developers, we love open source and stuff, but uh, I, we also have to accept that there are just some it's areas not, that are better for... It's not open source. Opening the AI to DX12 has nothing to do with open sourcing. Um, being held private. For example, uh, <laughs> uh, recent drama, PDB files, right? Microsoft removed it because security is just... Um, no, I do think that argument is bullshit. It is technically something that you have to consider. Microsoft isn't open source. Microsoft is still um, owned by a big corporate company. That is there to make money. Oh, wow. He finally admits the actual, like, true motive of all the stuff going on in the background. After two hours and 45 minutes, we're finally getting to the whole, like, the truth of everything. So now, when we're talking about DirectX and, and closing that off, now all of a sudden it's about Microsoft and money. Now it's about, oh, hey, Microsoft has to make money and they have to lock off some stuff and they have to be a private company. They can't be open source. Where was all of that a while ago? Where was that before? You think that they're not a corporation that makes money for all of those other things that cost them insane amounts of money? Uh, because you guys demand a JS, they spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to deploy it whatever right you have to realize that they kind of just give away the whole game just because hey it's all or nothing right just give away parts of it so people once again what are you talking about directx 12 is not mojang it's also not it's a, it's a microsoft product that has api access for every game that uses it People can be happy, they can create amazing stuff that promotes the game while not completely making it not Minecraft anymore. Right? And yeah, then people are happy. But instead, it's going to be just here and there and just here and there and just here and there and just picked and, and you know, these and not that. And and it's not going to be... M might as well just switch to Linux at that point. Why are you, why you, why you still using Windows when you can't even disable Cortana, mate? Well, why, why doesn't give us a Windows ability to, just, to disable Cortana, mate? It's, it's, so, it's so weird. Switch to Linux. Linux is so much better. Oh my god, I use Arch, by the way. Yeah, no. That just doesn't... I grew up in the... You should use Unix days so the whole like oh switch to linux yeah this is the same uh elitist bigoted conversation that's been happening for decades android's better than apple linux is better than windows unix is better than linux and whichever one i mean but i even i went through novell i went through nt4 i went through 
Uh, man, I can't even list all the other operating systems that we've been through at the same time. It, it It's just the elitist, whoever is in whatever camp, points at the other people and says, Oh, your camp's horrible, and you're in the JS camp, and I'm not. And so I'm horrible, just like you're saying right now. Why not just use Linux? Because Windows is so bad. If you can't do blah, blah, Windows is blah, blah. It, it's the elitism. It doesn't work like that. A, more is better. It's going to be a selective system of what these few things are better. Um, so I, I don't think that's a good a good industry or ecosystem for Bedrock. I, I think Bedrock's rocks, key benefit above all other games is that it's entry to be able to mod and do add-ons was so easy an eight-year-old could do it. Maybe. Maybe. But hey, the, the target audience is also eight-year-old people. And that's the thing that uh, amazes me about Bedrock. Everyone plays Bedrock. I would even go so far to say that Bedrock might have more players than Java. I mean, it's... What, what the hell? Like, this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about. Okay, so <clears throat> it's three hundred million <clears throat> units, right? Three hundred million. <clears throat> this is just. Uh, U.S. probably U.K. because uh, China thinks free and it's uh, 700 million just for China. So just Minecraft Bedrock users in China alone is 700 million users. Double the number of people in the United States. Okay. Over 300 million worldwide including pocket right now how many java sales <clears throat> 30 million so i just i don't want to be a dick but you're criticizing me for all of these things and you just made the comment that maybe there's more bedrock players than java when there's 10 times more just in worldwide sales, not in China alone. China alone is 700 million Minecraft players. There's 240 million Bedrock players versus 30, over 30 million Java players. We're not even in the same ballpark. It's a factor of 10 that you're off and a factor of almost 100 that you're off worldwide because overall worldwide with everything in 2024 with South Africa coming online is closer to a billion people. And remember, this is copies millions of copies sold not including xbox live subscription which includes it free and it's free on a whole bunch of mobile phones so you're talking about somewhere around 
a billion people using bedrock versus 30 million using Java, and you are saying a comment criticizing me for being ignorant and not knowing what I'm talking about when I'm in this industry doing this every day, and you don't even know anywhere close. You think that there might be more Bedrock users than Java users? What? What? There's more Bedrock users in one year in 2015 than all of Java users total. Um, this isn't uncommon information. I just Googled it like you said to do. Just Google it. It's easy. I believe that you can use the RTX for ray tracing as a compatibility system on Microsoft documentation for add ons as a compatibility section in the Microsoft Tracer Yeah, I also think that you can do the, uh, the RTX stuff. So I don't know what, uh, especially what's he talking about there. But... RTX is broken and doesn't work. It's not had a bug fix, but one or two in years. It's not functional at all. Deferred is looking wonderful, but it's not stable. It's in preview. Once again, I, you're making comments on stuff that you just don't have any knowledge or background in. I literally bought a 2080 and a 3090 to do this. I started all of this because I saw an RTX demo. I joined Minecraft and started playing because of RTX. I started in Java because RTX wasn't out yet. I got a 2080. I waited. I waited till RTX came out. It came out. It still isn't stable to this day. And you're telling me, oh, man, just trust it. Just, it, it'll be fine. What? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, what can I say? That's changed, and I think that that's bad for the ecosystem. So... Back to the original, we're almost at 40 minutes. Uh, my brain doesn't function um, the same as, I guess, most people or yours. I hate to say most people because I think the numbers are about 40% of people um, have the same type of issues. Um, and so I think that there's a good percentage of the population that will not be able to... Do, 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 do I need to, like, re-emphasize my points? By the way, I think everyone can learn coding. Uh, look at Prime Engine, for example, okay? He, he, I think, if, I don't know if, if you guys know Prime Engine, but he's, like, a YouTuber who does, like, um, YouTuber streamer, whatever, ex-Netflix employee, right? Uh, he was a method addict until he discovered coding, basically. He, he, he didn't thought he could code. He, he thought he was one of those people that just can do it. And now he uh, sits there uh, using uh, Linux, has an ergonomic chair and keyboard, and says, uh, I use Vim, by the way. So, I don't know. Literally anyone can learn coding. It's... I don't know, man. Some might do it better, some might do it worse. Some it's funny, because uh, uh, you so asked some, the yeah, AI, worse, so. if we ask the AI, can anybody learn it? As soon as I say, what if I have a brain, a tested brain issue? What if I have a learning a learning disability or defect, then it's instantly going to say, oh, oh, yeah. Well, in that case, see, it, it wants to be really positive. Oh, yeah, anybody, uh, even anybody age, any any prerequisite, how anybody. Oh, but they're not going to succeed. They're not going to, and success depends on motivation. Anybody can do it, but only if you're really motivated to learn it. Practicing. If you just practice enough, you could be in the NFL. You, if you just practice enough. You know, there's a movie about this called Rudy. It's a lie. It's just propaganda. Go watch it. Go watch it. See what you think. See if it's realistic. Could Rudy really be a college footballer in the NFL? It's a big movie. Rudy. Rudy. Oh, I don't know, man. I... I, I would, like, if, if I would say now that I do think that he can, like, code, right, I would basically feed into his point saying that, oh, no, everyone's saying that I can uh, code, but uh, I actually can't. No, I think he, he didn't even try to do it, right? He didn't even try it out, and that is why he is so. And also, um, actually, he did say that he did try it out. See, so, yeah, we're, we're in a circle again. Oh, he didn't even try. Oh, yeah, he did say he did try. But I think that was uh, not really fair, as he did say it was, uh, as I do think it was, like, at the very beginning, we talked about, like, JSON, uh, 
and the whole bridge was so much better, only because he lacked the knowledge. And that's something that you can improve. It's, again, not... Remember, knowledge is memorization. <clears throat> you gotta put that knowledge in part of your brain, and that part of my brain doesn't store that information. A very easy topic. Oh. Convincing someone that things otherwise basically rewiring re how, uh, how they think about stuff. That's not something that you can do, right? You gotta, you gotta convince them somehow. They're if, not if, that stupid. If they just convince me, if they just have a good enough argument, I'll join their side. I'll drink their Kool Aid. I just, I just need convincing. It's just me. I'm in the way. I'm the problem. Blame, blame the customer. Blame the creator. It's the creator. It's not the system. It's not JSON. It's not. It's not that. It's not JS. Nope. <clears throat> not that. Not the changes. Not how brains work. It's. It's just not enough willpower. If they just will through it, because I did it, they can do it. But that, there, that other people might tell them. I mean, again, we, we realized um, through, throughout this whole video that he's mostly upset because of the community and because he apparently was diagnosed with something and now he, is, now he doesn't even want to try to do stuff. And I think that's the problem. So once again, I have 300 videos on guides, but yet I don't want to try something. I've done things they've never done, but I don't want to try something. Huh? My actions don't match your words. My words match my actions. I think if you would like really sit down and try to do something, that it would like actually work out. Because there's so many. If I just gave it the old college try. Any variations of coding. It's your own style, essentially, that you're making. And if you don't understand it that way, make it the other way. And believe it or not. So there's different ways to do coding. I wonder if a professor in a college class teaching object-oriented programming would say that's true or not. I don't think they would. You code as well when you do JSON, Molang, and whatever you do with like the entity events command block stuff. That's also a form of coding. Even though JSON is just a way to... Coding is command blocks now? Really? represent static data right i have said more things about it in the rest of this almost three hour stream so yeah if you guys uh, want to hear more about what i have to say just you can you can always go back i'll leave this video up so that's not a problem i mean it's easy to talk my points off again by just saying yeah no but i can't do it you can tell me how much i want but i won't be able to do it but again i think there's just a certain grudge that is being held against just even trying it you know it was hard to use the scripting API of Bridge because there was no template, but thanks to Outer Cloud, there is, and our most important imports are needed. Bridge was pretty horrible when it comes to scripting API, that's true. And so do you see all of these things from their own, his own commu community is saying, oh man, the scripting is really sucked until now we've got some templates. It It's still, it, it, he's ignoring history. He's ignoring the past and all these things that happen and the people telling them him they're struggling and that they're struggling. He can't even have empathy for the people saying, I've been struggling with that. Are they not trying enough? Are they not trying hard enough? Are they just not putting the willpower in because they're struggling? They just they haven't put the old college try in hard enough. It's everybody else isn't trying hard enough. They're all lazy but me because I was able to do it. If that's how you treat everybody around you, when they say, I'm struggling, imagine how you just walk over people and that elitism just plows over people. And you know, maybe that's for where the hate for, all, uh, for the bridge comes from, because bridge was, well, wasn't really good at scripting API, and I still think that bridge is like weird uh, kind of shit for scripting API, right? But those... So the hate for bridge, notice that whole, but I'm a programmer and bridge is a programming software, so why is it hated? Why is bridge hated? He says, oh, because of JS. No, bridge has been around way before JS was even a thing. Are you kidding? Once again, you have no context to what you're saying. People don't dislike Bridge because of JS. They just like Bridge because they say it makes people lazy, like me. I'm lazy because I don't want to learn. I don't want to code, and you're lazy if you don't code. They don't like Bridge because it's not VS Code, and it's not part of the, the Kool-Aid drinker. It's not part of the cult. 
if you're not using VS Code, then then everything else is bad. Because it's not what they do. The elitists do. Even though I've proven I can make all these wonderful things that many of you can't make or have struggled to make or can't figure out how to make and have used my guides to learn how to do it. But yet, then you call the software I use trash. You say I'm lazy because I use it. What? Once again, I'm not coming to you and telling you VS Code is trash and you shouldn't use it or I don't like it or I think it makes you lazy or I think it makes you an elitist or all of this stuff. Never once in any of this did I talk about you at all. I didn't talk about VS Code. I simply talked about what I felt from this stuff and how it's affecting the community and the people that I support, my customers, and how I would like that to change. And I think this is a, a bad approach. That's it. You guys come out and say how much people hate bridge. How many bridges. It, see the difference? Most people move probably to stuff like VS Code, WebStorm, or whatever. And obviously, they're going to tell them, uh, or they're going to tell him about the experience with those programs, right? But when they tell him about this experience, right, they go right to that point. They don't explain him how they failed doing it in Bridge because Bridge wasn't incapable of doing so, and that's the reason why they use VS Code. No, they just say, hey, use VS Code because, hey, scripting funny, and it's good. And I get and I get that. That's pretty annoying and stuff. But it's really one thing that you have to experience it, that you have to experience before you do stuff. It, it, one of the things that's really interesting here <clears throat> is I'm using Bridge version 1. There is no JS in Bridge version 1. I... All of that conversation, everything they just said there means nothing because I don't use Bridge version 2. I don't talk to any Bridge people. I'm not even in the Bridge community anymore. So I don't know who I'd be listening to that's telling me that, oh, JS and Bridge is, oh, 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 oh I, I don't know what you're talking about. Go ahead. Oh, yes. We do um, JSON or JS. I think we've already proven that quite well, that a good... Uh, section of the people needing help uh, aren't able and haven't been able to pick up. I mean, most of them can't. No, no, disagree. Like, I think that most of the people that ask for help do know about uh, certain concepts and stuff and can create stuff. It's just that they have this barrier that they kind of need to surpass, okay? I do think that they are able to create other good stuff in JavaScript. It's just that this one barrier that they are kind of stuck on and trying to, like, yeah, get away with. And that is the thing with, like, new scripters. And the new scripters are going to ask a lot of questions. That's fine. You're allowed to ask questions. I, I don't know what that means. Most of the people are stuck in just basic concepts like how do we rotate blocks? They're not stuck on some advanced thing they're trying to do. I haven't gotten to ACs and been. And that to... doesn't make you uh, anything less valuable of a coder or something that are less capable of a coder, rather, by just asking questions. Hey, I, I, bet, I bet he goes to like a documentation size. Uh, introduction to entities. I see it here right on the top. He, Chad GPT. He is definitely looking stuff up. Looking stuff up is fine. Also asking stuff as well. I understand with him because a bridge has a prompt for a custom component. <laughs> That's true. Bridge actually made uh, their own versions of custom components before scripting did, right? That's kind of funny. I mean, I do come across some help uh, for some bridge that people need to use a scripting API, but uh, don't even know how to enable it in the pack, but with some experimentals and help, they can do it. Yes, you... Yeah, if people... Yeah, that, that is true. People often um, don't know what they're like... How much they need to do to do that one thing. That is kind of true. Like when you see someone, hey, I have this entity code. Uh, how, how do I make it do this and this? Oh, you, oh, you need to do scripting. Okay, how do I do scripting? And you just send them this wall of text and how to manifest and stuff. Okay, that's, that is kind of weird. But um... back to the same thing. Someone in his chat comments and backs up what I've already said that he disagreed with. And now he has to agree with it because they're challenging on it. Yeah. Yeah. You sent a new person to JS guide or to some freaking bullshit, they have no idea what's going on, you're going to have a bad time. Your own people in the chat are saying they've had a bad time. I guess I get that. It's, but maybe it's also Mojang's fault a bit that they had uh, such a weird scripting system. So now it's partially Mojang's fault, but you just said an hour ago how Mojang's not at fault, and this is all the community, and the Mojang's doing a great job. Well, now Mojang's partially at fault for it. You, like what I'm saying, what I've been saying this whole time? From the beginning, 
right? It, it had a rough start. That, uh, that's true. But um, I do not think that it's like an impossible task to do, right? I think that anyone can read. So it was easy. Now it's not an impossible task. Did you see how far the bar has jumped? Just because a few people in his chat challenged him? Through a, through a page and then copy paste or even watch a video or even experiment and try to find out and do it. But he already said videos aren't how you should learn. You got to copy and paste it from the the wiki or something, and then you just got to fail. Fail and fail and fail. That's how he did it. You know? Anyways. To do ACs, which is a very basic scripting concept. Um, if they're struggling to do a basic anima a if animation control is a simple concept. No, some people might think animation controls are hard as well. Like, for some people, you know, only because, like, again, only because you think that animation controls are easy because you already know them doesn't mean that... No, I struggle with them a lot. I, that's the whole point of this. I don't think that they're easy. But comparative to JS, they're quite easy. It's literally just a list with some states. If they're struggling with that, a list with some states, which comparatively to JS and comparatively to what you're saying they should be doing is very easy. But you're saying JS is very easy, so doing AC should be a, a cinch. It should just be a few seconds. Oh, you learn that in no time. If if JS is easy, um, other people, you know, like doing animation controls. Some people uh, might find scripting way more logical. And hey, you don't have to use scripting to accomplish that. You can keep using animation controls, but saying that uh, scripting is now an animation controller is a script. <clears throat> That's why it's in scripting in. In the file, under scripts. Uh, but if it was so uh, easy, then why did Mojang pay Blockbench to put in an animation controller editor and Entity Wizard and Block Wizard and Item Wizard? Now, a bad idea because it doesn't play along with like your way of doing things. It's just wrong. And hey, if you're not able to adapt to the new system that uh, well, every a majority of the community uh, finds better, then I don't know, man. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you. So now it's a, a majority of the community finds JS better, but we his own chat is saying they're struggling with it and aren't able to get some of the stuff done and having a hard time. Their own chat says they struggled with tree view even when they were starting out. Um, I don't think the amount of people using JS is anywhere close to the amount of people doing uh, normal stuff. I could be wrong, but we went through the showcase and it doesn't look like there's an overwhelming number of JS projects in the showcase versus everything else. Uh, so once again, all of his numbers and assumptions so far have been completely wrong. I mean, he's not even in the ballpark for Bedrock versus Java users. So I don't really trust his feeling on how many JS there are. If you look at just Bedrock add-on chat and how busy it is, and how many JS questions we get versus how many other questions we get, it's maybe 20%. Now, granted, maybe the JS people are all in the JS channel, but so are the entity people and the RC people or the render pack people. I mean, or not render pack, uh, render uh, the resource pack people. They're all in their own places. So just looking at add ons, I still, I bet it's probably 20%. Tell <clears throat> oh, you. Yeah. What, what can I say? I mean, keep doing keep doing your stuff and see the game slowly dying, I guess. Animation controller, how the hell are they going to do JS? So now, keep in mind, my concern I keep pointing out is other people coming in. I've already learned all this stuff. I'm, you know, I'm learning more stuff, but <clears throat> my whole focus has been, hey, I think this is wrong for the new people coming into the community. And he's saying, just keep sticking where you're at and just keep watching the game die. Like, what? Once again, I, you keep thinking this is about me. You think I have all the guides public because it's about me? I could have all my guides private. I don't have to share them. I don't have to get the hateful comments. I don't have to make videos like this. I don't have to sit here and listen and critique your video. I don't have to help in the Discord chat every day. You think that that's all for me? You think I'm just a selfish bastard that just sits here and pouts because, oh, I don't want to have to change. With all the things I've said, 
and your own people in your own chat saying they've struggled with these things and all of the counterdictions you've done and all the circles you've done and all of these issues, you still jump back to, you're just selfish. What? Huh? I'm selfish for fighting for the little guy and the guys that are just standing out when you can't show any empathy for anybody, including me? It's really weird. It's a lot of Kool-Aid drinking. Um, it, it seems like... You, you can do JS while not knowing about animation controls, okay? Animation controls are stupid. I, I did use them, I know how to use them. And as someone who used them a lot, Okay, so here we go. So anime co animation controls are stupid. So if I say anything about J JS, oh, ha, but you can just say, oh, ACs are stupid. That's stupid. That scripting is stupid. What? You just criticized me for hours about my opinion of JS, and now your opinion of animation controls are like, stupid. What? Well, maybe you just didn't try hard enough. Maybe you just didn't put enough effort in to see that you really love them. And if you just tried, give it the old college try, you would find how powerful they are and how much you really, really dig. I know you're going to say next that you used them a lot, but I have 300 videos, 400 total, 1,000 Bedrock videos overall with 10,000 plus streaming hours, but you keep discounting all my stuff and my, all my XP and all my experience doing this. So I don't trust your experience doing ACs either. So I think you're probably just lazy because you didn't like ACs and they just don't speak to you. And, and so you just, you know, they turned you off and you just didn't put in enough effort. See how disgusting it sounds when we flip it? No. Instead, I say, oh, yeah, no. ACs pro don't speak to everybody. P some people do really good with ACs, and some people do horrible. Uh, some people really love the block bench visual AC designer. And some people don't. I, don't. I don't like it. I don't prefer it. I prefer using Bridge for it. I think Bridge's setup is really good for ACs. Um I support and can empathize with you and see where you're at and put myself in your shoes. That's that's a struggle. Uh, I get it. You see, I took uh, Janice, you know, really having to write me about ACs because I just I was really struggling to learn them. It's one of those things. In some cases, I was just making it too difficult and overcomplicating it because I did do, uh, you know, I do uh, Unreal Engine 5 and 4 and 3 and all kinds of other stuff. And so I just can't fathom that it can be this easy in some cases where you just put this in an estate and you put in a command or you put in an animation and it just goes. And so my brain, I just keep fighting it and fighting it. Um, and I run into quite a few of those, like, I don't know, I want to say like 5 to 10% of people I run into just overthink things and really struggle with it. And I've been able to tell some of them, hey, ah, this is bedrock stuff. You're just really overthinking it and really help them out because I could identify that and put myself in their shoes. Um, it just depends on how our brains work. I'm going to say they suck. JavaScript is better. Deal with it. I mean, that just emphasizes that it is true what he said in the beginning, that there are multiple types of persons, some of which uh, might find it easier to do uh, scripting and animation controls, some uh, might think animation controls are easier. But then again, that's not really a, re a, re a reason for uh, to boycott scripting, you know? Like, I've never done animation or animation controls in my packs, so I'm still learning those. Yeah, good luck. Choices are out of touch with their customer. But the did you notice that I think right there he's boycotting ACs? See how it... See how it, it's it's okay for him to say all oh, those suck and I'm betting he doesn't do it. Now, that's fine because it doesn't affect anybody else. If him not doing it then meant other people were going to lose something, then I would have a problem with that. Yeah. Community base that's actually doing it. Again, yeah. I think that most of the community is transitioning towards scripting and it's a new thing and it's already seeing the high velocity that scripting API has. It's amazing. It's... I, I disagree. I think that's only because you're in it. Uh, from outside and the questions I get and just watching help and doing help all day, I, I'm just not seeing it. Like I said, I think it's like 20%. I, I bet that over half of the community already tried scripting or is already doing scripting. So, I don't know, man. If, if, if you think 
I genuinely believe that he's wrong with saying that most of the people are still writing the stupid Jason code, right? I genuinely think that's not the case. Prove me wrong. I had to guess, in my experience, what I would say is their focus is partners and money um, more than it is creating a ecosystem for creators to move into. So four years ago, five years ago, before the marketplace was created, the only focus was the creators and making it easy for people to get in and make stuff. Yeah, they, 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 they are evil people and are trying to um, remove the re remove more people from the uh, marketplace program because it brings them money. So that is why they're making uh, developing for Minecraft so much harder so people ca cannot sell stuff on the marketplace anymore. Yeah, bro. I'm, I mean, that's just complete bullshit. What do you mean can't sell stuff? There's more there's more stuff on the marketplace than they can sell today. I mean, countless add-ons don't even break even because there's not enough people to buy them. And a lot of them, quality is just ridiculous. And do we need 1,500 furniture add-ons? You know, I can't buy more than 10 furniture items before I just feel guilty about it. On the 20th and 30th one, you know, 50 to 100 furniture add-ons, and most of them add the same thing. I kind of start just feeling guilty about buying so many. You see the problem? I, once again, you say you're not really part of Marketplace. You think that something that you worked on got put on Marketplace, but you don't know? Like, you don't. You're not promoting something you worked on that's on Marketplace and telling your friends and sharing it and proud of it? That seems really weird. But you you say you don't have any information or know about Marketplace, but then you make these statements like you do. It's kind of weird. And you counterdict the statements from someone like me that's working on Marketplace every day brought in, you know, billion dollars into the industry. Now the focus is on enabling and giving more power to the programmers within the partner program so that they can do more with it and make more money. Do you see the difference there? So instead of focused on the creator side of things and making it an easy bar to entry and being able to let anybody mod and do add-ons. Not, um, not the, the, the guy who is doing the easy entry, right? That is like a very new to programming. It's not going to get accepted into the marketplace program. Yeah, that's just... Once again, he doesn't is. know what he's talking about. The partners are already there. They need developers. I'm asked to give them developers and apprentices constantly. What he, he doesn't have any concept of how high the demand is for bedrock devs. But that's going to change pretty quick and just be JSON devs, and they're going to replace it with other people, and we're going to lose those jobs. Right now, if you do Bedrock Dev, you can get a job pretty quick that pays pretty well in Marketplace. And I don't, I, I think those are going to go away pretty quick. This money and allowing partners to hire professionals to do more through no. an API programming system. Uh, another thing that I can uh, just uh, think of is since uh, he likes, uh, you can likes to use components and com component groups, uh, he can also get snippets from the community that uses API. Uh, I can just make uh, fill them help him. I mean, I guess, again, scripting API is just making the things that uh, you think are right. You're creating, essentially, your own API, or scripting API. Those two, I don't think, are compatible with each other. Um, Actually, at this point, uh, like that, they're more focusing on getting experienced people. instead of helping the uh, community out. Okay, so first of all, w w first of all, if that would be the case, what is the bad about having experienced people? Like, I don't think it's wrong having experienced, high-quality, good content, right? And I think also that scripting API benefits the community a lot, if you haven't noticed. Right. The reason, the problem with that is people like me wouldn't be able to start out and do and make the stuff that we did and have a career in this industry anymore. And that is one of the big points I brought up that you keep arguing with me with about that. That's why I'm speaking up. I could no longer achieve what I did in the past today. That's a problem. Right. Again, it's us, the community that made scripting API even possible. I don't think they're doing it for the money. Okay. I mean, not purely for the money. I don't think that. Uh, so, so here you go. Once again, he's in a circle where he says something. And then he has to immediately take it back and contradict it because when he hears himself say it, he he can't even he can't even pretend at this point. 
uh, if you would go ahead and go and start now, hey, are you doing scripting API so marketplace developers can earn more money? Dude, scripting API hasn't even been available for the marketplace for so, uh, how knows how long. So, but but he spent all this time saying, oh, it's so powerful, it's so great, it does all this stuff, but yet you just said it's not even been available. So how can it be so powerful and so great and do all this stuff? You're right, it's not been available yet. That's why I'm making the video now and raising this concern and saying this and bringing this up that I think we're going to see this happen because now it's coming to marketplace and I think that it's going to cause this effect on bedrock which I think is this gem and this is a concern I have as someone in the community that sees it happening and you've been arguing with me all this time about it and I've been trying to tell you this is my concern coming up it's nice of you to finally join me seeing the concern after all this time. I don't know. For, for, who, for who was this supposed to be, then, if not for the community? In fact, most of the scripting features are still locked behind, um, you know, the experimental solo. It's for... It's once again, he thinks that the community is, like, the money, but yet he says, oh, they, they aren't doing it for money. Oh, they are doing it for money. So who brings in the money? The few thousand people that are doing indie stuff and it just is used for them or the 200 partners that are bringing in a billion dollars. Like, why do I have to explain this to you? This is really basic. And you're arguing with me if Mojang is favoring the marketplace partners over a few hundred people in the community because you think that you have value and they're listening to you about demanding adding JS into the thing? What? What? And all those partners and all those add-ons and all of those studios and all those companies and all that stuff going on up there, all of those partners have partner reps that they can talk directly to, and that goes right into the partner system. All of that. Nope. Just you and those few hundred people. Well, yeah, it's, it's it's all just greedy company. Let's let's boycott scripting because they're they're making they they want to create high quality content. It's, it's so hard because the JavaScript is so expensive and so hard to get into. Once again, you said the bar wasn't being raised, and we already had high quality content now, and JS wasn't going to change any of that. And now you're saying, okay, no, it's fine if they hire higher quality people that have more training and more education because better quality is better. Yeah. It's at the cost of the people that would have got those jobs that would have been their first game job. And if there wasn't JS in Bedrock, that wouldn't have happened. They would have got the job. That 18-year-old that was really excited and has this great idea for an add-on and a partner is going to pick him up and have him play a game. Or that 40-year-old that was just hanging out in block bench and some partner came in and said, hey, can you make us a dragon game? And they paid him to do it. And... It's been very successful. I wouldn't have gotten that opportunity because it would have gone to a professional. And you don't have empathy to see the problem there, the risk there, the damage to the community that has the difference there. Like you can't see that, that those don't match up. It, it just seems like you're out of touch. I, don't know, man. I think that if I was doing it, I would stick with the original plan for four or five years ago, and I'd make it an easy entry barrier to entry so anybody can get in create, and I'd force the partners to deal with it. Because that's what Bedrock is. That's the Bedrock they got into. And I mean... Just, just, just rewind a lot, okay? I talked about stuff like this, yeah. I am... I feel like I've said enough. Instead, what they've done is they got into Bedrock how it was, and now they've demanded and bitch and moan that it be changed into something completely different so that they can profit more on it. That's gross. In my yeah, it's all for the profit. Um, Definitely not the community that made scripting API, right? It was a, a special niche in the industry that only Bedrock had this. It was the only game out there that any kid could pick up and start creating in and modding in and doing add-ons in. Roblox. Nah, joke. Uh, actually, it's quite funny. I um, when, I, when, I, when my channel was new, I got like a sponsor request for like a visual learning Roblox type of game. Maybe that's something for him.
in a few hours, and now that's being changed into a corporate profit center um, where it feels like they don't want those people. <clears throat> they don't want those kids in there. They want the professionals to make professional products that they sell to the kids instead. So that's my rant about uh, why I don't do JSON and I don't do JS and you I'm do not going to do JS. Do um, JSON? The more they shove JS down my throat um, and force us to use it instead of other things, or the more they take away those features, he, he just he just hates just the fact that he will have to write JS to a different community that is well. like I genuinely don't think that I think he just hates the people that tell him that he is supposed to write JS. I get that. It's, I get it. It's, it's annoying. It can be annoying a bit. But hey, well, what were I supposed to do? You gotta move on, mate. You gotta move on. Coming for what I want to do. So up until now, I felt like Bedrock was by far the best place to be. I've tried for 30-some years to learn game development and a lot of these concepts. And, and through Bedrock, because of its simplicity and how it functions, I was able to learn a lot more, um, even while doing Unre uh, Unreal Engine 4 and 5, um, than I had learned over there. So in Bedrock, like a state machine, is much easier to understand and learn. Um, than and guess what? I also learned my JavaScript skills through micro Bedrock. Why? Because it's it's the passion. It's the, if you really want to create something, you are going to create it. That's just true. And I don't think it really matters then how you create it or what you're capable of if you really want something. It, it's the same thing saying, if I try hard enough, I can be in the NFL and I can go be quarterback. It's not true. It It's a fantasy that they've told this last generation. Um, you can do anything. It's not true. You can't do anything. You can't. Not how things happen. It's not how the life works. Um, I have health issues. I can't be an astronaut. I always wanted to be an astronaut. I wanted to be the first human out of the solar system. I have health issues. I can't be a helicopter pilot. I can't play football. Um, I can't even get out of bed some days because I'm pretty sick. So this whole like you can do anything if you just have enough. It that's bullshit. Yeah, you can do a lot of things, sure. Lots of things you can, but you need to acknowledge your ability, what you are good at, what your weaknesses are, and and live within your ability. And that's called wisdom. You're going to achieve it. Some might take longer, some might take shorter. And it is in Unreal Engine or doing animation controllers is much easier to learn. And so by doing development in Bedrock, because of how easy and how um, non-complicated it is, I was much more, uh, it was much easier for me to learn how to do game development. So I learned a lot more how the concepts work, even though I was doing those concepts in Unreal Engine, I didn't understand them very well because it's so complex over there and you have to build everything from the ground up from yeah, scratch. Yeah, that's a great Bedrock thing about Bedrock, I also agree. But um, in Bedrock, you don't have to build everything from the scratch, right? Microsoft purposely provides those APIs, right? In fact, components are also just an API to something, right? It's an interface to a feature of the game. You don't have to implement the feature itself into the game, right? Your user has already implemented and it changed some states, some values, some whatever. So, yeah. Okay, so Perfect foundation, and you can see how things function within it. And so, personally, I think, well, one, why am I passionate about this? Because Bedrock changed my life and allowed me Same. to make games and be able to be a game developer when I was told I would never be able to because I wasn't a programmer. So you can see that I've been told my whole life, you can't do game development, you can't make your dreams, you can't make content until you're a programmer. But, I, I mean, I'm serious. I do wonder, what does he think the combination of Jason and Molang, what does he think that is? Is that not programming? What, what, what does he call that? What, would he, what, what is he calling Molang, right? No, it's game development. Why is this such a freaking hard concept? Like... You really don't understand using a program that's a GUI to do things does not make you whatever that program was made in. Does Word, typing a Word document, a Word now make me some kind of freaking like programmer and C++ or whatever Word, Visual Basic Word's made in? No. Like, that's, that's insanity. Nobody in their right mind thinks I'm a programmer. Programmer, and through Bedrock and Bridge, I was able to prove those people wrong and show that you can do all of those things. However, now those programmers are inside the Bedrock community saying, you can't do game development and make your dreams without learning JS and programming again. So I, I found somewhere that those toxic people weren't. And now over the last four people or four years, those toxic programmers have now come into the community and taken it over. Toxic programmers exist, right? I also hate if someone tells me, hey, Linux is so much better, use, go ahead and use Linux, right? Um, it's real. Toxic programs are real. But uh, I think that even more frustrating is that getting discouraged to do something based on those uh, toxic programmers. I think that's even worse. And they tell people every day, you have to learn JS to do this. You have to learn JS to do this. You have to learn JS. You should learn JS. You should learn JSON and JS. You should. It's like every day in the chat. Yet they didn't need to learn JS or JSON over the last four years to do what they want to do or make their dreams. They're being told they have to now. 
and I mm. think that's offensive. I think that my opinion is uh, my opinion is that JS is the trickiest thing for the uh, reason that you uh, can connect to HTTPS server, uh, where from there it's uh, up to you on how to take it, which is which is true. Yes, better documentation for the um, the programming languages work. Uh, if you want to be uh, good at JS, personally, I would recommend that you train thinking as a programmer in other language C++ plus plus and Java. Everyone, yeah, I mean, I guess everyone has their own experiences. Everyone will go their own paths, and I think that's just very hard to grasp as like a programmer itself. To which is why I also think that those toxic programmers exist. Everyone has their own way of finding a way to success, and um, right, everyone wants to share this way because they think it's the right one because it's the one that succeeded for them. But obviously, that's not the case for. Imagine that's exactly what I've been saying about you this whole time, huh? Huh, do you think maybe you're one of those toxic programmers I've been talking about, that you're talking about, that you've experienced, and now somehow you're doing that to other people and think it's okay? So you didn't like it, and instead of learning and having empathy and not doing it to me, you have just done it to me instead. Thanks. That's great. Anyway, can't you just keep, uh, uh, can you, can't you just keep his uh, packs on an older uh, format version because uh, that's what the format version is for to use uh, an older version of the engine and allow people to use things that are deprecated. I'm not sure uh, how it is like with events and uh, stuff or, uh, you know. Yeah, I can. And I do. I'm still working on two, uh, 1.16 on some of my add-ons. Format version, but I do know that uh, format version um, yeah, this is good for compatibility, especially because of the, all of the marketplace stuff, right? Uh, format versions have to exist because if they make a big change, um, they essentially would break the marketplace, right? Which is why they gotta have this backwards compatibility support. And opting into the scripting idea, right, is, as I said, opt in. You, you can stay at the older versions, you can still experience the old thing. The one's forcing you to do anything. So, with all honesty, I'm pretty sure having the modding engine as a programming interface API is better. Mostly because of the uh, uh, complexity that comes with having it as a data structure JSON, JSON, uh, JSON, uh, JavaScript object on JSON. Yep. Like, I also think that um, like doing state, doing uh, logic inside of JSON is way harder than like a JavaScript, uh, as JSON is simply not made for that. And I think the reason for Mojang removing events and stuff is because they realized that that was an issue. And I also think that the community played a big role, again, as I said uh, earlier. The community made the JavaScript scripting API, uh, and that's why they went with JavaScript. Yep. Because we're already, uh, we, we are already using it for the game, though. Keep saying the community made it. Like, what are you talking about? The JavaScript object notation. I even made a comment under his video. Wait until you find out what JSON stands for. Nice. Right, let's continue. It's, oh, it's, 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 it's a lot more. Let's, let's continue. What, what else he has to say? That's not healthy for the ecosystem or community. But when I bring that up, people then say, well, you hate Mojang. You're being a hater. You're being abusive. You're being harassing. No, I'm literally stating my point and my point of view. And someone in the community seeing this, being involved, being invested in community, sees harm and damage being done by programmers and people that don't seem to have a focus on the barrier of entry or the bar of entry or meeting people where they're at. I think it's more important to meet mm -hmm. the creators where they're at than forcing them to meet Mojang where Mojang wants to be now, in the JS world. Now, again, I'm going to re-emphasize this point. It's not Mojang that made scripting API great. It, it started out as game test, as a testing framework so people could verify that their add-ons work correctly. We, as a scripting community, used it and made some amazing stuff from it. Because we had that one vision, oh, we want to uh, make something that uses the chat, and then we looked up how it works. No, oh, we had scripting for that. Then we used scripting. And that's how I think most of us got into scripting. It's not that we're just some weird scripting freaks that are trying to shove uh, scripting down our throats and uh, down, uh, down other, other throats and try to convince, hey, we are um, like the best uh, if you do it that way, or like, it's the best if you do it this uh, or that way. It's a community effort. And I don't think that Mojang is purposefully trying to harm the community by making like the entry bar higher, right? Game test was literally meant for testing. Yeah. There's two huge differences there. Uh, the original Bedrock seems to have been created to make and meet the creators where they were. The current. I also think that this is still the case. I mean, now not it's like we are talking to the Mojang developers closer than ever because of scripting. We can tell them if we don't like a feature, and they will, if, if enough people speak out, out about it, they will change it. Like, it's crazy how much impact the community has on scripting. With the team behind Game Test saw our creations and added more things to it, that's true. And then they even ask for feedback on this. But... But it has nothing compared to the partners asking the same questions or asking for something else. I, yes, I agree. The community has an access point to Mojang. Yay! It has no money behind it. The, the people that are selling their products, they're the ones that they're listening to and surveying and asking the questions to all the time and doing stuff for. I know it seems like, oh, because you're out here doing this stuff, they're doing it for you, but the people that are making add-ons and doing the development in the background that are under NDAs are the ones really pushing the system. You you think that you see what's going on. You're not seeing anything. The people under NDA have 80% 
of stuff that you've never seen or can imagine that's behind the scenes. That's what's controlling everything. They're the ones saying, hey, we need to do this, we need to do that. The, the community that you're talking about is being used as bug fixers. They're game testers. I don't, it's, it's weird. Like it, 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 just the value system that you have as a creator is, is crazy compared to the value system that you give to people bringing in hundreds of millions of dollars. It's got servers like Bedrock add-ons and Bedrock game tests. God, it is so good having this confirmed by another source than just me. It is true though. It is true. That is what they did. Mojang went out there and asked the community, hey, what do you guys want? It is not them shoving us the scripting API down our throats because, um, well, as he said, it will uh, make Marketplace more professional and harder to get into and all that stuff. Now considering to even make it fully JS. That's crazy, right? Because it's actually better long term. And we already confirmed it? <laughs> well, that's crazy. I, I, never, I never heard of that in fully JS, but I could also confirm that way. That, that's crazy if that's true, honestly, because I never heard of it. But that would be crazy if everything would be JS. I mean... Uh, you're probably gonna end up uh, writing objects anyways, just straight up JSON, with um, functions uh, from, how is it called? <laughs> Wait, okay. Um, forgot you heard that, lol. <laughs> Before, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I see the fire? Um, good, no. Okay, so let's continue. Is telling and requiring creators to step up. Uh, they want to be logic to be in scripting. Done. Yes, exactly. They want logic and definition separated. That's what I'm saying. Up to where Mojang and the professional programmers at Mojang want to be and demand we all move up to. Yeah, it's not Mojang that demands us to do anything. It was us, it's the community. Um, there's a huge difference in the mentality and the thought process behind those and the priorities and where the focus is of who is the customer here and who are we trying to meet the needs of and who are we trying to give a great experience to. I don't think focusing on the programmers and giving the programmers a great experience is free. I think that's at the cost of everybody else that's not a programmer. Um, I mean, obviously, uh, people that have no experience in coding will, or like in scripting, will fall behind when Mojang um, like moves on with their stuff. But hey, maybe you, you guys see it in the way that you yourself have to move on, you know? So now it is, oh, you can just do what you want to, I, they're just going to fall behind when everything changes. We don't need those people. Those people don't matter. It's okay. Let them fall behind. See the difference? I'm saying... No creator left behind because this is the entry point and we should be valuing these creators that created Bedrock. And your stance is, eh, screw them. Who cares? So yes, uh, to it being for scripting, everyone else too. Actually, one thing uh, that I am missing from uh, the API for me, making the ability to... Uh, at regular swing animation when using an item. Uh, just uh, on item events. Yeah, you could. You can make events that like uh, BCBC, uh, MCBC. Yeah, okay, so <clears throat> let's go over this. Uh, yeah, obviously scripting API is not perfect. There are some things where you still need JSON files for, but hey, that was uh, that what the community is for. Once uh, Mojang has done all the stuff to make scripting API bearable, I, I bet they will like add those small he, he did okay. So we're like six hours in, seven hours, in, eight hours in, and now we went from scripting API is great, everybody should use it, it's awesome, it's epic, to it's good. Oh, we really need to have Mojang do some stuff to when it's bearable. Small thingies that aren't like necessarily to make scripting API function when Mojang um, like moves on with the stuff, but hey, maybe you, you guys see it in a way that you yourself have to move on, you know? So yes, uh, to it being for scripting, everyone else too. Actually, one thing uh, that I am missing from uh, the API for me, making the ability to uh, add regular swing animation when using an item is used uh, on item events. Yeah, you could. You can make events that like uh, BCBC, uh, MCBC. Yeah, okay, so... <clears throat> so this is crazy. Firing server events to do a swing animation on a use that should be a client side that's not even performant what 
Why would you do that? Let's go over this. Uh, yeah, obviously scripting API is not perfect. There are some things where you slowly JSON files for what hey, that was uh, that what the community is for once. Uh, Mojang has done all the stuff to make scripting API bearable. I, I bet they will. Once Mojang has done everything to make scripting API bearable, it's not even bearable now. It went from it's great to it's good to it's not even bearable. And you're bitching at me for hours because I don't want to do something that's not bearable. Well, like add those small thingies that aren't like necessarily to make scripting API function, but rather uh, to be a nice convenience. And it's only going to get better at this point. And yes, um, uh, Outlandish Crafted um, assumes that most of the people are still uh, doing entity JSON stuff or like uh, in general <clears throat> JSON stuff, right? What I actually think is that at least over 50% of the people had tried scripting or are using scripting. He is assuming that most of the people are still use JSON. I assume that most of the people are, yeah, transition over to scripting at least. Well, stage one is almost complete. I hope. I know how it works, but it's uh, almost complete. Well, we'll see. Uh, I mean, to be fair, though, stage they one is almost. The they don't even have stage one complete. But I should already be all full in on JS. I should be all the way over there. I should be fully committed. No concerns. Don't don't have any concerns. It's epic. I, I mean it's good. I mean it's it's um it's gonna be bearable. We just gotta force them to do some stuff. Um the 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 basics, the cores are there. Uh uh I mean it, it's epic. Wait, what was I on? Um no it's good. No, it's it's unbearable. No, it's um it's gonna be bearable soon. I think this is a version uh zero point or this, yeah. Yeah, uh, and they teased a 2.0 module, right? So 2.0.0. When you go into the preview, you can already see that there's a 2.0.0 module. So we'll see. As scripting oh, API has a bright they're future. They're teasing it. it, it a a bright to feature. Uh, uses features. You can and all we have to do is leave everybody that old, doesn't um, want to move up to an unbearable, if Mojang fixes it platform that can do more. All we got to do is uh, ditch all of those losers at the bottom. You know that don't are just too lazy to do this. If I recall, that's what I heard. Yeah, there's also 0.1.13. It's like both right now. They will add client scripting. That thing I'm not sure about. That thing I'm not sure about. Back then I was like, sure, yeah, client scripting. But I think now it. I think what they will do is um, have the servers send the clients UI renderer or something like that requests. I think that's what they're doing. Just like a JSON UI. Oh no, JSON UI is full client, right? But I think they they will do a server side solution instead. That's so instead of the client side solution that works great now and does everything we really need, you're going to put in a server side solution to duplicate what the client side already does. The RCAC detects the item in hand, detects item on use, and plays a swing animation. It's very easy to set up. That's what I think. Um, I used to also think that they like to do client modules because they in inside Minecraft code there were already like client modules and stuff, or like uh, the names for them. But I think a lot of it, a lot of stuff has changed. I think um, even with like React server components and stuff, I do see a world where we will have React on the server for rendering UIs. When you generate a docs using BDS, did it also say client, Minecraft client? Uh, you can see if they've created more modules like all UI. Oh, that's interesting. An all UI module, fancy. Chris, let's watch your video. So the ninety percent of us are now gonna have to change. Again, I don't think it's ninety percent that don't use JavaScript, right? It's maybe the opposite of the road, right? One thing that uh, has not changed uh, in a long time is the server UI module. That's true. I don't think they want to change it because, you know, they're introducing new stuff anyways. Either leave the industry or move into programming or encoding to keep up with Mojang's demands. Um, even though four years ago, when we started to invest this time and energy, none of this was even on the table. It was all going to be blocks and items and components and events. And all of that's been wiped out. I don't know. If Again, that's you can argue here. What, what, what is he considering programming, you know? Like, isn't more like writing modeling also programming? Or what is considered programming? Actually, no, it's quite opposite. Most people make a use of scripting inside of MCPDL. That's what I'm saying. Like, he assumes that most of the people, or most of the new people, right, are um, using uh, here the, 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 the JSON still, right? I think that most of the people use scripting. And yeah, you can see it with MCPDL. I, you can go into any add-on, and it will have scripting in it. I can bet you. That's probably because they're working on the uh, all UI. Yeah. Of course, because of employment changes that. and leadership at Mojang, um, they say it's because they failed to implement those other systems and they were too complex and there's not enough um, bandwidth Most within likely, the yeah. staff. But when program, I mean, yeah, if Mojang realized, if if it takes to right, if Mojang themselves realized that what they did was a mistake, then they should have every right to do so to change it, right? I mean, if they are uncomfortable with like 
And we should have the right to be concerned and frustrated over it and speak out about it in the community as community members, shouldn't we? Being able to add new features because of internal infrastructure, who are we to say that they, they should, like, you know, keep uh, making a broken game? You say that you're the mob and that what you say, they're listening to you for hours now. So we, who, who are we to say? We're the community mob saying what we want, just like you've been saying they're listening to. I disagree. I think they're listening to partners, not you. But uh, then I'm the same as you. Someone in here doing this, speaking my mind. That's who I am. Uh, okay. Its implementation is uh, on 100% in preview, so it should come out soon as an API for us, as they promised. I really hope so. Programmers tell me there's not enough bandwidth within their support staff. To me, that translates into they want to do programming because programming is easier to support and non-programming isn't. Again, um, I think that making a JSON um, site, right, a JSON API and a uh, JavaScript API is pretty similar. If not, the JavaScript API would be harder to maintain, right? It's They still have to convert. The, the, the one thingy to an internal API call in the C++ backend. No matter JavaScript, no matter C, uh, no, no matter uh, JSON, right? They still need to make conversions between um, different calls or two calls from the API to the API. One thing I find kind of confusing in the Better Together uh, graphics pack uh, they never released, but they are always working on different technical preview. Isn't the same? Uh, isn't that the same way? I'm not sure what this means. Better Together graphics pack. I don't know what it is. I'm gonna be honest. That simple. Programmers only can see programming as the solution. Well, yeah, it's, uh, well, it's not a wrong take, right? If you're a programmer, you think as a programmer, right? As a programmer, you think th things differently. If you, if you see something visually, you think, oh, yeah, I would need to do this and this to do that. But that's not different from uh, how... So now he's willing to say that people think differently and programmers think differently, but that's not how it works. People who think differently become programmers because programming speaks to them. You're one of those different people that the programming speaks to. I'm one of the not different people that it doesn't. I, see, we have different brains. You finally agree with me. It just took five hours. Oh, you would do with like JSON and stuff. Like, if, if you would have to do the JSON stuff, right? You also would have to go through that process of seeing things and going it through your head. Oh yeah, I would need to add an event sequence here, or run a command there. It's still programming. No, there's visual development. It's not programming. I'm not programming when I'm using Wix. That is programming. And as much as you want to deny it, even doing stuff like that is considered programming. Uh, That's the only tool they have. So why am I not doing JS? My brain doesn't do it. I've tried for 30 some years. I've tried to do, um, you know, in, uh, when I was 18, I bought a book for Learn Java in 30 days. And that was, that was not JavaScript. 20 years ago. Um, one of my family members took that book and learned it. And he's a professional programmer and he makes incredible software. And again, Everyone learns different. You might not be able to learn from a book, uh, right? Some might be able to learn stuff from books. Some might not be able to learn from books. Saying that you worked 30 years is kind of misleading as um, you can learn programming as a general concept, right? But in the case of Minecraft, if you want to learn it from Minecraft, you actually do learn, it, let's say, the Minecraft way. You learn the Minecraft concepts and stuff. You don't... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave it there. The Better Together graphics pack was supposed to be released uh, with uh, the Xbox One uh, subscription. I assume that means. Uh, they even had a trailer for it, but they never released it because of limitations. Okay, no, that's interesting. That's the super duper pack. This thing. <clears throat> Incredible stuff. And his brain works that way. Um, I've done Python. Paid programming for Python. I've done XML. I've done um, HTML. By the way, that's confusing, though. He's, he literally said he was incapable of doing programming because his brain wired uh, to do so. And now he's, like, saying that he was able to do Python, XML, and HTML? I don't know. Like, that's... If he does Python, why doesn't he do that exactly? Like, that's kind of contradictory. Like, he keeps saying that he is not physically able to do it, but just... You know, just this proves himself. JS is simple in Python. I also think that. I think, I mean, J JavaScript, sorry, JS keep, is more simple in Python. Yeah. Um, I think that JavaScript may have more quirks, but overall, I think um, I think that getting to know, uh, getting to deal with Python, Python, Python's indents is way worse than anything JavaScript has to offer. LCSS, I've done probably 10 or 15 to 20 different languages that I've learned to make a project. Yeah, but he didn't focus on one specific one. You, if you really want to learn, like, uh, something, then you need to completely be invested into that. Again, talk from before, having passion and stuff, right? He's contracting himself uh, at this point. I don't think he knows what he's talking about when it comes to what programming is. Hey, yeah, that, that's what people in the comments uh, are saying as well, right? Uh, we're definitely not the only ones who are experiencing that. And, you know, I think that the, those, the comments are saying exactly that, that, he's, that he didn't really experience it yet. So he doesn't know what he's talking about, basically, right? Python has that. He just spent this whole time saying, I'm a programmer. And now he's saying, well, I haven't experienced programming. What?
which is it? Am I a programmer and I've been programming for five years or 30 years and all this stuff? Or am I not a programmer? You can't have it both ways. Decorators. <laughs> I, I fucking hate decorators, okay? Uh, I mean, in general, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a functional bro, okay? I'm, I'm a functional bro. Uh, either way, but um, I see why people find decorators uh, good and stuff, and hey, if you use them, okay, cool. Then, um, yeah, it's, it's not my thing. Mojang is planning to add a Python API. Just saying, lol. Um, I heard that multiple times, and I don't know what to believe, because Mojang themselves said, you can even go into, like, wiki.bedrock.dev, right? There was, like, a scripting FAQ, right? Uh, I mean, it's kind of outdated. Additional languages, right? They did say, Intentionally, we've done some fun things with Bangalore, even something like Blockly. I don't think uh, I don't think we can commit to adding uh, adding uh, any official support in uh, other languages in the moment, though. So I don't know what I don't know about that. Hello, sir. Hello, hello, uh, Archer Gamer Studio. I hope I hope I pronounced that uh, somewhat correctly. Did they say anything about like any updates on additional languages? No, uh, has anything, nothing has changed here. Our scripting stuff is pretty abstract anyway. From those will still be a huge def uh, cost to support multiple languages runtimes. I don't think this sounds like we're gonna have Python. I'm gonna be honest. See right there, nothing has changed here. Our scripting stuff is pretty abstract anyways from JavaScript, but it would still be a huge dev cost to support multiple language runtimes. I mean, their focus is dev cost. I think this, this just means, nah, we're just going to focus on one thing because it's the best thing to do. And it's also the cheapest thing to do because, hey, JavaScript developers, there are, there are many, many JavaScript developers in the sea. Correct. And then as soon as the project's done, all of that information I learned is gone. Normally within three I mean, yeah, so you... days to a week. I mean, yes, because you're not committing it to it. You're just moving on. You're just forgetting about it. You're, as a programmer, you have to invest time and not just uh, a day or two. Like, you have to sit daily on it, right? You are going to forget stuff. That's not necessarily uh, a trait that only uh, you have. We, we all suffer from this. It's not like uh, riding a bicycle. Programming is something where you can get loosely after some time, right? That is just how it is, and you need to be invested. Else, you cannot expect results when you don't try anything. Just doing small projects based on a tutorial, uh, like a demo app or something like that, building a weather app, that's just not going to work. You have to do your own stuff that you want to have. And yeah, I always forget stuff, even in JSON and scripting API. That's why I keep referring back to the docs and uh, why, I haven't, why I have to bookmark them on my browser. Exactly, we cannot remember anything, and we have to look stuff up. And looking stuff up is okay. It is okay, and you don't have to be scared uh, of looking stuff up, if that's what you're going to uh, have with that, right? So I probably could sit down, learn JS, use it for one project for a week or two, but then if I stop at any point during that, it's all gone. Yep, that's so how I it works. That's how it works. But don't be afraid to look stuff up again. Like, it's not a problem to forget things. I forget things every time. In fact, I even have a friend, Cookie. Um, he has a goldfish brain. Do you forget? This is really interesting. So what they're saying is, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, having um, having these issues, we just all deal with these. We forget stuff. We have to look it all up uh, all the time. Uh, we're just we're this is just normal, super you know horrible, poor productivity. What? No, it's not. It's not normal. It's not normal to forget stuff all the time. It's not normal to have to go look up stuff all the time. What are you, what are you talking about? Beyond that, I don't have to do any of that in Bridge. I don't have to look up anything. I don't have to do any of that stuff. If I do need to look up, it's like one click away. It's just all there, right? If I need something that, oh, hey, in this project, I use this to, to maybe make that glow, then I might go look up stuff in my own project and see what I use to get that effect, right? But... I'm not doing and having that productivity loss when I'm using Bridge. I'm extremely productive. So if you're telling me that, oh, yeah, we just plan for the forgetfulness and all of that lookup time and that's just normal, then no wonder I'm making so much better stuff. <clears throat> no wonder I'm coming out with so much content and people are so amazed that I'm coming out with so much content and it's so different than everybody else's. Because I'm not doing all that stuff. And you saying that that's just normal and everybody does it? No, it's not. I've worked with countless programmers, countless project managers, countless people that do extremely complex tasks. Electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, HVAC companies. I mean, in massive projects. And they don't forget stuff and have to look it up constantly like that and just plan that every day they're going to have this constant issue. What?
forgets everything. He forgets what he did this morning. Guess what? I may I kind of made him do JS. And, uh, well, now he cannot get away with, like, using JS, right? Like, he now... Uh, a bit off topic, uh, but uh, you'll find it cool, by the way. Uh, it works on the base game, by the way. Uh, is there a message that I'm missing? Because it is kind of weird. This is my chat. This is kind of weird. Uh, him talking about going back to uh, something in a week's time and not remembering anything. I've uh, had the same thing happen. Um, I've had to uh, reread countless uh, lines of code to remember where, where I was. That's true. And I think everyone knows um, that meme that uh, when you like um, go back to an old code base, uh, code base and, uh, and that one meme, uh, when I wrote this code, only God and I knew what it was supposed to do, but now only God does something like that. That is a real issue. And as a programmer, your ability is to be able to reconstruct based on what you see, based on the logic that is right in front of you, okay? That is one thing that programming does. Open Minecraft. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. So, so he, he just said, okay, so you need to be able to look at the code and reconstruct it right in front of you as a programmer. And and how do you do that? If nothing is in your brain, how do you do that? See, he I think he thinks that he's forgetting stuff, and he he thinks that he's experiencing what I'm talking about. I don't really think he is. I think what he experiences, you're right, what normal people experience is just the basic forgetfulness of parts and pieces. I, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a format. Once again, I can't remember people's names of people that I've worked with for 20 years that pay me. It, that's not a common thing. I this, I've been, Like I said, I... They thought that I had a learning disability because of this and had me tested, and, and this was the result of it. And you're telling me, oh, no, those people are just saying you're autistic when you don't even know what you're talking about. So it's really weird uh, that that's your scale, like autistic, non-autistic. If you're not autistic, then you should, well, if you're anybody, in your opinion, you should just be able to learn. It's just anybody can do it. It's Back to the lack of empathy and not being able to put yourself in someone else's shoes, you instantly think, oh, I've experienced it. I've seen that. Oh. I... So you use really. So, yeah, I just, it seems odd. Minecraft? Tinker. I think I know what Tinker is. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Forget to clear your cookies. All right. Uh, if you want, you can also go into VC. Theoretically. Okay, but 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 yeah, I'm. Uh, it's a very interesting video. It is fine to search things up. It is fine doing it all for the money. All right. Um, I'm doing. Oh, at Cyber. Cyber. At Cyber. 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 Cool, final notes. Uh, right, I didn't thought it was actually it. Okay, nice. Uh, final notes. It's uh, great that uh, you, uh, he can do his stuff without like using the scripting API and stuff, but that is still not a reason to um, say that like everyone else should be not be doing scripting API and that's a bad decision and uh, accusing Microsoft of uh, what? Being corrupt and uh, doing it all for the money even though uh, the scripting API was uh, accumulating. I never said Microsoft was corrupt or Mojang was corrupt. Doing it all for the money is literally what they legally have to do. It's it's run by stockholders and board holders. Their job is to profit. That's not corruption. That's business. The effort. Um, if you don't want your scripting, just don't. At the end of the day, it's. And by the way, you're the one that pulled up the comments that said, where they're commenting about the cost of development. In their words. Up to you. Um, yeah, and please consider there are other people, and yeah, what, what, what can I He's asking me to consider other people when he's saying follow us or get left behind. That's considering other people. That's considering the, the people that have been here and the people you've learned from directly. Just you better move with us or get left behind. That's thinking about others. Remember, we've been here doing this. You guys are pivoting 
and dragging us along. And then you com you like say we're lazy and moan and bitch at us when we're like, hey, what the hell? We're doing something here. We're happy where we're at. We would like those features you promised us years ago to function and not take a whole nother, you know, freaking lifetime to get into and deal with. And then we're the bad guy and I should be the one thinking of others. Really? Gonna say more. That's some. Um, basically it. Oh yeah, and uh, have, don't 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 get uh, don't get upset over some weird uh, people that uh, try to uh, say, annoy you and say that hey, scripting is the best and stuff. Or you said no, work on your own pace. That is fine to search things up. And yeah, don't forget to clear your cookies. All right. Uh, if you want, you can also go into a VC, theoretically. Okay, but 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 yeah, I'm uh. It's a very interesting video, very controversial. You guys can see um, for most of the time, this is like 11 hours ago. What? It's it 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 got some real big views, which is quite interesting. Well, we'll see if I can like um, change something. Or I don't want to change anything. I just want to really clear up any misconceptions, right? Because I think that some of the things he said are just fundamentally wrong because he, he didn't know anything about what he was talking about. Okay. Anyways. Tinker, right? It was Tinker going for kids. Uh, shit. Uh, in fact, I couldn't. I could just do this, right? Anyways, uh, let's see what this thing, Tinker, uh, think, Tinker thing is about. It's not even trying to do anything about that because, as you see, it's pretty interesting. So. I reacted to that. Uh, well, oh my god, what is happening with my Discord? I think okay. I got lost in there oh, somewhere. Tinker, right? It was Tinker going for kids. I don't know what the Tinker is. So there you go. There's my uh, response to their response of my video of all of this. I'm cyber actually outlandishly crafted. If you watch this, you you're insane. You just uh, you know, if you really watched all of this and got to here, because you're some crazy freak, uh, send me send me a DM or a message and say you did. And I, uh, I mean, I've got to reward you if you went through all of this hellhole. Shit.